welcome to... Oh, look at this, where I'm standing. I feel like a Buddha. Right, the middle of it. Um, welcome to Sewing Street um, on this wonderful Friday morning. My name's Rebecca Reed, and I will be with you all... I was going to say day. It feels like all day, because I've been up so long. All morning. So if you're one of our regular viewers, um, welcome. You're going to have a great day. We have got some fantastic products on today, and we have got Delphine with us in the house. Only just... She was struggling a bit this morning. Everything went wrong. You know how life just sometimes goes wrong. But anyway, she's here now. And we've got some three brand new designs for her, which is very exciting. Um, but before we get into all of that, let's start with the most amazing early bird. Now, we sell this anyway, so I'm not sure why we've got it on early bird, because we sell loads of this anyway, because it is like the best one of the best products, honestly. Bondi web, it's like double-sided sticky tape for fabric. Um, now, we, we sell small packs, but anyone who knows and loves Bondi web, you need the big roll. There's five meters on this roll. So normally it's 23.99 for the whole roll, but today we're getting it for under 20 pounds. That's amazing, 3.99 saving. So that's your P&P covered. So under 20 pounds, five meters, it's 30 centimeters long and there's five meters. I always have a roll of this. I use loads of Bondweb. If you've never used Bondweb before, you're gonna love this. It, you can use it for so many things. Delphine's gonna come on later and demonstrate and show us exactly how to use it. And she's gonna do a complete beginner's guide to it. We've been having a chat about it just now. Um, so, anyone who does use and love Bondi Web, this is a fantastic saving. Get it now, because this price will go up again at midnight. It will go back up at 20, 23 99 So, this 19 99 is only till midnight. So, we have got some independent reviews of people who've bought this product from us. So, these aren't censored by us. This is what they think. Great value for money, works very well. Even better value for money now. So... In the pack, you've got all the instructions. Tells you exactly how to use it, which is quite handy if you've not used it before. Oh, where's that one gone? Oh, sorry. And then, this is the root, this is the roll. So it's 30 centimetres wide. You've got paper on one side and then the um, sticky interfacing on the other. And it, this, I'm not going to open it all. But there's five metres here. So if you love using Bonder Web for all your applique embroidery, mending, machine embroidery, um, this is Vlyseline make as well, so this is the proper stuff. This is your really good branded stuff. Nineteen ninety nine, 3.99 off. That's amazing. But under £20 for five metres of Bondi Web. I don't know why we're doing this, because this is one of our products that always sells anyway. But it's a special treat, because we've got the Delphine, who is the queen of Bondi Web, in today. There we go. Five metres. Please keep checking out. Very, very busy because obviously um, this is a fantastic price. We rarely ever do a deal under £20 for a whole five metre roll, which is a great thing to have in your stash because it's very annoying when you think, oh, I just want to personalise the edge of a towel or a bag or something. And you can't because you've run out of Bondi Web. Loads of you coming through now under £20. And honestly, that price will go back up to £23.99 after midnight. So keep checking out. Lots of you got it in your basket. Keep checking out because all oh, once it sells out, it's gone till we can get it again. But under twenty pounds for that, we will be using it all day. Um, instruct all the instructions are in here. But if you haven't used, I mean, it tells you exactly how to do it in many languages. But if you haven't used, you want to see exactly how to do it. Um, Delphine's going to be using it for her projects, but uh, at 12 o'clock when she does her poppy cushion, we're going to be doing a complete beginner's guide. So if you've never used Bondweb, you've not done applique, you've not embroidered either hand or machine, Delphine's going to be doing you a complete beginner's guide. So don't forget 12 o'clock, if you've always wanted to do this, not sure how to, watch the shows where we're using it um, this morning, and then at 12 o'clock it will be the complete beginner's guide. Anyway, 19.99 for five metres. Under twenty pounds. When does that ever happen? But it will only be till midnight tonight, and then psh, it'll go back up again. It will go up again. So we did. We have reduced. Oh, what once before we have? But months ago, months ago, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds sold. Because remember, you've got five whole meters on here. Absolutely loads. Right, quarter of the stock is already gone. And we got extra stock in, extra, extra, because we knew that it was going to be popular and quarter of it is already gone, just like that. 
and you'll be needing that. So pop it in your basket. Your postage is then covered because your postage is 3.95. You already saved that. Get yourself a Delphine kit, and you're laughing because the, but the kits don't come with the bonder web, you see. So you're going to need it anyway, and it is fab. And don't forget. If you're going out summer, come back, make sure you're here at 12 to watch the complete beginner's guide, how to do Delphine's projects, how to use Bonder Web and how to applique. It's going to be a fab one because she is the queen of applique. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I've got to get, you have to come on though. You have to come on to get it. Say good morning to Delphine, everybody. Good morning. Um, she needs the Bonder Web. <laughs> she needs the Bonder Web. Do you need the instructions? No. No. <laughs> I think she knows how to do that. Um, before we do anything, I want to talk to you about the Scissor Sisters. I'm not going to break into song. Don't panic. Don't panic. So we we have these fab scissors, which are one of my favourite pairs of scissors, the Fiskars Universal Scissors, 24 centimetres. They are brilliant scissors. Well, Fiskars is a fantastic brand. Um, I love them. I have loads of Fiskars scissors. And these are really good. They're universal, which means they are right and left-handed. Uh, they are one of our most popular pairs of scissors now but this week see these are the white ones 24 centimeters long but this week we had the black ones in now they are slightly shorter blades but only like an inch but it's very slightly shorter and these came in this week so if you love fiskers or you need some new ones or you think thinking universal because if you're right or left-handed they, they're great and um, they're very ergonomical as well they're called functional form because of um, the way that the hands are mold the handles are molded um, are functional and they're sort of made so they're very ergonomic so the white ones are 19.99 the white ones are 19 dollars which is a great price, by the way, for a pair of good scissors. But the black ones are 19 99 as well. Normally, hang on a minute. But we did these as an early bird because they were a brand new product to us. And we have still got some left. Yeah, there was something. Where, what day was that? There was something wrong with the website. It went down completely. So we couldn't sell all the ones that we had. So we do have some left. So what's the price of these then, Hannah? No. 9.99. 9.99. So these are half the price of these and there's like an inch shorter. And they are fab. I mean, Fizz, for Fisker's Universal Scissors, you have a look elsewhere. $9.99, I've never seen them at that price. That's amazing. Actually, Amy, um, who works for me on Amber Make, she messaged me the other day, said, I need a new pair of scissors, what shall I get? And these are the ones I suggested. I'm gonna get to get these, they're only $9.99, because they're really good for cutting all sorts of fabric. Um, so in the packaging, they come like this, but keep the plastic bit that comes in the packaging, because they're really good to keep them safe, because all you have to do is slide them out. I mean, they are part of the packaging, but they are really good if you want to keep them safe and so that you don't point. If maybe if you're taking them on a workshop or you put them in your luggage or something and you want to so the points don't go through, um, then they're really useful for that. And let me show you how sharp they are. So let's get some normal cotton fabric, quilting weight cotton. And look. Look how beautifully they cut really nicely no problem at all absolutely sailing through so let's go four layers easy easy what about if we do eight still look at that easy 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 um, what about jersey then because sometimes you think oh with jersey do i need special scissors do they need to be extra well they need to be extra sharp they really do for jersey because you don't if you snag it at all um because it's the way that the fabric is um knitted together they'll run like tight so you need really striped so i thought i'd get some striped jersey here look at that absolutely beautiful i mean that 9.99 See, and I can get through, even on the jersey. Lovely. So that's beautiful, isn't it? And then I thought, let's just try something a bit thicker with fleece, because that's a bit hard. If, you shiz if your scissors aren't really sharp, you can't get through it. Look at that. Beautifully through fleece. Do we try two layers? Nice. I wonder whether it will go through four, though. That's going to be a challenge, isn't it? Ha! Easy. 
there we go so these are i mean for the price 9.99 now this is the early bird price so they will go back up again we're only allowed to have them because of the web because of the web shop thing because it went and the whole website crashed so we we couldn't do sell as many as we'd wanted to so if you love these even if you've got the white pair remember these are a little bit shorter but marginally right and left-handed they're really ergonomic they've got really nice curved um, shaped handles so they're not hard on your hands if you're doing a lot of cutting and as I've shown you they go through fabric like an absolute dream nice and it's really good to have a good sharp pair of scissors or maybe you're giving a gift to somebody and then what do I well have you got anything anybody would love these I mean you can use these in the kitchen they're brilliant. I have a pair of the white ones that I use for cutting bacon because I hate cutting bacon with a knife. It's really hard to cut bacon with a knife, isn't it? Scissors. And actually, they are really good for cutting up pizza slices as well. I do all the things that I do with my scissors in the kitchen. And you can put them in the little holder to keep them safe. There we go. So keep on checking out for those. And if you've already bought your bond web, your PMP is done. I mean, if at 9.99, you know, you're saving over twice your PMP already at that saving foot. So for less than ten pounds, Fiskars, proper, really good brand. I mean, we know Fiskars; they're the ones that normally have the orange handles. But they, when they do the, um, but they do keep because the orange, the Fiskars orange is um, copyrighted to them. So they have got it. They do have it on the little screw there, just so you know, so you know it's still there. There we go. There we go. And on the um, that side, there's your Bonder Web. Twenty pounds, under twenty pounds, nineteen ninety nine for the Bonder Web. Which, if you make any of Delphine's kits or you love a plico or you want to have a go, absolutely ideal for it. Get a five meter roll because it does run out, and it's really nice to have it in your stash. Um, and don't forget, twelve o'clock is the complete. Delphine, take you back to the basics, beginner's guide to how to do a plique and how to work bonder web. So that's all my special offers. Well, not all of them. We have special offers all day, don't we? These. So let's see what's coming up. I told you we're having an exciting today, day today. So coming up today, we have now, um, well, that's back to front. Don't worry, we had swapped eight and nine around because Delphine was having problems with getting in on time, life issues. Yes, our husband's flight was delayed. Life issues. So we have swapped those out. She's actually got in. We didn't think she'd be in till 8.30. So she will be here at 9. So I'm just, we're going to swap those round. So now, 8 o'clock, we've got lots of tools. And we've got the automatic bias tape maker, which I'm going to show you how to use, as well as the very exciting iron that I have just ordered myself. Very, I can't wait for that to come. Although the longer it takes, the less ironing I have to do. But I have actually bought it for my sewing. That's on now, and I'm going to show you both of those and some really lovely tools as well. Um, at nine o'clock, Delphine will be on with her brand, brand new horse design, um, which can be a unicorn as well. And she's going to explain that. So we've got kits, we've got instructions only, and Delphine will be demonstrating that. We've got it in a variety of colour choices. Absolutely stunning. You'll see it's hanging, will be hanging behind me on the other desk in a minute. At 10 o'clock, Delphine will be back with her Buddha quilt. Now, do you remember on John's birthday, um, Delphine did her Buddha quilt? Totally sold out in all the colours and the instructions as well. So by popular demand, she's bringing that back in all the colours and the instructions. Going to show how to use it. And she has done a brand new design of the Chakra quilt. Because when we did the Buddha quilt, the, whole, the chakras that we sold were so popular. We know that you love them all, that she has designed a whole chakra quilt. It is absolutely stunning. So at 10 o'clock, she's going to be demonstrating and explaining how to make both of those. So if you miss the Buddha quilt, get ahead. And the chakra quilt, you are going to love. It's absolutely stunning. Look, be beautiful wall hanging. Um, at 11 o'clock, we've got some brand new batik fabrics at a really good price, amazing price. We have lots of batik fabrics here and there. We have different sort of um, design rolls and packs, but we've got batik fabrics by the half meter that are brand new. That's going to be on at 11 o'clock. You will love, if you love batik, these are absolutely stunning. And then at 12 o'clock, Delphine will be back with her poppy panel cushion. So this is the fourth in her series of cushions. They're all floral. She's been doing them over the last few months. And with this one, we're going to take it right back to basics. How do you, what is Bonder Web? What do you do with it? How do you do it? So for a complete beginner, how do you get 
from a roll of bondweb in your hand to that beautiful cushion she's going to show you. If you've been collecting the other three, then you can get this one as the fourth. If you've missed them, we do have the other three. We've got more stock in of the other three for you to buy so you can make the whole set. So it's a great day, isn't it? Fantastic. Right. So if you want to shop with us, now the easiest way I would say is on the website. You just need to go on to www.sewingstreet.com and then the website will come up. What you need to do then is click on watch live. That's at the top. There we go. And then you will see um, two columns, two columns. Today's show deals, that's the things that I've already talked about. So you can see the scissors and the bond web. And then on the right hand side is pre-order. That's everything that's coming up. So if you're thinking, it's not in the right order because we had to swap the hours over. But if you're, oh, well, I'm popping out at nine o'clock and I really want that Buddha quilt. Don't worry, you can get ahead. There's the beautiful batik fabrics. Now those are brand new and they are probably going to sell out 6.49 for half a meter i mean that is absolutely stunning i mean and i'm thinking it's not just quilting and homeware this is dressmaking isn't it absolutely stunning so if you want to get ahead because you're worried you're going to miss out it's all on there you just click on add to basket don't forget to check out um got threads mine and delphine's favorite sew machine there are the other ones so there's the um sunflowers the tulips and the daisy those are the other three if you've missed them and then all the embroidery threads so all you need to do is click on add to basket for what you want don't forget to check out though because if it's in your basket if you don't check out it's not yours there's a gorgeous iron um and we've got lots of cave lots of cave fabrics as well some of them even sold out um and there's the horse there's the horse kits, and the, ki the horse kits are available in a choice of colours. Delphine will be showing them all, but there they are. Um, once, you've, once you've done add to basket and you and you check out, then it's yours, but you need to check out. But the way it works, if you've not shopped with us before, once you check out, your basket is held, your checkout is held open till midnight. At that point, the 3.95 P&P is applied. So if you think, well, I won't check out because I don't know, I don't want to waste have to pay lots of postage you won't you only pay one one lot of postage so if you buy something now get it checked out because you won't have that postage put on so if you add another 20 things to your basket during the day it's absolutely fine the postage will only be applied at the end because i think that's often particularly when people are new to sewing street they think well i won't check out because i want to see what i want to buy because the postage we don't play like that mm. now Oh yes, so we have a look at the chakra quilt because I'm gonna just just gonna walk across. Look at this! Isn't this absolutely stunning? It's rainbow, isn't it? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. You've got all the chakra symbols. It's just stunning, isn't it? Um, you know, it'd be really good yoga mat, wouldn't it? Because they always, they often ask you afterward not to do your yoga on, but they ask you, you know, to bring a blanket to, to put over you. Isn't it beautiful? Um, just look, I think it would just look lovely hung in the hallway of your home. It's absolutely stunning. It's in um, simple piecing, and then you've got the chakra symbols, which are appliqued on top. But it's absolutely unique, isn't it? I've never seen anything like this. Just gorgeous. That's coming up later. Oh, and here's the horse. Look at this. It's got little sequins on, but isn't it beautiful? It's all done in batiks. Remember, it's available in a choice of colours, which we'll be looking at later. And it can be a unicorn. Can be a unicorn as well. But um, what Delphine has done with this is she has free motion quilted it. But if you don't want to do that, if you're not a massive fan of free motion quilting, when Delphine comes on um, at nine o'clock to demonstrate it, she's going to explain how you can quilt it without doing the free motion she's going to use that in her demo but he's absolutely beautiful i'm looking forward to seeing what he looks like as a unicorn but you can see him he's like running i feel like he's that horse running through the waves isn't he with his mane flowing is it what is it the lloyd's bank horse that runs through the waves that's what he looks like that's what he looks like absolutely gorgeous anyway he is is he a he or is he a she the horse, the horse 
will be on at nine o'clock. Um, right, so I'm just bending down because I'm retrieving the bias maker. Because I put it under the table. So I'm going to unpack it. So this is how this is what it comes. Now, if you think what what is this and what does this do? It's amazing and I absolutely love it. So it comes with everything you need. It comes with um, a UK plug and a European one, just in case you want to take it on holiday. It comes with lots of different size um, tape makers, which I'll show you in a minute. And then, let me take the tape maker out. Lots, lots of instructions, which are actually really comprehensive really makes sense there's also um the details on here about how you can go onto the website which shows you a whole demo of how to use it as well if but the instructions to be honest are, are fine now it comes in a nice little box and all you have to do is unclip it there we go and then everything you need is all in here so all we've got to do is i'm going to plug it in because you have to let it heat up first so if i plug it in now it takes about five minutes to heat up so I'm just going to plug it in. Right. And turn it on. So there it goes. Everything you need. It's quite neat, isn't it? The fact that all the t all the tools for using it are here. And then um, everything that happens is on this side. But it's all nice and neat. Now, bias tape. You can buy it pre-made. But basically, I mean, it's... well. It's quite expensive compared to if you're using your own fabric or if you're using scraps of fabric. So it's better if you can make your own. The other benefit is, is that by making your own, it doesn't have that starch on it, so it's not really stiff. It means that you can make straight bias or straight tape or tape that's cut horizontally across the bias either. But also you can make bias that will match exactly the project you're going to make. So maybe you're making a quilt and you can't find the right color, then you can make it to do that exactly. Scrappy binding, I love that. So if you've got, if you're making a quilt, you don't know what color to bind it with, Cut strips of all of the colours that are in the quilt, join them all together and then make your own bias. Now making it yourself is quite time consuming. So what you do is you get a strip of fabric, you fold it in half, you press it, you open out the folds, you then fold it back those sides to the end, you press it, then you fold it half. So that's quite a long process. But if you've got a bias tape maker, it's brilliant. So let me show you how it works. Now it comes with all of these different um, tape makers. They're all different widths. So like this is a half, that's a quarter of an inch, this is a half inch. This basically means that the tape when it's folded in half, <coughs> I'll show you in a minute, is half an inch. So if you then fold it in half again to bind the edge of something, it'll be quarter of an inch. So that's a quarter, that's a half. Um, I'm just getting them all out. We've got a three quarter of an inch. So we've got loads here. We've got a one inch. So those are all the normal ones. And then these are the quilt binding tapes. So these basically fold, these are if you want the fabric to be folded in thirds, and they're used um, for binding different sorts of quilts, but those are the extra wide ones. So I have actually cut my strips of fabric in advance. So I'm gonna use the three quarter of an inch one only because that's the width. So when you have a look at it, it says three quarter of an inch, you need to cut your strips of fabric twice the width of that. So three quarter, you need to cut them one and a half inches. So pop that in, they're really easy. So say I wanted to use that one, you just pop that one in, there we go. It's really, really simple to take them out and swap them around. And they come with all of these because I think they used to sell these bias tape makers, but only with one size. The one that we're selling has all of them. So I've cut some strips in advance. Right, so here is a nice one and a half inch KF. Now, where are you going to buy KF bias binding? Very difficult. I've never seen it, but you can make your own. So what we do now, it has a temperature control on it, which is really important. Cotton, linen, acrylic, nylon, silk. Get, make sure you set that to start with. I made it the other day and forgot to turn it round to nylon when I was using, because you can use other fabrics. You can use satin fabrics, you can use like lawn, you can use silk fabrics. I've tried all different sorts, but just remember to set the temperature because if you're using like a polyester satin, which makes beautiful bias tape, you need it on the nylon silk setting, otherwise it'll melt. When the green light comes on, can you see the green light just vaguely? That means it's ready. So these are the tools you need. 
So you take your strip, you've cut twice the width of here, and you pop it underneath a little metal clip. And then you wind it round. Now, the reason you do this is that it keeps the tension and makes it go through it just a little bit smoother. So this doesn't take long. So what I often do is when I finished uh, making something, even if I don't want to use the tape at the moment, I make the tape, wind it around so cardboard, and I've got it all there because you can make meters of it. So pop it on the little thing so it all comes in all together. And then it goes over here. And then what you've got to do is thread it through there. So what you need is a pair of scissors and I'm just disappearing because I'm getting a pin. I'm back. I'm back. So cut the end of it diagonally just because you've got to thread it through here. And then slide it through there. Now, if you get a pin or a stitch ripper works, all you're doing is you're just, you need that just to feed it through. But, you know, when you, you, you have to do that with any bias maker. So now if you had a normal bias maker, you'd now be pulling this through with here and you'd have the eye on the other side and you'd be trying to keep it level. And it's, it's okay, but it's not the easiest and you have to really concentrate. It's also, you can't obviously leave it on its own. It's more time consuming. Now, this bit, now I've cheated a bit because I needed it to heat up. When you do this at home, thread all this through and then turn it on. But I needed it to heat up because that is an iron and is extremely hot. So what you're supposed to do is pull it through and you have to ease it a bit to get it just right. Right, and then it, the first bit you'll lose as in it won't be folded over. But what you can do is either press that by hand or you can thread it back through at the end. So then put this on and then turn it on because it is extremely hot. If you don't, if you do it like I do, just be really careful because that's the whole point is this irons. So then you press the button, run. Now to start with, you've got to get it going through properly. Sorry, it's got, it's got stuck going through. Right now it's going through. Why is that edge not turned on? I don't think I've got Nice. So I don't think I've fed it through properly because I've only got one edge turned under. Hmm. That's strange. <laughs> I don't know. I think I've threaded it through wrong. Anyway, this is what happens because this is the one I did earlier. This is, is one I made earlier. So I'm not sure why that one didn't go through. So what happens is, I'm, I'm going to do another one for you in a minute. I don't think I've threaded it through properly. This is what happens. So this is your one and a half inch strip. Like that. You see? And then when it comes through, it folds over beautifully like that. Now look at all of this that I made. So you lose the first bit and then it comes all the way through. So you get beautiful bias tape. This was some K fabric as well. I mean, look how amazing that is. And then what I do is I get like a piece of cardboard and wrap it round like this. And then you have got that ready for when you do it. Now, the good thing is as well, is if you want to join, you know, I was saying earlier about doing scrappy binding. If you want to join binding, then the seam will go through. So this one here, I've already joined. So I've joined, joined on the diagonally because that reduces the bulk. So just join, what you do is you take two, two pieces like this, place them right sides facing at right angles, and then sew a seam from one corner to the other corner and then trim it off. You will then have that nice diagonal thing. Don't do it straight because there's too much bulk. So I'm going to thread this one through again. So again, I've got a really, a really long one here. So with this, it's called bias because traditionally people always cut fabric on the bias to do binding. Bi ba basically, that means diagonally because um, the warp and the weft of the fabric are quite stable. Those are the horizontal and vertical grain lines. But if you cut it diagonally, then you've got more stretch. So if you're binding something, maybe like a neckline or something curved, best to cut it on the bias because it will curve better. But if you're binding a quilt, which is all straight around the edges, then you can just cut it straight. It uses less fabric as well. But it's called... 
So the biggest it will do is the one inch. So when folded in half, so this one I said is three quarter of an inch. So that's three quarter of an inch. If I was then going to bind something, you then fold that in half. So it becomes half of that. Do you see what I mean? So the three quarter of an inch is the flat binding, which people often use. So like the quarter of inch one is ideal. If you're doing like stained glass applique and you want to create your own binding, this is ideal for that because it's because obviously that will be an eighth of an inch once bound, but it will create this lovely flat binding. Purchased it last week, great for quilt binding, saves so much time from Sue. Thank you, Susan, it is, it is brilliant, isn't it? I absolutely love this thing. So I'm gonna put it through again. What I'm wondering is, I'm going to measure it whether I cut it. Because that, no, I did it. I did cut it one. Great use of ruler. Right, yes, also I forgot to say that it does come, not only do you get the binding right for $124.99, it comes with two free sewing patterns and other things as well. It comes, well, basically, it's this, there's, there will be a pattern and it's um, sort of small haberdashery items that, that Simplicity are giving away free with it. It will be random, but inside your box, you will have a few, few little free gifts. But, well, I mean, you know, to be honest, you'll be buying it because you want it, but it will be nice to have... It's always nice to have a free gift, isn't it? Right. I'm going to get it right this time. I think I got it folded in wrong when I... Was, um. There we go, it is now. There we go. So you often find that when you start it off, it's a bit wibbly, but then it comes through nicely. I tend to, I mean, a lot of people just say that they just walk off and leave theirs. I, I do like to watch it coming round to make sure, you know, I just want to watch it coming through, but look how much easier this is. I'll show you it all coming out in a minute, but look at it, I've got loads of it now. And right, now I'm about to hit the seam. So, no rubbish different, I just, just guided it through to be honest i'll show you when we fin when we've got the whole lot come out but the seam has come through beautifully um, this is mains powered and it comes with a uk um, plug and a european one as well just in case you want to take it on holiday but it's fab I have one of these and find it very useful when having to do lots of bindings for my quilts. Makes it very quickly and perfectly. From Jacqueline in West Yorkshire. Thank you, Jacqueline. It's lovely to have your reviews on it. So look, I've nearly got it all the way through. Now you can see that I've got it right. You've just got to guide it through at the beginning. There we go. When it's finished, just press run and it turns it off. So let me show you. So I've now got all this binding beautifully, beautifully turned over all by itself. And let me, but this is the important bit. I'm just getting there is the seam. So, can you see there the seam? And look, if I turn it over, it, there's no, um, it is not wibbly at all, hasn't gone funny, it's exactly perfect. So if you, because I nearly always bind my quilts with scrappy binding, I think it helps for it to blend. I think it's quite pretty um, and it's a good use of fabric. So when you join them all together, you just, I mean, I tend to sit here anyway and guide it, but it just how if you just, just watch it as it goes through, but I didn't really do anything. And look, I've now got all this lovely binding. Now, the bit that at the beginning, which always goes a bit funny, you could thread that back through or you could press it over yourself. You only lose about that much. But um, I did have a couple of people who messaged him last time and said they just put it back through again, which you could do just through the other end. So look at all that. Now I've got all this binding. So if you don't throw any of your fabric scraps, work out what size you want, cut your fabric to twice that width, pop that one on and there we go. And I've now got some beautiful binding. Good morning, can you purchase the tape tips separately? Great show, Gwen. Unfortunately you can't, Gwen. I mean, I did say earlier is that they're in the past, I think they have sold this with only one tip. That's why maybe they've upgraded it. But with this one, you get a quarter of an inch one, little baby one, really good for cotton lawn. 
I tried it with that, really good for that. You get the half inch one. You get the three quarter of an inch that's there. Um, and you get the one inch. So you've got four there. And then the quilt binding tip. So this folds the fabric over in thirds. This one is a one and a quarter. And this one is a one inch. So you get all of those tips. And the there's the... The European one, the UK one, is under the desk, obviously. And then it all comes in this little box. And don't forget, you get the extra gifts of all the sewing bits. So the price for this is 124.99, which is amazing. I've seen a lot of people who are selling bias binding on Etsy. So maybe you've got a little shop on there. You could then make loads of bias binding from your... Um, it doesn't have to be bias, it can be on the straight, but you know, maybe you've got some Liberty or K4 Tula, you've got designer fabric, that would go as absolute storm, wouldn't it? Make some, you know, but because I don't even think you can buy that, but you can just make your own, it's brilliant. And just think of the, the money that you'll be saving and also it's, it's so easy and quick, once you've got it, it's there, isn't it? Um, if you want to split it, you can split it over three equal payments of £31.24. Now that's interest free. It's, oh, four, sorry. God, my glasses, I think they must be cleaning too. I might give them a little clean. Four equal payments of £31.24. Um, that's interest free, by the way. We've just given you that option so that you can spread the payment. So what happens if you choose to do that? £31.24 now, you will be sent it straight away. Then the other three will come out at three monthly instalments. When you are on the phone line or you're on the website to order, it will ask you whether you want to do split pay or pay it all at once. It's entirely up to you. It doesn't really matter at all. But it's just if you want to spread the cost. But it's a brilliant, brilliant thing. Oh, OK, so Jan is messaging on, fa on Facebook. We will have a word with the buying team to see whether or not we can buy them separately. Because they have this little clip on, they are different to the ones that you would just buy that you use manually. So I don't know whether or not we can get them, but we'll find out. And if we can, we will, of course, bring them to you. And it's great because as the temperature settings, it's really good. The, um, I tried it with some satin, so like polyester satin. It looked beautiful. So when you think of, you know, when you see like ballet costumes and dresses, I've got like a circular skirt that I put some satin binding on. And it works beautifully. Just don't forget to turn the temperature down to nylon because I did it on cotton and it all melted. But it works really well. <laughs> But the, so, and, and also it will tell you when it's ready so you know, so just set it to the right one. Um, it works beautifully on cotton lawn, like really well. So if you've got some Liberty lawn, absolutely gorgeous. Um, it works on, well, all different sorts of cotton fabrics. I did try it on a needle cord and it didn't work as well. So I would say a canvas it worked on, but that's probably about as thick as you're going to go. But it does work really well on the fine fabrics. But with um, quilting weight cotton, it's absolutely perfect. Um, shall I do one more? Let me just... Mm. So I've got a slightly wider one. So this one is, I've cut this strip two inches wide. I'm just going to wind it round. Like again, exactly the same process as before. Diagonal, push it through, and then you can either use a pin or the point on your seam ripper just to get it through to the other end. Remove the eye, and if it's on, this is where you need to be careful. Once it's all the way through, you can then pop. Now, I haven't got a very long strip here because this was just what I found before. Right, press run. So I'm going to just guide it through. Oh, that's fine now. I was worried I would. Oh, this looks amazing. It's, it's amazing like fabric kind of changes its look when it becomes bias binding. So I just had some um, fabric with food on. And how lovely is that? That's lovely. Oh, let me turn off. So, um, 
I've done a few things where I've got, you know, quite high neck t-shirts and I don't like them too high and I've cut them round, bias bound them. So something look, that's gorgeous, isn't it? So a little strip of fabric that with fruit, you fold that, fold that in um, half and bind the edge of a t-shirt because I don't like really high t-shirts. So if you just cut them in a curve and then you put, cut them on the bias though. And I did it with um, a t-shirt and I put some Liberty round and then I crocheted um, an edge on it as well. It looked, my, my five pound t-shirt looked like a 25 pound t-shirt. And we've all got loads of fabrics bits. I'm gonna show it to you, Hannah. She's skeptical. But it's just like, you know, a little knot. It just, it just adds that little extra. And sometimes, particularly if you, when you're dressmaking, you don't want to put a big hem on it. If it's a, quite a gathered skirt, then a bit of binding on it. Use quite a lightweight fabric. Again, if you're going around curves, cut it on the bias. If you're going on the straight, you can just cut it on the straighter grain. It's absolutely fine. But there we go. So that's just a slightly wider one. It's really easy peasy to use. And what amazing price. I think 124.99. You're going to have this forever. And all the bias binding, it becomes a little bit of an obsession after a while, I have to say. Um, April has said, what time is the Chakras quilt on? It's on at 10 o'clock. Shall I move out of the way of the Chakra quilt? So the horse quilt is on at 9, the Chakra and the Buddha is 10 and the poppy cushion is 12. It's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely love that and more of the um, Buddha quilt as well. So I'm going to just turn him off now. And so what you need to do, then luckily you see all of this folds in nicely. What I would say is that just before you fold it all up, just let it cool down because it's quite hot. Right, I'm just going to um, clear my mess. I've, like, I've got fabric and scissors and thick bags. Right, there we go. I'm nice and tidy. Um, <coughs> this is a fab ruler. Love this. It's, it's by Alpha, really good make. Alpha do lots of rotary cutting rulers. But this is really useful. It's um, an inch and a half wide and 12 inches long, 12 and a half inches long. So it's just really useful if you're, um, you, you can use it for rotary cutting if you're only cutting very narrow strips. It's quite lightweight as well. So if you're, you know, when you're like, um, say, trimming half square triangles or you're just cutting off the edge of something or you just simply want to draw a straight line because it's quite a lightweight ruler, it's quite easy to move around. So you know when you're cutting the edges and you want to just quickly move it round, when you've got the big rulers it's not so easy to do. So it's 6 .99, but it's just, I mean the, this has got a plastic packaging on it, but it's fab for, I, I have a ruler like this and I use it for, you know, just small measurements or just trimming the edges of things where you just need to quickly move round or where you just want to draw lines. So if you're hemming something, I'll often use this to draw a line on. So maybe I want to turn a hem over by an inch. The way that I do it, actually I'll get a piece of my pre-cut fabric here. So if you wanted to turn a hem over by an inch, have we got any a friction pen? Do we have a friction pen? I'm just gonna get one off Becky. This is how I do it. Oh, thank you. Um, take your ruler. So you want to do it over by half an inch. Take your ruler. I could do with a piece, not a piece of folded fabric, but there we go. Um, and measure with this an inch. So if I turn over that way, you'll be able to see. So measure an inch. This is what I use my ruler for, and then draw a line. Then all you have to do is then fold that over so it meets that line and press it. You've then got perfect half an inch. So always do double. So for that's what I use it for because it's really useful for drawing those little things for those small measurements where you just want to turn something over. I have got a metal ruler but I find with the metal one I have to keep my hand around it because the light shines and you can't see any of the measurements. It's really annoying no, in, in any light at all. I mean it's a lovely ruler but it's really useful for that. So for 6 .99, also remember you can use it for rotary cutting as well. So if you're just cutting narrow half inch stripes um, obviously do be careful you don't cut your fingers but you can use it for that as well but it's just a really really useful tool one of my favourite things 
Oh, yes, the extra strong thread. <coughs> extra strong thread. Now, I've got this in four colours. This is great. So, I mean, they, it says it's for upholstery, leather accessories, denim shoes, not denim shoes, shoes or sewing on buttons. Um, I use this a lot. Well, I use this always for sewing on buttons, always, because it is extra strong thread. But what I use it a lot for, you know when you have to do gathering stitches and you want to do them by hand, maybe even if you're doing something like a covered button and you work a little running stitch around the edge and you pull it tightly, or if you're gathering something and rather than by machine you need to do it by hand and you find that when you're gathering it, it pulls the, um, it, the thread breaks, then this is ideal for it. Or you know the cushions that you make that have buttons, that one on the top and one on the bottom, and you sew the buttons on and then you pull them together so it creates like a dip in the cushion, often for outdoor cushions. It's absolutely ideal for that. Because it's strong, it will really, you can really pull it tightly. Or if you want to thread something through and you need some thread to hold it first, so maybe you're threading elastic through and you need, just depending, if it's a very tiny hole and you need gap, you need to put some thread on, it's ideal. So I always like to have a reel of it. But, you know, things like um, toys, when you're sewing the arms and the legs on or the heads and you want it to be extra secure or eyes or something, it's really good for that because, uh, I mean, it is all, obviously you can use it for upholstery and leather as well. I mean, it'd be very good for bag making. If when you're hand sewing and you want things to go on there, it's absolutely perfect. Um, it's 100% polyester. Yeah, it says useful on, I was just gonna see whether it says shoes. 100% polyester. Um, we have it in four colors. Yeah. We do. So, but you get all of them. Even better, all of them. So, we have them in, well, I was going to, I don't know whether, what I don't know is whether you can use it in the machine or not, because it, I haven't tried it. I've used it by hand, but I don't know whether you can use it in the machine. So if anyone does, let me know. And I'll have a little go later and see. So £7.96, now there's 100 metres on each of the spools. You're getting um, white, black, cream and grey. So they're all the, all the ones you need. I mean, but the cream is more of a beige, I would say a very deep cream. So really, really useful. I think for 796, 400 metres of extra strong polyester thread, really, really useful. It's one of those things, if you ever have to double over your thread because you need it to be stronger, you should be using this instead. That's really good, isn't it, for 400 metres, 796? Fantastic price. Lynn says, good morning, Rebecca. Good morning, Lynn. Lovely to see you this morning. Great, it's going to be a great show. Look at all these lovely things we've got. Lovely, lovely things. Um, can we do the iron now? So, I'm very excited by this iron because I've seen it before and I've used it, but I haven't got one. And finally, finally, we've got them. I keep been saying to the buying team for ages, can we please get the Aliso iron on because I want one. As if by amazing luck yesterday when I was at home and I was, I was doing some sewing, I was pressing some petals and there was this big fizz psh, like that and my iron just died. It was like fate. So I immediately phoned customer services and ordered myself one. So I can't wait for mine to arrive. That's so lucky because I couldn't really, because I have an ironing iron and I have a sewing iron and um, I'm going to unplug this so you can see. Um, and I haven't got one of these, but I have used one quite a lot. Morning, Ian. You back, so. Yeah, got the iron. Well, There's Ian. You you yeah, I've been I've been on at them for ages to get this. Right, so should we talk about the amazing selling points of this iron and why you need one as much as I do? Um, well, it's made for sewing. I mean, you obviously can use it for ironing your shirts, but it is perfect for sewing. So it has the most the long. Look at this longest cable which is fantastic so it doesn't matter where you are in your sewing room this is going to fit amazingly long I think is it three meters something like that it's also on the cord it's got a two a 360 pivot so it will go all the way round so so when you're ironing and you're 
you know, when you're whether you're left-handed or you're right-handed, or you know, when you want to get into those extra points, it will pivot at all of those points. But I'll plug it in now. 3.7 meters it is. That's fantastic. I'm going to get my ironing mat out. Um, I'm, I'm going through, I'm building up to the fav my favourite points here. One of point I love is that it's got a really big water tank and you fill it horizontally. So all you have to do is you open up this and you fill it there. Because you know normally with an iron you have to prop it up like this, you have to have it at a sort of an angle and then you fill it up and then you put it like that and it all comes out. But this you can fill horizontally so you know you've got it exactly. Um, it obviously does steam, it does spray, it does three different sorts of steam. It does like, a ver you can do a vertical steam, so if you've got your curtains and you want to give them a quick steam, it will do that for you. It will give you um, a shot of steam. It will do all of those things. It's obviously got all of the temperatures, cotton, linen, silk, wool, synthetic, all the way down. Um, but the best thing about it, I'm building up to this, is the sensor. This is why I want this iron, for all the other reasons as well. So, you know when you can't be bothered to keep going like this and going like this and going like this and then you forget and then you end up with a brown mark on your ironing board, as always. With this one, so, look, it raises, it has, if you look, the problem is, is when you, you can turn this function off, by the way in case you don't want to use it. Why you wouldn't want to, but you can. So it has underneath it these little feet. So when I've got my hand on it, it's like a normal iron. And I'm ironing. Lovely. It's also a really good iron. It's 2,000 watts, so it's a really good power. Um, but as soon as you take your hand off, the little feet lift up. You're not making brown marks on your ironing board. You don't have to keep putting it up and down, up and down. And when you know when you're trying to press something and it's quite fiddly, like when you're trying to press the edges of bias binding or curves or you're doing inside an armhole or the bottom of a bag and you have to keep, sort of, you hold it with your hands and you turn it around then you've got to pick your iron up and put it down. This does it all for you. It's just like the best thing. Um, if you knock the iron over at all, um, it does have a shut off after 30, 30 seconds, which is brilliant so that you don't burn your carpet. I mean, I, I don't know how you're gonna do that, but should you, I mean, I have actually, I've, if you fall into the iron, I've, I've, I've tripped over my sewing machine foot pedal cord, fell into the ironing board, iron fell off, burnt the carpet. So this turns off after 30 seconds. It has a two year warranty. Now I'm gonna show you something else lovely about it, another great feature, which is why it's good for sewing, because I have a, an iron for clothes and an iron for sewing, just so that they're all in different places. And luckily mine's broken. Um, under here, the, the tip of the iron is quite a nice sharp point, can you see? So you can really get into things, but this is the best bit. It, there's a little groove and it's two inches deep. So when you want to iron round the curved edge of something, so maybe you're doing the bottom of a bag, or you know when you're up pressing into a box corner and you just want to be able to get into the corner, um, fantastic for little things like soft toy making, um, or just tiny curves so that you can get right in there. And you can get, and which, the iron that I have currently, it's probably got about a half an inch um, slot that you can get into. Just means you can get in a bit further. And it just, so you do your ironing, there we go. As soon as you take your hand off, because it's a sensor. Now I, obviously I've used one a lot, so I haven't owned one, so I can't tell you what happens to it after a year or two years or anything. I will be able to tell you when I get mine. Um, but I've read loads and loads of reviews, because I, whenever I buy something, I always read, not the reviews of, the delivery was fantastic, I don't really care about that. What I care about is what's it like after a year? And I have never read anything bad about it. I mean, there might be one that I haven't. What people say, I've not ever seen anything bad about it because obviously 162 99 it is an investment. You know, it's not the least expensive iron on the market, but with the features that it's got, I think it's fantastic. You can also do it on split pay. I know how that works now, because when I phoned up yesterday to the audit, would you like to split pay that, madam? And I said, no, I'll pay it all at once. Thank you very much. So that's how you do it. Um, But you can do all sorts of ironing with it. It doesn't have to be just sewing iron. You can do all sorts of iron. I think it saves on ironing board covers because I get through 
Yeah, Hallie goes, how did you explain that to your husband? I didn't even ask you. I just phoned the phone line. He was out at work. What's it got to do with him? And there was a big bang and my own just went, Psst, and that was it. I plugged it in half-heartedly twice and realised then, yes, I definitely need a new iron now. But you can use it for all sorts. But you do save on ironing board covers because it's not sitting on there all the time, which is fab, isn't it? And it's just a lovely iron. It's a really good power iron. I mean, you look at the different, the costs for different irons out there, and there are irons that are more expensive than this, but the features that it's got, remember it's 2,000 watts, so it's a really good iron. Um, it's got um, a ceramic diamond ceramic base plate so it's much less likely I mean I can't guarantee that nothing will stick to it but must much less likely to and it's got a really nice range of steam holes on the bottom as well it is just a wonderful thing and you can turn off the eye touch thing as well if you don't want it to be going up and down all the time although why you wouldn't want to I don't know it's just lovely I guess you get used to it after a while it's just as soon as you put your hand on and it goes down but um, I, I think it will make the ironing when you're, you're pressing a lot better, obviously, because when you're sewing, you don't iron, you're pressing. You're getting a really good, you can do, put it on full steam. You can also turn the steam off and it does have a spray button and a shot of steam as well. So if you want to extra steam something, you can. But I love the fact that you can fill it up from here because that makes quite a difference, doesn't it? Otherwise, you, you end up getting water everywhere. And it's a really nice kind of um, butterscotch yellow colour. And my car is yellow, and my bag is yellow, and my suitcase is yellow. So now my iron is yellow as well. But it's more of a custard yellow, I'd say. But it's, um, I just, it's just great, isn't it? Love, absolutely love it. Really excited for mine to come. So if you've got any questions about it, um, do ask. If you go onto the website and go on there, all the information, all the features that I've talked about are all on there if you want to check it out. Have a look, shop around as well. Have a look at the prices. I think ours is a really, really good price, but it is a wonderful item. Now, if you want to do it on split pay, pay your 54.33 now. now. It will be sent straight to you. It's interest free. The only reason we do it isn't this great? I can just leave my iron flat and keep putting up all the time. Um, the only reason we do it is just to help you to spread the cost. Um, you will then have the other two payments taken out next month and the month after, but it will be sent to you straight away. I'll let you know next week, because I ordered mine yesterday, how long it takes. Mm, I'm going to show you a photo of mine. I'm very, very excited. It was just like, it was almost like I'd willed my iron to break. <laughs> Well, I, otherwise I'd have had three irons. I then and ended up, I'm going to use my mini iron now, which actually is really good, really good. Well, until my new iron comes, I'll be on the mini iron. Right. I might, I might um, turn it off. Ready. So we're going to go to a quick break. The horse, the beautiful horse is coming next, or unicorn. Um, it's gorgeous. We've got it in other colourways. This is the purple one. If you want it in the other colourways, um, Delphine will be showing you how to do that. We've also got instructions on their own as well. So if you want to create this, don't go anywhere. Delphine will be back with us in just a couple of minutes' time. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting and of course applique which is my favourite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. 
And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP, even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Welcome back to Sewing Street and Una the Horse. Now, need to just give you a quick stock warning. So the woman I've just shown you is the one that's been on the wall all morning and we, mm, flying, flying out. We've got less than 20 left of those now. Have a look. So we have got five different colourways, just so you know, and I'm going to go through them all now. But the one that we've had on the wall that Delphine did as the main sample, it's got the white background and the purple batik features. Very exciting. Remember, so this is Una the horse or Una the unicorn, because it can be either. So let's go to the bundle to start with. We'll start with the purple one. So you get the full instructions. 
And not only that, in the instructions, there are templates as well. All Everything you need, it's all in here. You get then white fabric, that's used for the background. A metre of white fabric for the background. And then you get the pack of batik fabrics. There's one, two, three, four, five batiks in all shades of purple. Shall I show you? All different shades of purple. That's what you get. So that makes the one that's on the wall $29.99. That's an amazing price. Now, this is the only one with a white background. The others have different colour backgrounds. So this is the only one with the white background. I mean, $29.99, you're getting a pack of five batiks. You're getting a metre of white fabric. You're getting full instructions. There are a lot of pages in here as well. Um, so that's that one. Now, the one that um, Delphine's going to be demonstrating, I think this is actually my favourite one. With this one, again, obviously, you get instructions. You get this blue fabric, but it's a really lovely, like, marbled blue. It's not a plain blue. Really love that effect. Meter, that's for the background of it. And then you get this pack of, like, rainbow batiks. So with this one, it's like a pinky one purpley you get a turquoisey blue one and remember so the i think this one's ideal for the unicorn um a yellow orangey yellow then you've got orange tones and then purple tones with green <laughs> um so that's the what's this one that one's called multi on navy okay um then the next one i've got another navy one so again you for this one you get Full instructions. You get the same navy fabric with that lovely mottled background. Meter of that. And you get blue batik fabrics, five again. So you've got all different shades from a dark to a turquoisey medium to one with yellows and then a lighter one. Um, and Delphine's going to be show showing you with this one as well. But look at the, um, the booklet. Shall I hold it up? So here we've got all the instructions, so that everything you need. You've got a layout diagram that's all coloured, so you can see exactly where to put this. So the, the beauty of this is, is that Delphine is the genius at drawing and designing, but you don't need to be, because she's drawn it all out for you. So you can create something as beautiful as what Delphine's done, and it's like you're the genius at drawing too. <laughs> and I know because I've made Daisy the cow and people have been so impressed and went, oh wow, that's amazing. And I've wanted to say, yes, I did that myself. Although I didn't because I used Delphine's pattern, but it looks amazing. So on all the templates, here they are, look, all full size. So you haven't got to think at all. Now I've used Delphine's instructions. They're really simple, really to use. But they're also, they give you room to do your own thing as well. She does talks a lot in it about, you know, if you want to add a bit here and change that, you don't have to do it exactly the same. So if you want it to be the same, because you don't want to have to do any drawing at all, you can. But there's also a lot of room to put your own personality and own choice of fabrics in it as well. So there you go, all the templates, everything you need to know. So you can create something as beautiful as this without having to be able to draw, which is great because I really can't draw. Um, next one is is the black this one has a very this is stunning this one has a black background fabric again you've got a meter of fabric and then it features the pink batiks so you get um all five of them that lovely look at the shades in this one i think batik works so well in this too oh this one's got lovely um turquoise prints in the black in the pink batik this one's got sort of yellow ones and that's a mottled one so that's really can you imagine when that one's made up how stunning that will be with the black background really stunning um, and then finally number five um, this is kind of a gray mottled more of a neutral this one is limited by the way so this one you've got a meat of this lovely gray mottled fabric more of a neutral look um, I remember obviously you get Remember, you get full instructions. And then this is greens. So you've got five different shades of green batiks, all in this one. So that's your sort of greens and neutrals. So you've got to just choose. I mean, I think 29.99 for this kit, when you think of the hours of work this has taken, um, that's amazing value and you get all the fabric you need. Um, we have also got instructions just on their own. So if you want to use your own fabric, um, maybe you've got some horse theme fabric. 
or you've got something maybe that you want to applique it onto like the scent of a quilt or something so you don't want to have the kit if you want just the instructions 9.99 on their own and you can and it will tell you what fabrics you need and exactly how to do it and obviously all the templates and everything are in there so maybe you wanted to put it onto a quilt or to a blanket or something and you just want the instructions um, you will need bonderweb bonderweb and remember, luckily today, this is the early bird. So you are saving three ninety nine. This should be twenty three ninety nine, but it's under twenty pounds. Nineteen ninety nine is the special price today. That's five meters. Clearly, that's way more than you're going to need for this. But you've got the instructions. So you can make loads of them. You have horses everywhere, and unicorns, and lots of Delphine's projects as well use Bonderweb. So it's really useful to have this much. So and this this is the right day to buy it because at midnight that price will go back up to twenty three ninety nine. Nineteen ninety nine today. Morning, Delphine. Good morning. So you made it. I just, yeah. Well, not I'm, that it was your fault. No, no. Um, I managed to get here. <laughs> Flights. Well, it's been it's it's been a week. Has it? It has. What's happened? Uh, well, my husband's been away on business since very early Sunday morning. So Ooh. just me with the boys. Mm. Well, you can see how much sewing and I've been doing. And you've done so a lot of sewing. Yes. Are they feral now? <laughs> <laughs> They're clean-ish. <laughs> they've been fed. Have they lived on pizza? Oh, uh, they've been really good. Me and Charlie have had spaghetti bolognese two days in a row. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's been a week, but it was, would have been fine. But um, Nick, Nick's flight was cancelled yesterday morning oh, no. from Berlin. So uh, it's he it, it even contemplated getting a, um, oh. a, a home in a car. He got he rolled in this morning about three o'clock this morning. So. Oh, my best friend him. Bex is amazing. She's like, she was on standby to have the boys Aww. early, take them to school. So it's just been one of those weeks. It has. It's been a, it's been a week, and I haven't stopped sewing. So <laughs> <laughs> I've been, yeah. So so please Fun. enjoy my work. Yes. I work so hard. This is work so hard. hard. Work so, hard. <laughs> so tell me about the horse. What was um, uh, why did you decide to do a horse? Somebody asked me to. So I did. <laughs> well, so, we often ask the viewers, yeah, what do you want? Well, I was like, I had, well, I already had a drawing half on the go anyway. Mm. And so I just decided to finish it. But a lot of the time when I say about how I design my work, it, mm. it all depends on what fabrics I use. So, right, so okay. as soon as I saw these boutiques, I thought, right, that's going to suit this project mm. perfectly because it, they're so vibrant. They're so, you don't need oh, a amazing, really hard pattern they? to... Um, to show them off so okay. I wanted that to be I wanted the fabrics to be the standout and so a really simple drawing like this is going to make them really so pop, what so. sort of skill level if we've you know someone's out one of our lovely viewers is watching going, oh, I, I want to do that I always say just if you if you can sew in a straight line or a bit of a zigzag so it's just give it a go just it's yeah not nothing is ever hard it's your patience Right, that's yeah. how I see okay. it. Okay, so it's how you finish it that how uh, is the skill level. So um, on this one, I, I did a whole day's worth of free motion to finish that, and about nice. six reels of cotton. So, which is a shame because you can't really see it unless you're up close. But you, you can see mean, how much. So work. if you didn't free motion it, yeah, just just a beginner, you can do. But you it. don't need to. You just, no, just make no, it. No, you, you can just make it because all it is is. Um, just cutting out is obviously if you, if you if you don't mind you know using a rotary cutter and some scissors quite finely then mm. it, it's, so it's about it's take your time bit of patience take your time i've just prepped one and then 45 yes, minutes yes i know it's so. why she's looking a bit stressed <laughs> um but no it's 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 a project that you can just it, just you can keep coming back to it you okay. haven't got to do it in a day and does it explain minutes. how to turn into a unicorn in the instructions yeah well did i I've, I've, you just do a little cone thing and just a little cone thing. I guess yeah. a unicorn is a horse with a yeah. So you just do a little. Oh yeah! And suddenly it's a yeah. unicorn. So obviously it's tucked in and it's going up to the yeah. copies. But yeah, you just. But the template's it. in there. Yeah. I th okay. Uh, I thought it was, but it's not. Oh. <laughs> but if anyone would like a, uh, a template drawing, just message me on Facebook and I will send, send it you. you the template. Yeah. So it's just a little horn. Yeah. And then it can become a unicorn. So where do we start then? You start, well, the instructions, as you say, they've, it's a book, isn't it's it? A book. It's it isn't an instruction booklet, it's a book. And uh, so the back pages, uh, so we've actually done it, so you haven't got to um, 
photocopy the, uh, you know, enlarge it or anything. They're full size templates. Oh, so yeah. with all my instructions, I want to try and make them as easy as possible, so you haven't got to go down to your photocopiers and having them enlarged or anything like that. Thank you. So you can cut them straight useful. out the book um, if they are glossy, nice paper. So if you prefer to just keep it nice and tidy as it mm. is, then by all means uh, you can focus. Right. So we but should. But they are single sided. Yes, so they're all single sided. Can use that so if you want to. this is my working copy. This is how it all starts. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is my drawing. It's very tatty. I've done. I've made about three from this now. So um, wow. yours would look a lot tidier than this. But what you do, you get your, your template and you just stick it all together. Like that. Okay, and then um, yours will look a bit like that, except this one's coloured. Yeah, it's all coloured just to help. The reason why we've done it in the colours, you, oh, to you can. So the reason why we've done the templates in colour is to give you an idea of um, how to use your batiks. So, for example, you could choose with your oh, four or five, five batiks, aren't there? You just choose. Okay, the green ones will be that piece. Oh, okay. it, 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 all it is is giving you a helping hand into how to use your colour placement. So you're not thinking too much about it, but you might go, oh, I'll use that green for that bit, that one for that bit. Whereas if you do it like this and just, um, you know, so you label them, I don't know, one to five. Right. So, so, so it gives a balance of colour. Exactly. That's okay. what I'm trying to get. I have a hand slept. <laughs> so, <laughs> so to get the balance of colour, so they're yes. evenly spaced. Yes, exactly that. So that's why we've done that. So you've got a full placement guide and uh, very, very simple and easy to follow. If um, you find any of the lines a bit harder to see, because uh, I've had some people would prefer if the lines would be a bit darker. The reason why I don't do thick lines on my templates mm. is because you won't get the same accuracy depending right. on how you cut them out. Yeah. That's the only reason I do it. I'm not being awkward. It's just I want it to be perfect. Yes, well, I've used so, them and they're fine. I didn't have any problems at all yeah. with them. So I just think what you can do is you just get a thick felt tip pen okay. and go on the inside of the line, not the outside. Yeah. And then you'll be able to see. So you've got your template. Stick them all together. It together. And then you have some bond wear. Right. Yeah. And then you draw your template. And you trace every single piece. But you don't need to trace it as one big piece. Okay. Otherwise, you're going to be wasting yeah, that that's so true. much. And yes. it's, well, as you know, I get through a lot of it, but <laughs> uh, you don't want to waste any. So you just do it mm. piece by but piece. It's on our early bird. You should get yourself some today. I certainly will. Yeah, 19 I'll be getting a couple of packets, mm. and I really want this iron. Yeah. <laughs> so. That's how, we, know, so that's that's how we've got started. Oh, no, yeah, it's so clever. It. So if you have bought or want to get one of the darker backgrounds, you might think, how do we do the placement? So yes. um, obviously with the white placement guide, uh, the white fabric, you can just lay it over the top and you right. can add your pieces on as you go. You know you're going to get the perfect mm. placement. If you want to do on the dark background, which is stunning, isn't it? With the, with the dark, oh, with the yeah, bright Oh, absolutely petite. stunning, all gorgeous. Um, if you've got a light box, I definitely recommend you use one of those. Yeah. So you put, your, you put your light box, uh, your template on top of your light box and your fabric over the top. Mm. And you could do it that way. Another way is to trace the template onto your fabric. Even if it's dark fabric, use a friction pen if you've got one. Okay. Because when you press it, it turns into a very faint white line and you won't be able to see it. Oh, okay. So, which is what I've actually done on this one. I don't so know what do you do? Put the template on top? Oh, <laughs> it's clever, isn't it? Look at that, look at that. Oh, <laughs> I need one of those. It's a simple thing. Okay, so with this... We'll move it out of the way for you. Only for now. I want it back. I'll turn it on the its end. So, imagine this is already... I've done. put it on a light box. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah, I can see the lines. So you can you can mark your fabric. That's the so multi on navy one. This is, as you can see, I've done this very very quickly, so mm -hmm. it's not very tidy. But obviously at home you'll take your time. So, but that's one way to do it. You can use the chalk if you want to, but it might show up a little bit on your darker fabrics. But that's how I do it. Just use friction. Or you can stick it on your window. Or stick it on your window. Before I had a light box, that's how I did it. I do, I still, even now I've got a light box, I'm often just, because if you're saving the getting it out, half the time I am just at the window doing this. Well, if so you've got a nice big window, doors. if you um, yes. masking tape it onto yeah. the window yeah. and put that on. And if anything, that would be even better because it's not going to move around. <laughs> so we'll get your pattern weights out everywhere. So, trace the design on. Trace the design on. It all sounds complicated, but it's really not. Okay. Trace. Trace. Cut stick so 
Right. So <laughs> then, you, so you've laid. You know what colour? Which which of the five fabrics you're using for which area? So you trace them yeah. onto the bonder web. Yeah. Press that onto the fabric and then cut them all out. So all how out. do you arrange it? Do you cut them and stick them? I yes. I um, draw, cut, stick, and sew as I go. Only right. because there's so many pieces. Oh, okay. So you don't put the whole lot on and then sew. No, if you because if you put it all on and then sew it. You run the risk of a few bits coming a bit loose. Okay. Because the bonder web's amazing, but if you're quite rough with your machine mm. or you're trying to get all that fabric through your machine, you can catch one or two pieces. Oh, okay. And it just makes it a lot tidier to quilt. So I like to quilt as I go, only because it just saves a bit of time. Right. So um, I have already made a sandwich. Well, I've only put some bond uh, wad in. On okay. And you just do it in bits as right. you go along. So should we build a horse? Make yeah, let's a horse. build a horse. <laughs> Build a horse. Build me a horse. Called Una. Or is it Una? Well, I, I nearly called it Luke. Well, I googled horses' names, female <laughs> names for horse. There's some interesting ones. But one of them is Luna. But I've already done a Luna, so oh. I've called it Una. And my dog's called Luna. You can't call it that. But yeah, there you go. Do you want a horse? So it's Una. It's Una. Una Stubbs, isn't it? Is that? Oh, you're too young. God, <laughs> she's too young. Where's all gummage? Oh, where's the gummage? I used to love where's the gummage. Yeah, the, um, the, and Every Sunday. also, wasn't she in Sherlock as well? I don't know. I don't, I don't watch much telly anymore. I don't you're, get time. you're obviously just not old enough. <laughs> Everyone out, we, we all know you, Miss Stubbs. Is. I think she's the only person who I know that name of. So we'll build it all up and then I'll also show you another colourway and then I'll show you different techniques and how to sew it. Okay. I love this colourway oh, because I mean. it's kind of rainbow, but mm. subtle rainbow. Yeah, it's not too in your face, is it? Your chakra just moved when you said that. Ooh, don't say that. <laughs> did, did you see? Did you see? <laughs> see? <laughs> mm, it's moving. I, I don't know. <laughs> There's something going on. The chakras move. It's moving by itself. Nothing to do with the sellotape on the top of the pole. <laughs> He's trying to tell you something. I keep lifting this up. You don't need to, you see. It's just so clever. I don't want to keep getting in the way of these shots. You can move it. It's just great that it does that. It is. But you see, you can take it off. You could just put it on your table, you see. Oh, see. See? By the end of this show, I'll have sold a one. No, I, I'm going to get a market one. stall. Yeah, I'm de <laughs> I, I want one of those irons. Well, luckily, mine blew up yesterday, and I know where you can buy them from. <laughs> there you go. We'll chat. We'll chat. Oh, sorry, that was my stomach rumbling. How was Glastonbury? <gasps> Great. The uh, your pictures are absolutely fabulous. Mm, it was f it was fabulous. I'm glad you didn't go this week. The weather's terrible this week. I'm sure you've got a couple of stories to tell me off yeah, there. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, a few. <laughs> I've still got my band on. I can't bear to take it off. Oh yeah, I made a um, memory cushion for somebody once. Made from all of their festival things, and part of it was all those bands. And I made oh, like a um, a nine patch. Oh no! Nice. Cushion with all the all like with a little nod to all, including with all those all bands. bands as well. I know I've kept all of mine. Can't bear to take them off. No, it was fab, and I found Mandy Shaw in a I field. I know I saw that. That's Camp amazing. Bunting. So was it? There's a lot of stores. I've never been to Glastonbury. Well, they have one out field <laughs> that's called the Craft Field, and it's amazing. And in the Craft Field is where she has Camp Bunting. You can go along and you do a little craft. You pay like a five or something, and you just sit there and do a craft. One of them was avocado stone carving oh really so there are these people Impressive. sitting in this tent carving avocado stones you would have to eat a lot of avocados so they, they had them they had loads they there. Did, right. but mandy she had this beautiful like little tent and it had all loads and loads of bunting and then she had all old singer sew machines hand ones oh lovely and then you just sat there and you made some bunting lovely it was and then there was and in this field you could do like basket making and all sorts so if you want to get out of the madness of glastonbury you just go to the craft field i bet you i bet you were in your element there as well lovely it was really lovely all I good all this and i got to see paul mccartney and diana ross so there we go bonus <laughs> i know so when's the next one when's your next big festival well next glastonbury if you get a ticket it's always a lottery though isn't it always oh is it really hard to get it's really ridiculously hard 
ridiculously hard. They, 200,000 tickets will sell out in 20 minutes. Really? Mm. That's and it's insane. just a case of being on your computer and pressing. <gasps> it's the most ridiculously difficult thing to get hold of. I watched Ed Sheeran. That was really cool. I was there. I watched him there. It was good. Were yeah. you there? Yeah. Where, which one did I you go to? Well, when Ed Sheeran was there. Oh, no, I didn't watch Glastonbury. I watched Ed Sheeran's concert. I went oh. a couple of weeks ago. Did you? I went with my best mate, oh, Bex. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, so that was really no, good. No, I saw it at Glastonbury. But I know, like, just to get those tickets, yeah, the day that they went on sale, I ordered them that morning, and I could bear, there was hardly any mad. tickets left. And Glastonbury is just even worse than that, because everyone wants to be there. So, yeah, I can appreciate how... And I wore sequins oh, and of course you did. crochet trousers. I saw the... Cro did you show him the crochet trousers when you were on, on air? Well, no, I haven't shown them on air, because I'd have to stand on the table. And they weren't <laughs> as hot as you think. They were quite breezy. Were they? Well, because although <laughs> they were thick, I was worried they'd be really hot, but because they've got holes like granny squares, they were quite windy. There we go. Self-cooling trousers. Anyway, we're supposed to be talking about sewing. We are, well. Just so, you've, you just, because you've traced it, you peel off the bits and then just put it on the bit where you've traced. Yeah, that's what I mean, it's really So easy. you don't have to, well, you have to be able to draw, obviously, because you created this, but for people like me, doesn't have to. No. All Rebecca and Delphine, wonderful designs as usual. There you go, look, Una Stubbs was in Summer Holiday film with Cliff Richard and was Aunt Sally and Wurzel Gummidge from Elizabeth. I've Thank you, Elizabeth, I'm glad someone else knows who she I'd forgotten about the Summer Holiday film, but wasn't she in um, Sherlock with Benedict Cumberbatch? I haven't watched it. Or was that someone else? If anyone knows. I told you, I don't really get She's to watch very good TV. anyway. Oh, yeah, but she's been around forever. She was in Summer Holiday with Cliff Richards. I'm better with faces. <laughs> I'm better with faces. Yeah. I'm going to show you a picture of her later. Yeah, like, it's like my, uh, my friend Beck. She's always telling me all these different actors, and I'm just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. No, don't know who they are. Oh, that's quite good. But you're... So you're not doing what you would normally do? In what way? Well, you're sticking. Yeah, well, I just wanted to show you... Right. But what you would normally do is put one down. Yeah, add a few pieces, then sew them, and yeah, and just do it as you go along. Okay. Only because it makes it a lot easier to yeah. sew it all down, and you're not going to damage your pieces. Although, batik fabric don't really fray. Then, which is useful. Which is perfect for applique. So it's when, brilliant. I love this colourway. Whenever I get the opportunity to work with batiks, I'll always okay. bite Hayley's hand off because because it doesn't. Fray. But actually, I so I can see now why you've done the sort of the, the coloured lines because it's you've now got a nice balance because you've got yellows and blues and pinks in this way. You've got a nice balance of yeah. them now. And again, it's all done for if you just choose, you know, the the, the Morning, green please. line. please. Can you tell us the finished size of Una? Um, yes. Yes. One Did moment. I put it on the front? Oh, we'll just see, and if not, we'll get a tape measure out. Uh, yes, it's thirty-six by thirty-two inches. There you go. There you go. I'm getting better at remembering to do the mm. those things. <laughs> <laughs> and a horn. I'm missing an ear. There's one. That's not an ear. Amy's got a good question. What's Amy's question? Morning, Rebecca and Delphine. When placing pieces, how do you know which order? When it just follow the template, so is that what you mean? Yeah, you um, do you mean what order, as in, are they overlaying? Do you look at the picture? Just for, look at the picture. I mean, on one of them, I've actually um, overlaid one of the... Um, there's only, like, one or two places where you overlay them. I think it's one there and one there. And I guess it doesn't matter which, no, it doesn't. which way you overlap anyway. No. So it doesn't matter? It doesn't matter. Yeah, so if there's, a, yeah, if there's only a couple overlay, it doesn't matter which whether. Like the blue overlap the yellow or the yellow up overlap no, the blue. It doesn't matter. Um, good morning, ladies. Absolutely stunning wall hanging kit from Julie Edward. But I know it is, isn't Thank it? You. It's absolutely stunning. You're always very kind about my work. It's always lovely. Oh. I like now this is my favourite. Is this your favourite colourway? This is this one and the oh, I would really like to see that pink on the, the black. The black and the pink. Yeah. yeah. I think the black and the pink is gorgeous. That's gonna be Knockout, I yeah. Well, when you, um, anyone, like if more. you buy the black and the pink one, when you get it home and you've taken it, can you send Delphine a picture? <laughs> yes, please. Because <laughs> she's never going to have time to make that as well. No, there's never enough hours in the day, is there? Oh, look at him, he's like coming together, she. I think that one goes there. See, I'm just making it up as I go along now. 
And by all means, if you want to add a bit more hair, we'll add a few more details. Well, this by is all what I said. You, know, you can just stick to what you've done and have it like this, but you can add your own personality yeah. if you want to. Exactly. And if everyone was the same, it'd be a bit boring, wouldn't it? So by all means, put your own little... That's why I talk about... Um, different ways of quilting yes she was in Sherlock see I was right she was in Sherlock she was the um, housekeeper wasn't she Sherlock's his housekeeper morning guys love all of Delphine's projects from Sharon oh, Southampton thank oh, you very thank much you. thank That's you for confirming that one Sharon um, yeah. someone says how much you get on the roll of underwear loads um, loads of it five meters 30 centimeters wide and five meters long and remember it's 3.99 off which is only till midnight though and it's really worth having i used to buy those small packets until oh, i no. realized that the roll was the best way to go always and if you want to um obviously because at, at the moment the way that delphine's doing this is showing you how to create the horse if you want to know more about how to do bond web and how it works right from the beginning um at 12 o'clock the um design and the kit that delphine's going to be showing us the poppy cushion she's going to start right from the beginning so it's going to be a complete beginner's guide to bond web so if you have never done it before you love this but you want to learn from the beginning then do watch at 12 o'clock i need to do another ear because i've lost my have you ear. lost an ear has anyone got a pen anywhere uh yes i have one you are good over here somewhere i always lose something every time i come well on. i did have one where's it is it there we go, I'll just move it down a bit. Ah, there it is. It's a friction pen, all right? Um, it, no. It will go off, isn't it? Is that a normal pen? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You can have one of them. But I, thought, I will show this friction pen bit. So okay. if you do, you know, for when I do do, when I do do, when I do do the ear, where's that, what's it again? Oh, in fact, would you kindly if you like me to do an ear for you. Yes. Do you want the which ear do you want? The right ear and could you trace it onto the glue side? <laughs> On the glue side? Yeah. Alternative. Because okay. otherwise it will be reversed. It will be. So this yeah. ear here. Yes, please. Can I have your pen then? Yes you may. Oh, yeah. Thank you much. Teamwork makes the dream work, doesn't it? Does. So yeah, so if you do have your friction pen and you do just trace over, so if I just draw a line, I don't know, well, let's where go where the ear goes. So let me just bring it down a little tad. So the ear is going to go somewhere around here, this type of shape. Now you'll barely be able to see that, really. Yeah, you, you'll have all the templates in yours. So you won't be just, but because Delphine designed it, she's allowed to do the freehand. There we are. Thank you very much. And then, by just pressing it away, you've got that line there. Oh, so the oh, it leaves the white just because of the. Yeah. So the if you if you're not a fan of marking your um, fabrics like that, then um, you can use something else. But the only reason I I don't mind doing it, if you, you just need to make sure that you're accurate with your. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's you the won't actual, see them. it's the the metal that's going to leave in the mark. Yeah, but you won't. But you won't, it's going to be covered up with your templates anyway. So it doesn't matter. If well, you could use fabric. a hero marker, couldn't you? That's it. It's just that I'm just a friction pen type of person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <gasps> oh. Uh, we've just melted we just part melted of a plastic a bag, bag on the bottom of the new iron. But don't tell anyone. Fix. Don't it. tell anyone. That's impressive. That's just come off. Ah. Um, Delphine actually did that on purpose. So if you melt <laughs> a plastic bag on your iron, and it, then it, it comes just, off. It just comes off. Look at your bag now. Oh dear. <laughs> Diamond ceramic flow. Oh, I'm, I'm sold. Yeah. sold. I'm sold. I'm sold. Yeah, I need one of yeah. those in my life. Look at it. Gosh, isn't it? Only 162.99. Only. Mm. I need to treat myself. If I do, if I do well today. <laughs> and it's on split pay. So if you want um, to have equal payments of £54.33, we're interest free that is, so you can spread the cost. So I get through a lot of irons and my recent, my, mm. my other one, it just doesn't get hot enough, but that gets really nice and yeah, hot. Yeah, it does, it's it? a 2000 watt iron. Yeah, but I've just had a new sewing room done, so that could be a little treat to myself. Well, it's quite a nice colour as well, and these things are important, aren't they? It is. It matches my car. You, 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 you know when you're in the building, <laughs> your car stands out, bright yellow car. Well, how do you think I'd ever find it in the supermarket car park if it wasn't for it? Is that your reasoning, yellow? was it? Mm, yeah. 
Again, I just hate not being able to find my car. <laughs> and I'll be able to find my iron now. I'm in the mess of my sewing room. I never know where my car is. Well, you need to get a yellow one. When I was pregnant, I, um, I was convinced someone stole my car. I was in a multi-story car park. I got myself into a right state. I was heavily pregnant. And uh, I got myself in such a state that I couldn't find my car. I parked on a different floor. <laughs> There we go. There we go. Did you go to the security guard and everything? I very nearly did. I oh. phoned Nick. I was like, I can't find the car. And uh, it's another thing. When I was, um, I did some daft. That I think it was. I think it was like the same week. I, I was. Uh, I was still in the police then, and I was um, trying on maternity wear, you know, for mm. for work. And I went and tried these trousers on in, I can't remember, Spencer's or somewhere like that. And I was so pleased that they fit, I went straight to the cashier counter I forgot to put my other trousers back on. <laughs> <laughs> that was the same time. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, but I was always a chuff with these trousers. <laughs> oh. What did they do, just scan your book and... <laughs> I just went, ooh! <laughs> I just ran, waddled back in. Okay, so that is the rainbow colourway, multi colourway. All done. It's, see, it's quite. That's it's amazing. It's like that's why I love your designs because it's like suddenly come to life. Oh, it so is a horse running. It's the Lloyd's Bank horse running through the sea, isn't it? Then you could make a little. Unit. There are other banks are available. Sorry, Hannah. So it me off when I say things I like that. I can show you now what it would look like in the blue. Right. Okay. And then I will do some sewing. I promise. I've got. Yeah, it'd be nice to see. You. So that's so the one. That's the uh, the one that's on the screen at the moment. Navy. Multi on Navy is the one that Delphine's just done. She's now going to show us it in the blue. I'm not going to peel all the bits off because I'll Which be here just, forever. Yeah, just um, just sort of gives you an idea of, of what, what it looks what like. What it looks like. Yes. Because this was the only other one that was on the Navy, so I thought, and this one I think will look really like really icy. Oh, it will actually. Yeah, that's true. This is where you'll see how badly I cut the pieces out in such a rush. Just I know, but it doesn't have to be exactly the same. No, it doesn't. I do like the way you make me feel better. <laughs> it doesn't have to be the same. It doesn't have to be the same. Oh, now it's becoming an ice horse. Yeah. I mean, you will see a bit of the colours <laughs> too. Ice horse, not an ice horse, an ice horse. <laughs> so what are you saying? <laughs> like it's an ice horse. No, an ice horse. Ooh. So the graphics on the screen at the moment are the one that Delphine is turning it into. Let me just, I'm not, these are, I haven't taken the glue off, it's just because they've been folded in a bag, so I just want them to lay flat. And it's an excuse to use the iron. Any excuse to use the iron. Yeah. You keep putting it on its end. I know, it's, it's happy though, isn't I it? I know, it's brilliant. Well, you know what's going to happen once I've had this for a month though? Then one day I'll get another iron and I'll be burning everything. So yes, you will, yeah. It's a bit like, the same, like my sewing machine for lifts when I stop. Ooh, so when I use another sewing machine, it doesn't do that. You're like, why aren't you lifting well, it? I'm like, oh, how do I get it out then? There we go. Looks quite nice against that lighter blue. Does as your well. does the the 720 do that? My, what lift up my foot? Mm. No. Okay. That's my next purchase after the iron. Oh, the 720. Yeah. Oh, it's a I decided the iron was. I yeah. decided the um, iron was cheaper though. <laughs> just, just a tad. slightly more affordable. Yeah. You won't go back there once you've used yeah, this machine. I, yeah, well, you've I had know. a play on this machine, haven't you? It's I know. Delphine and I have a lot of conversations about this machine because she's the 720 because she set it up for free machine embroidery for me once to have a go. Oh, you were, you were well aware, Oh, I love that machine. I'm just saving up. It's only £1,799, which is an absolute bargain for what it does. Uh, absolutely. I think mm. it's one of those that, yeah, it is a considered purchase, but once you've gone with that, this machine, you'll never go you to anything else. You realise that you've, um, your consideration was correct. Yes, definitely. But I like the fact it's semi-industrial, so it'll just go through anything. Yeah, it's a it's really powerful machine. Mm. And if you think all that, the behind me, all that uh, free motion embroidery I did, all of all wow. of it on this and it not once not once did i break a needle did it snag did it That's pull amazing you know sometimes you do free motion and yes, it, it, it you know the tension's not quite right yes regularly never, mine does never that. never on this machine and if you're doing because i make curtains as well you you can get the super fast they're super fast isn't it yeah so I know, i'm just convincing myself i know i want it. yeah so i often use the straight stitch plate so if you want to do piecing really accurate piecing mm. um you go, I use the straight stitch plate because you're going to get that guaranteed yeah. bang on.
quarter of an inch seam. Yeah, see, actually, I mean, really, Delphine's not a very good sewer at all. She's just got a great machine. <laughs> that, it's, and it's I'm so hoping, true. you see, when I get that machine, I'm just going to become, like, a professional like you, then. Uh, <laughs> what? You're the professional, none of them. Oh, Katie's messaged in that she's concerned the iron's on the table. Ah, but you see, it isn't. It isn't on the table. See, it's got little feet. <laughs> That's the point. And let me show you the table. The table is mildly warm. I mean, we'd leave it there all day, but on your ironing board it'll be fine. But it's completely fine. But it's warm. It's not wet. It's no. Not hot. Oh Sorry. no, it's barely, barely mm. warm. So don't worry. I'll put it on the end if that makes you feel better, Katie. So I know you can see the colours. Through, yeah, but it no, gives no, you the idea. Oh look! So I think that would look <gasps> really striking, especially but with some of these. But you put all of that on in like five minutes. Yeah, but I haven't glued it. No, but we can see now what it looks like. And then that's I'll the blue. So the blue one that um, Delphine has just put on top is the one that's on screen at the moment. Twenty nine ninety nine is bargain, isn't it? There we go. So I'll take off. Hang on a minute. She said, "Don't move. Don't move." I'm not moving. She wants to. Right now, you can move it now. Oh, okay. Sure. Right. I'm just so while you move those, I'm going to recap the different quilts. So, oh, the purple one sold out. Sorry. Can't have that one. Um, the, the one that Delphine was doing, the, um, the rainbowy one, where you get the lovely mottled blue fabric. Remember, you get the instructions with all of them. The one, there's only 14 of the, this one left, and that's got the sort of the rainbow batiks. But they're a very subtle rainbow because the colours all go together as well. It's not like really too striking, very pretty. Um, the blue one, that Delphine just created that has um, a metre of the blue mottled, five different batik fabrics and the full instructions, the picture of that is there. We are on single figures of this one. Please do check out your basket. If it's sat in your basket, the chances are that it's gonna sell out and someone else will take yours. Please do check out. Um, remember this can be a unicorn as well. Um, then there's the black and pink one, which one day when Delphine's got five minutes she's going to make. This has been really popular since the beginning. So you've got a plain black background and then you've got these beautiful pink batiks. Pink and blue, pink and yellow, pink mottled. So that's, I mean, look at when you look at them. Let me just show you them like this. You can see what they look like. Look at those with the black. Absolutely stunning. You can see what that one's going to look like. And then finally, there's the sort of the neutral and green one. So the background of this is lovely. It's like a grey taupe mottled. And then the colours that are on it are green. Batiks, but lovely shades of green. With sort of, Some have got blue, some have got like citrine in them. There we go. So you just got to choose. There's the tricky bit. They'll all be beautiful. They will all be beautiful. Or if you want the instructions on their own, have we got any of those left? We have got some of those left, a few. If you want to use your own fabric or if you're thinking you're going to make it onto something that's already made like a quilt or a blanket or something, um, they're $9.99. Um, Delphine's with us. Delphine's with us for three hours. How lucky am I today? We're doing, Delphine's doing the, um, the Buddha. This one here that's behind me. Um, and we've got her brand new chakra quilt as well that seems to be moving towards Delphine. I know, it's getting closer and closer. I think isn't it's it? attracted to you like chakras are, aren't they? Mm. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, uh, that was a bit creepy when it started moving, mm. wasn't it? Right, so to quilt the dark background, I think the only way to do it is with some really, really bright threads. Okay. So, um, from so we've sewn all the thing, all the pieces so on so, now. Yep. So, you, uh, with most of my projects using either a zigzag, uh, my favourite, which is blanket stitch or satin stitch. So you go around all your pieces individually. I just bought the 720, and I absolutely love it. Best machine ever from Petra in the West Midlands. <gasps> Oh, I, I, we're yeah. machine friends. Yeah, we be <laughs> machine best friends, and I come round and borrow yours until I get one. They, it is honestly, 
just beautiful. And luckily, I get to try them all here. They're all beautiful machines. That's just the one but I want. But this, 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 this is the best. <laughs> yeah. Not a real to have favourites. So, from John's birthday, I still use oh. the threads. Uh, they, they're just really, really bright, really colourful. Okay, so the, have we got some of those, Hannah? So this is what I'm going to we'll use. We'll have a look at those in a minute. So what I thought with this one to quilt is to follow the hair. Okay. So I'm going to shadow quilt some hair and right. I'll make it even bigger. Okay. So what I'll do with this one is, if you lengthen your stitch a little. What to? Um, to a, I'm going to go about four. Okay. So it's like, it's no, a three then. and a half. There we go. So I've got the orangey uh, variegated in there at the moment. And you can just mix up the colours because these are perfect for these projects. So you just got wadding yeah, on the back but, of there? Yeah, but only because I didn't have... But, no, so, but you'd normally, normally just have wadding and backing and you've yes. got, there's nothing else, no hoops or... No, nothing. And then you just... Have you got a walking foot on there? I haven't, but I would. That would be my choice. Right. <coughs> but this machine comes with a walking foot, doesn't it? It does. It comes with... But you're not using that and it's still working okay? Yep. Still working perfectly. But... So, shadow quilting, how do you work out so, where to go? Well, I sort of make it up as I go along, but you just echo quilt the shapes that are already there. Right and just fill in the lines really so i'll do a few more and then it's you could use the template and or you could draw them on or you can just go around the whole thing but i thought if i just completely echo quilted it it wouldn't have the same flowy yes effect so you just it doesn't have to be accurate then you just choose no this is the best thing about this type of quilting because no it doesn't have to be accurate accurate at all so this will be a good way for if you're fairly new and you don't want to do a free motion finish on it. Yeah, because you are, it is straight stitch. There's no dropped feed dogs or anything. No. So I'll just go in between a few more. Right, so the, um, the thread foot Delphine is using it on the screen at the moment, $52.99. And you get all of those spools inside. So you yep. get six colours, 50 weight thread, which is your standard weight thread. And they are all hand picked and selected by John himself. Some are plain and some are variegated. In fact, three are plain and three are variegated, which gives you that lovely multi texture. 1300 metres per spool all our fill thread which is ideal for machine quilting because it doesn't bobble no and it's beautiful cotton isn't it why do you like our fill then just because it sews so nicely and it's just you get a lot on the spool and it's thin and it sews well yeah <laughs> and it's yeah. strong and it's strong and you don't get loads of lint either no because i do because i do do so much sewing i do um, if i have it if i don't have a really good thread it does just fill up your machine doesn't it yeah, so it does true. make a difference So, for example, when I did um, the quilting on the Buddha, that was a lot of quilting. And that was all in Aurofil, and I didn't get hardly any lint in my wow. machine. Whereas with this one, I didn't have any. I was just plain cotton that just, you know, just on the normal plain yeah. spool. And it filled it out to keep really? empty in oh, it. Oh, wow. So it does make a huge difference. Interesting. So that's just a just a quick example and I can do a little bit more and don't forget Delphine will be us with us in the next hour and at 12 o'clock we've got three hours of you today how lovely three hours fat yeah. isn't it busy double busy mm. triple busy triple busy triple busy and remember 12 o'clock is the beginners applique show which is going to be great okay, okay let's see let's see oh wow so you just went to the end yeah, and pivoted and, uh, back and, again. The, and then back again. So you could just do with all these colours. So what I'll do then is then mix it and turn, fill that part in with the the. I don't think I've brought it with me actually, but he's like a turquoisey colour. Uh, okay, no, that's not in here. 
So I'll got one missing. fill that in with a turquoise colour. And right. then you've also got your pink. So you just alternate the colours and you just keep doing that oh, all the way okay. around. And then to finish the actual background, I'll probably just do a cross hatch with the navy thread. Right, across the whole thing or just the background? Just the background. Oh, okay. And what about in the centre of his face? I'll probably cross hatch that as oh, well. Okay. Any of the navy, that's what I'll do. In this one, only because it's lots of different textures yes, and yeah. it's going to make it more interesting. Or you could free or you could just leave it plain. The true. You don't true. need to. You don't have to quilt. No, it. no. Because you s when you sew these on, do you sew them on with the wadding behind? Yes. So you're kind of quilting as you go. So anyway. I quilt as I go. It just right. makes it easier. If you um, are fairly new you might want to um, to applique you might wish to sew them on the back the back background first before mm. quilting only because obviously it's a lot to get through your yeah, machine true. but if you have a 720 pro you've got a lot of float space so uh, yeah. it's uh, it's perfect for it. i got the 720 about five months ago after delphine's brilliant demo view i absolutely love it thank you delphine from jane oh there we go you, I know, well i tell you what when i buy mine it'll be delphine's fault as well we will we'll, we'll start to do a show my together. My machine just doesn't machine embroider as accurately. It jumps, it skips, and it breaks. Not with this. And that doesn't. No. And that's going to make a difference it in my life. And again, with my old machine, which was a workhorse, but uh, because I do do so much blanket stitching and zigzag stitch, and again, if you, if it's not sewing correctly, it does jump, yeah. and it, it's not as neat. And if you want to go for that competition level finish of where they're looking at all of those little stitches, <laughs> you will get it on, on, I know. on this, it this machine. So shall I do a couple more? Yeah, do one? some more. I I'll think with the machine as well, you kind of it, it's an investment. It's not so you don't buy one every year, do you? No, no, <laughs> no. It's an investment. Who, who gets to buy a machine every hobby. year? Oh, I, can't, I don't know how long I've have had it now. It must be coming up to it. Delphine, you are the queen of a clique. Your kits and designs are oh. amazing. Take a bow. Oh, that's, that's from Georgie. That's very they kind. They are, aren't they? They are beautiful. I made Daisy the cow in denim, and it looks fab. Yeah, you are, but you you can make anything. I don't I've, know where I you get all the time you have to sew. You're always coming up with all yeah. sorts of projects. Yeah, but I can't I can't do this drawing. You see, that's why I have to work with Amy. I can't draw. I have to label um, drawings. And Amy is amazing. Um, we do very, very have clever. a kit of the Highland cow. Um, are these the same? Uh, the yes, they are those two. That's it. I was confused. I thought they were different ones. So, if you want to do a Highland cow, we've actually got this kit, and it's got the Tula pink. It's the Tula pink Highland cow. This one. That's where it all began. Is this the, the first one? That was my first one. Yeah. Um, I didn't realise this was the first one. It was the first one. It was um, it was a couple of years ago now. Hayley just sent me a charm pack of Tula Pink and gave me free reins. I'd just come Make up with something, something and I made <gasps> that. And I was so nervous about it. Really? Yeah. It's amazing. So in the kit, look at the Highland Cow. It's gorgeous. That's the one I was going to do after Daisy the Cow. I've seen so many of you made this in all different colours. It's beautiful. So in this kit, you get the full instructions. You get the white fabric for the background. But you get a charm pack of Tula Pink. And look. Look at the colours and the prints. It looks amazing on the cow. Beautiful. Is this, is this photo using this pack? No, but it's Tula Pink, so but you know what you get. Yeah, yeah, so it's the same colours. But it will explain uh, the I exact same. If when, I'd, when you do the Highland Cow, if you're using a charm pack, all the colours are there, aren't they? So you've got your reds, your yellows, your yes, reds, your green. Yeah. So it's exactly the same. You just separate them and make sure you do a different colour for each, each section. Each section but it is but just, absolutely just gorgeous. So if you want the Highland Cow, twenty four ninety nine, you get a whole charm pack. That's 42 pieces, 5-inch squares. The white fabric for the background and the instructions all works in exactly the same way and remember so if you love this or you love the horse but you want to, you've never done it before then do watch at 12 for um delphine's beginner replica she's a genius and then when you've got the pattern you see you can make it in loads of things so i made daisy the cow in cave and another oh, one in made denim too yeah me too one for my daughter for christmas and one for her boyfriend oh that's nice i used all my old jeans but daisy looks lovely 
Oh, please, Kate. I did wash them brilliant. first. I did wash them first. <laughs> I collect old jeans, which I do wash first. Let's do yeah, I, often people often donate me their old jeans as well, and then I make things from them. There we go. So you can do the, you know, yeah, just keep working, going. Let me have a close look. Oh, I see. So all I'll do is just go in between. Yeah. As you can see, it's quite good to just make sure you go around all your pieces before you. Um, it's quite nice. I think with this sort of quilting as well, it's a bit scary to start with. But then once you get going, you get more, you get braver. You'll get so into it. It's really, it's, yeah, don't be, yeah. It's one of those that, if you are completely new to a plique, start with a Highland cow. Right. Because that okay. is the easiest one to do. Mm. That one or the giraffe. They're the easy, okay. easiest one. They look hard, but they're not. Right. So, well, in fact, because I'm teaching that at Festival of Quilts. Are you? And they were all sold out, but they've just put on another Highland Cow workshop. So Fantastic. if you are nervous about PK, come to Festival of Quilts. Yeah, come and, and have do, a private lesson yeah, with a few other people. <laughs> so another thing what I, what I did on this one, I don't know if you can see, but I also embellished it with some sequins. It's got sequins all yeah. over it. So just give it like that magical little sparkle. So they are, they're, they're just hand stitched on? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That, I put quite a lot of work in there it. There are loads. That's what I mean. I'm <laughs> I was thinking you were going to tell me, no, they're all machine stitched. And then... There are loads of them. And then if you just put a little bit of um, white at the centre of the oh, eyes, okay. always on any of the projects, and it makes the eyes stand out a little bit more. So all that is is a zigzag it's stitch fabulous. that I've, um, you know, shortened to like a 0.5 or something like that. And then you do it really, really quick and then reverse stitch and then you've got the little white in and the eyes. And it's the tiniest detail, but once you've done it, it, re it mm. makes it... I was trying to try and do it in the right way, but you know, symmetrical. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll look might look a bit cross-eyed. Yeah, it's fantastic. I love it. So that's it. The horse is done. That's it. Your horse is done. And then back it, bind. You get low. You get loads of. Batik, Where's the so. horn? Oh, where have I put my horn? Where are we going to put the horn on? Have I got the horn. No, you had the horn. I did. Oh, I've probably it's a. It's, Probably underneath here with all my mess. Yeah, I think it went back in. Yeah. We're going to find it. There it is. Oh, yeah. And then we can see what it looks like as a unicorn. Obviously, this is from the other colourway, but you'd. You can make it into a unicorn as well. well. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Now it's a unicorn. Yeah. Fantastic. There you go. Gorgeous. Oh, that would look lovely. Um, <coughs> right, I'm <coughs> just going to go, I'm going to go back to the kits. You can go for a minute, set up for the next one. Okay. Set up for the next one. Poor Delphine is back after the break. She's got to move all of this stuff and get on, get on the next one. But it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I'm, I, like, I like standing in front of this Buddha. So the Buddha is coming next. I'm just going to run through the kits. Now, the, the purple and white one that's hanging on the wall that we've been talking about, that has sold out. But the one that um, Delphine has been demoing with... Not that one. The one that she's been demoing that's got the rainbow, that has the, na the mottled navy background fabric, and then it has this beautiful rainbow batik. Purples and turquoises and yellows all with sort of grey, nice muted background. So it's quite a soft rainbow. And the full instructions. That's the one on screen at the moment, 29 99 If you want to make the ice blue one, <laughs> yes, that one there. Full instructions, the mottled navy background meter of, and then you get these beautiful icy blue batiks. So you've got ones with yellow, you've got some batiks with slight turquoises and bits of pink. Gorgeous. But that's really, that's a lovely, um, almost like your winter horse. Um, if you want to make a hot pink horse, <coughs> the unicorn, I think this would work beautifully as a unicorn, then you get a meter of the black fabric and then you get the pack of pink. I'm going to lay them out because I think you need to see these. I think this one will be stunning. This one is very low in stock though. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Really stunning horse. Um, then finally, if you want more of a natural looking 
mute, more muted look. Um, you've got the this sort of mottled grey background, grey like taupe, metre of, and then you get five of the green batik fabrics, all different shades of batik. And that's that pack there. They look lovely together, don't they? So those are all of them, and also instructions on their own. So if you want to use your own fabric or use your own background, you can get the instructions on your own. But obviously the instructions come with all the kits. So if you get one of the kits, you get the instructions, and then you can do another one, which is fab. So coming up in the next hour, Delphine will be back with us, and she is going. We're going to recap the Buddha kit because they sold out completely um, when. Delphine was in for John's birthday, so we've got them back. Uh, but we've got those back in stock, so we'll talk briefly about those. But Delphine is here with her brand new chakra quilt, and we've got um, the chakra gemstones as well, all there. So we've got it's the chakra show. Mm. Gorgeous, that. So that's brand new. So we're going to go for a quick break, go get a cup of tea and come back and um, Delphine's going to show us how to make this beautiful quilt. And any questions you've got, please do message in the studio. And I'll see you back in a couple of minutes. Hello, my name is Mark Francis and I'm a guest designer right here on Sewing Street. Uh, you may have seen me before. I don't know whether anybody has maybe tuned into the Great British Sewing Bee, but I was there for Series 6 reaching the quarterfinals. I'm now here on Sewing Street on your screens bringing you my very favourite sewing patterns for men, women and children. Uh, for dressmaking and tailoring. Uh, so you can fill your stash and your collection with my very favourite fabrics and sewing patterns, including my very own range uh, right here, exclusive to Sewing Street. Something you may not know about me, now let's have a think. A lot of this has been covered on the sewing bee, but uh, I am a Blue Peter badge winner. I know, I know. I haven't worn it in a while. Slightly too old to get into Warwick Castle these days wearing it, but you never, I don't know, do I pass for 16? I don't know, possibly not anymore. Um, and I'm also, hence the piano, uh, a pianist I've been playing since the age of seven, when my school teacher at the time taught me a little under duress from my mother because he thought I would be terrible. It turned out I wasn't, but there we go. Such is life, you never know until you give it a go. <gasps> Have I just invented a new catchphrase? I don't know. You never know until you give it a go. Caption across the screen, please. Thank you very much. So do join me popping up on your screens on here on Sewing Street to bring you my very favourite sewing patterns uh, and fabrics from across the range, including my very own uh, range of sewing patterns from So Mark Francis, um, including this very Turlo shirt. Um, more to come on a regular basis, so do keep tuned for that. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day.
you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Welcome back to Sewing Street and um, if you've just joined us this morning, welcome to Sewing Street. You've missed Delphine's first hour, which was fab because we had a lovely horse, unicorn horse. <laughs> and, but this hour is all about um, Delphine's brand new chakra quilt design. But first of all, I just want to bring back the Buddha quilt. So this beautiful, beautiful wall hanging quilt here, um, Delphine designed specially for John Scott's birthday because he loves a Buddha, loves it. And it was a complete sellout, everyone loved it, so we brought it back specially. Now it's available in two different colourways, which I'll go through in a minute, but isn't it gorgeous? So it features organza, all different colours of prints, and then the beautiful Buddha that's in batik. Yes. And lots of quilting. Lots and lots of quilting, yes. It's gorgeous. So what was, what was the inspiration, that John wanted one? Yes, John said, I'd like a Buddha, please. I was like, okay, no, to be, it, that was what he wanted, but we actually put a lot of thought into this. So okay. we, after one sh after a, a show one day, we sat down together, had a meeting, and we, he was like, gave me a bit of an idea of what he wanted. I was like, well, what about that? And I came up with a couple of ideas. He was like, yes, okay. let's go with that. And then we talked about the different colours and the threads, and then how we wa how we wanted the overall look to to be. So he had quite a lot of input in it right. as well. Okay. Yeah. So, so he told you what you want we wanted, and, and I made just, it, and you made yeah. it fantastic. Pretty much beautiful isn't thank it thank you beautiful i'm quite proud of that one now the one that's on the wall this is the blue one there are this is in single figures so let me show you what you get in the kit 54.99 you get the full instructions obviously well it's not a book it's a book not just a booklet with um 100 size templates so there's none of that enlarging business going on all in here um as always with Delphine's designs, very, very clear, concise instructions, lots of photos, exactly how to make it. I mean, it is an absolute thing of beauty, isn't it? Stunning. 
and you can create this you don't need to be able to draw you just need to be able to sew you don't you know this Delphine's done all of the hard work for you it's got the placement guides so that's all in the instructions it then comes with this special panel that has been pr printed specifically for this because now if you were going to make it again obviously you can use other fabrics if you you know once you don't even make it again but when you look at this quilt if you haven't got a large stash of all the different prints look at all the different prints that are in here in the hearts so this is the most amazing value for money but I mean obviously if you want to do it yourself you just need to have all these different colors but look at the panel all of these and they're not it's not just the colors but all the prints as well so there are 60 <clears throat> five inch squares on here absolutely loads and look at them you've got like batik type prints you've got different colors I mean they the prints have been chosen and designed specifically for this quilt and the only way you can get this is in this kit so you get that you then get the beautiful organza fabric so the organza fabric is layered on top of the is this got a name before I say what that is uh, the, the, it's like the halo the halo yeah, and, and the, the branches and the branches branches not arms yeah. and feet then no halo and branches so the organza and that's what gives it that really ethereal sort of shimmery look is the organza that's layered on top you then get the blue batik that's used for the Buddha itself there's loads in this and you get two meters of the blue um, mottled black background fabric that it all goes on so for 54.99 you get absolutely loads you get the background fabric you get the batik you get the beautiful organza and you get all the different color prints that are for the um the hearts and you get the instructions uh, we, now this one we're on single figures for so very very limited we do have it in another colourway as well. So if you prefer the purple. So the only thing that changes in colour is the Buddha itself and the organza. So you get the same blue background fabric. You get the same um, panel that has all the hearts on. So the difference is that the Buddha itself is purple. Gorgeous. I mean, but it's not just purple. It's, it's batik. It's the Buddha sat under the the Bodhi tree. Oh, it's the Bodhi tree. <laughs> yeah, we don't know. We, me and um, Delphine are not yeah, Buddha Yeah, John experts. told me to do a Buddha, I did a Buddha. Yeah, and he probably <laughs> said that word at some point. Probably. Yeah, it's he was the Bodhi saying tree. all sorts. He, was, he did go into quite a lot more detail on the day. <laughs> he did, and I was like... Yeah. yeah, watch it back, watch it back. What day was it? It was, because I was on the same day. 18th Sat of June. Saturday the 18th of yes. June. Watch yeah. it, the show back and you can see it there. So you get this beautiful, look at, look at all the prints and the colours in there. And, and all the details will be on there about what all the different parts are. Seeing as John specifically commissioned this. Yeah. And then you get this lovely purpley organza. It's got like, when you hold it up to the light, some of it's green, some of it's purple, it really shimmers. So, you, same price, 54 99 you just, and the only difference is that the organza and uh, here, the tree and the Buddha themselves are different colours. Um, we have also got a few instructions on their own. So if you want to use your own fabrics, maybe you've already got organza and you've got some batik, or you want to use your own colours, up to you. If you want the instructions for John Scott's birthday Buddha, $9.99. I'd say it's the same as you get in the kit, so everything, everything exactly the same instructions, but you will need to provide your own fabric for that. Now, on that day as well, because... Um, we we sold some chakra stones because obviously John is really into the Buddhas and likes the healing powers of these. So so if that's something that you you believe in and you would like to use, um, we sold out of them. So this is a set of all the seven chakra stones, and these are genuine. Um, gemstones 
absolutely genuine. So these are the chakra stones that if you that um, if you use this and you believe in this, that the, they have healing powers. We have amethyst. Is that the blue one? We have an amethyst. Milky, milky aquamarine. Rose quartz. Ooh. Citrine, I think that's citrine. Carnelia. And black tourmaline. This <laughs> why I didn't. Yeah, there are seven. There are seven. S Sodialite. So those are all. So um, if you know about the chakra stones, they all. Um, are used to heal different parts of the body and to use different energies. But these are the genuine ones as well. These are genuine gemstones that are used for the chakra crystals. There they are, yes. So, so these are normally 39.99, but we are going to reduce the price today to 9.99. 9.99 so they were 39.99 and they're now 9.99 amazing so when you've made your buddha wall hanging mm. you'll have all your stones as well mm -hmm. or your chakra quilt so if you want to know about um healing gemstones and how they all work and what all the different parts of them use we have got a special booklet here which inside explains the whole principle behind it. So if you look, it explains how all the different chakras work, what different parts of the body that they're used for. It explains what all the different gemstones are about and the affirmations that are used, the whole thing. So if you're interested in the chakra stones, this booklet is fantastic because it does, I was reading it last night, it explains in absolute detail how it all works with a really handy chart on the back about which parts of the body each of the gemstones is used for. Okay? So, based on this, because the chakra stones and the Buddhist quilt were so popular, um, we asked Delphine if she would design a chakra quilt. It's amazing, amazing quilt. It's behind Delphine the minute. Can we have a look? Look, there's a picture of it. So, we have got an amazing quilt kit to make this. It is gorgeous only one kit available and that's because it's just in the one color because it's got all the right colors that you need now the photograph on the website looks like you only get purple and green not sure why that's not right you get all of there's a lot of fabric in here you get seven meters of fabric including a special panel the finished size of it is 38 by 68 so I'm thinking, you know, you could use it when you're doing your yoga if you need, a, you know, often you have a blanket or a quilt to put on top of you. Beautiful wall hanging in the house. I mean, it is stunning. So what you get in the kit, obviously, are the full instructions of exactly how to make it. Everything you need to know is all inside here. You then get this special panel that has been printed with all the chakra on it all the symbols it's oh, let me hold it that way it's printed in the correct colors and to the exact size so that you don't have to trace and work out the applique it's all done for you because the shapes and the flowing lines are all quite complicated it needs to be accurate so this we decided this was the easiest way to do by printing it all out for you then you get these beautiful rainbow colors because the whole quilt is pieced like a rainbow there are 14 different colours. <clears throat> I know on the web it only has two. There are 14 colours. So the colours in here, is it half a metre of each? And you get Imperial, Sage, Royal, Crimson, Hot Tomato, Sky, Chartreuse, Corn Yellow, Peacock, Orange, Sunshine, marine red and purple and white that was just a spare oh an extra that was an extra mm -hmm. 
just because why not okay <laughs> so those are all the colors you get and that will create the whole quilt there is no white in the bundle oh oh <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why we've got them. We don't need the white because we've got the panel. Because here's the panel that has it all in there. So the panel. So that's the complete kit. So the only way you you can make this really is you you do need all of this because in order to get all the chakra symbols. So um, Delphine, tell me about the quilt then. How how did the design come about? Well, first of all, the chakra, the the, the actual quilt kit. I actually made these just using fat quarters. So, right. and I had leftover, so this could be enormous. You could make loads of these oh, okay. in that bundle. So, um, so that's why you can make it even so bigger. So you can make it big or you've got all these, a bit of all these colours left in your stash. So what I would do uh, is with each of the half metres, just take off a fat quarter, fold it up, and then you've got your whole stash of extra fabrics. Right. And then you make this. Okay. That's how I would do it. So the chakra quilt came about. I was actually in the gym talking to Vix and she was going, oh, you did the buddy, you should do a chakra quilt. And I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. And uh, so, and also, um, I've seen them a few places before because I've got quite a bad back at the moment, mm. uh, my right shoulder. I've got to have injections in my elbow and all sorts. And uh, I've been having deep tissue massage. And it, when I go in there, I'd never really noticed it all before, but all the chakra stuff's all over the wall. And I thought it'd be really nice to have, um, you know, when people do massages or yeah, people do yoga, yeah. it's, it, that's why I've done it in this long uh, rectangle way. So you could have it as like a yoga mat. You could have it as right, over so rather a traditional bed. square one. You can have it as a wall hanging. Yeah. So And also if you do, do a lot of yoga or a lot well, of... Well, it's nice to sort of have denoted a quite med meditative space isn't yeah. it and lots of people setting up yoga studios yeah yeah and if you know somebody is setting it up you know what a lovely gift what a lovely thing to have yeah and if you if you do go to you know you could go to pilates you can have the fanciest quilt in the gym oh definitely you oh, take yeah. that out of your bag and go oh yes i'm just yeah you know. and, and i love yeah. all the symbols so those are all the specific chakra yes, symbols they're all as the well. sim yes they're, they're some, uh, again it's all color coordinated so you know exactly which one to put where uh, obviously use the uh, the layout of the instructions yes, I know, yes, you have to make panel, sure you get the right orientation of it the right. outside lines are printed in the colour so you know which yeah. one to put where Yeah, because they'd be quite tricky to trace yourself yeah because originally we were going to do it as templates but exactly for that reason mm. it it would have been a bit too tricky for you to trace it all out and to get the accuracy so why not print it on a panel so we did okay so and then yeah. you've used in each colour section has two colours in it. Yeah, so each, because I didn't want it to just be red, orange, yellow, I wanted yeah. it to have a bit of a mix and make it a bit more, a bit more interesting. Yeah. And so, but again, I didn't want it to be over complicated because it's all about the, the symbols, it's mm. not about the background, not really, but they wanted to work together as a team and tie together right, nicely. Okay. So that's why I've just used basic patchwork. Uh, but I've done it at different, so I've done the chessboard and then I've just mixed up the different um, patterns for each colour, but also done it so in the way that each one flows directly into the next one, so all the points match. Right. So they... So the chakra so, flow. So even though they are separate colours, you get that flow yeah, it's beautiful. of the line. So very, so quite a simple... Yeah, but you've really, that's really thought out though, how that works. Yeah, I, I, I was coming up with different ideas and I thought that... I, it's all about the flow of mm. like you say the, the flow. Of energy yes and so that's why even though each one looks a little bit different they don't they all actually go together mm. gorgeous so where do we start with it then so uh you'll start with the red okay start with the so do so one color yeah section at a time. so that's how i've done okay. it so and um, once you, you've only got to do three different patterns because they've actually repeated so the red is repeated on the green and the purple the orange is repeated on the turquoise and the yellow is repeated on the blue no well yeah you know what i mean it's repeated yeah the orange and the blue is the same yes yeah so you're going to get your you'll get your strips and um, first of all give if you have got best press or a bit of starch i recommend that you give everything a bit of a press before you get going so you'll lay out two sections so one having oh can you move to the left a bit let's move oh, your, oh, your yeah. ironing board Got me pressing that in the way. There we go. So you'll you cut out two sections. So you'll have one 
with alternating with the lighter red and one alternating with the dark. Oh, I'm going to sleep. Oh, excuse me. And <laughs> then, so what you're going to do is sew these together with an accurate quarter inch seam. So on my machine, I've already switched to the straight stitch play and added a quarter inch foot. Okay, because you get more accurate sewing. Yeah. And I'll just piece these together. So you can chain piece these as well. <coughs> That's so fast. 1,000, uh, 1, 1,250 stitches per minute. <laughs> Just. It's great. You've sold me the machine. I've sold you the iron. You have, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go and find out if I can get any discount codes when I finish. <laughs> two together so make sure you double check that you are alternating the color Put that in there. <coughs> just thought have I got any pins anywhere I might need some pins. um yes I have pins here so yeah so you sew them together but because there's only two colors in each thing and you're just alternating the color yeah Yeah, so what in the instructions the templates aren't in there are they because they're no. on the panel they're on the panel so yeah like you say it would have been quite a tricky to cut out uh, to, to, to trace and yeah so in the bun yeah so in the bun in the kit you get the instructions and the panel yeah I just clarify in case anyone's confused how it works. The templates aren't in the instructions because Delphine decided it was just too complicated. The shapes, they need to be accurate. That's really important. So that's why they're printed. But if you look, you can see the outlines are printed in different colours so that when you cut them out, you know which bit to stick them on. But it's just, it's very important with this shack, the chakra symbols that they are accurate, which is why they're printed on a panel and they won't be as templates. And they come in the kit. Fantastic. Really so the so. only way to get hold of this panel is in the kit, which has all of the background colour fabrics, all the rainbow fabrics, the instructions and the chakra symbols. That's the only way, just for a few of you have asked some questions about that. So we're sewing everything together in nice big strips. Yeah, I've nearly done now. And then you want to you want to press your seams in throughout on this one, just to the one side. It doesn't really matter which. Because you want to have that, but 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 yes. Enough. Just pull, unfold this. What am I doing? Oh, there we go. It's pinched together. Right. I'll just do two more. I'll be two seconds. That's fine. That's fine. And then we're just going to do a basic. This is quite a nice little project to do if you are a beginner, because it's going to teach you to be quite disciplined with your yeah I guess so but it's, I mean it, it's a nice project because it's not too big no but it's fairly simple in that you'll strip piecing simple, and then cutting but, yeah and then you just put the applique on simple, I think it's just beautiful it's it actually it's strange but it just feels really calm doesn't it just to look at say again mm. feels calming yeah Colourful, right, is. something you like in your sewing room, nice and bright. Mm. And one thing I have seen, you could do it so it's just you know, smaller, you know, so it's just like if you had like a small wall just going oh, down. Oh, yeah, so just a very long, narrow yeah. one with, this, with just, say, the width of the with, symbols. Just the width of the symbols, which is probably what I'll do today. Oh, OK. Obviously not on all the colours, but... Not on every single colour, but just so that you can see how it works. Yeah. I'm on my last one now so 
the, the chest sections that take the longest, the other sections are quite quick. Okay. There we are. So, oh, get to use the iron. You get to use the iron. Love the iron. Okay. So, all you want to do is just gently waft the seams to one side first. <laughs> okay. Waft. waft. Waft them. Waft them. And then turn it over and press on this side. Okay. Because otherwise, as you can see here, they, they could bunch up a little bit. So you want to make sure. Oh, so get them to face the right direction first. Yeah. So waft them in the By right. wafting. I, did, I didn't write term. that in the instructions. I didn't waft. Gen generally waft and then press from the right side. Yeah because often or not they'll they will crease and then you'll wonder why you've done spent all that time best pressing and you know right ac accurate sewing and then you're wondering why they don't meet because you've got a little crease somewhere because you didn't waft them you didn't waft them. <laughs> oh yeah i'm sold on this i just love how hot it can be it's really i know it's really good isn't it and it does um vertical steam Ooh. Shot of steam. You Ooh, can fancy. turn the sensor off if you don't want it to keep raising up and down. Why would you not want to <laughs> keep doing that? I don't know. <laughs> it's just I the should... fact it has that option. It's just fabulous. Isn't it's it? wonderful, isn't it? So that's one section all pressed. And then the other There's one. There's the iron in there. And you see that little bit under there goes if you um if you lay it down, yeah. you can get that in by two inches. So when you want to get right into something, oh, oh, so you maybe you like pressing a box corner or something. Oh yeah, that is clever, mm. isn't it? But it's a sewing iron. It and is. And why shouldn't there be? Because that's like one of the most after your sewing machine, it's the most important part of your toolkit. I think it, you spend more time ironing than you do yeah. sewing. I'd definitely. So that's why you have to have a sewing iron. Oh well. I that's mean, obviously it. you can use it for general ironing because it is a really powerful iron but i don't iron i've got a husband that's really good at folding <laughs> <laughs> i hate ironing oh me and i hate cleaning my car yeah i don't Both do things. that <laughs> don't do that there we when go when i was at glastonbury my husband cleaned the inside of my car because i didn't take that with me and he said it took him longer to clean the inside of my car than it did to clean the outside of both cars and the inside of his nice Oh, well, you should do, do it more you're, often then, shouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're a catch, aren't you? Yeah, I know. I went, I know. It's just a tedious job. Right, so we've sewn it all together. And then you're going to subcut into strips. OK. See, I've recently got myself one of these as well. These smaller. Yeah. So much easier for... Because my other ones were all quite long. And it and I've got the, well, the really long one is good for cutting full strips, but a bit unwieldy when you do little strips. Yeah. And it gets in the way. And I've I've actually dropped my big one because it was so big, and I've damaged the corner on it. Oh, have you? I know. Yeah, do you want to so take this one? No one will notice. We won't tell. <laughs> get in trouble. No, oh, no, they haven't got the eight inch one. That's no good. Do you want the eight and a half? Yeah, inch one? I've had it for years as well, so I was quite cross. Oh, really? When I, when I dropped it. It was my very first ruler. You know, again, you, they become like an extension mm. of you, don't they? So. Well, yeah, my very first one is quite old now, and it's starting to get faded. And when I use the creative grids now, it's a massive difference. Mine would slip a bit. But the, um, it's quite a big difference if you've got other ro rulers, because I have to sort of hold mine twice. But now I'm using the creative grids, doesn't slip at oh, all. Oh, really? Mm. Do they do lose it? I mean, but I am they talking do, yeah. several, several <laughs> don't, don't years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the ruler that Delphine's using, the slightly shorter one. It's really well, how long is that one? Twelve and a half. Oh, okay, twelve and a half by six. Yeah, uh, by six and six and a half. Six and a half. So that's the one. Twenty three ninety nine. So it, it's the same width as your normal one, but it's just it's half just the easier. length. It's just Especially if you're going to be doing shows and things, it's a lot easier to work yeah. one of these in your bag, isn't it? Okay, so you've now got your two messy piles 
I am usually quite tidy. So once a few people have commented actually on my sewing room being so tidy, they're saying it won't stay like that, it won't stay like that. <laughs> it will. It will. Yeah. I'm one of these that when I'm sewing, it's everywhere. But well, I, I know. have to tidy it away. I have to go into that space. My problem is I just haven't got enough space. So yesterday I tried to tidy it and there's stuff under the table, the stuff over the chairs, and I've got shelves all the way around the room. And I'm thinking, well, I need to obviously get rid of some stuff. But I just, I can't. It's hard to get rid of, isn't I it? I don't know what to do. I just, I can't fit any more in there. It's a right mess, even if I've tidied it up. But I've got to throw things out and I can't bear Just move to. house like I did. <laughs> <laughs> Just move house. I have got we a need whole, to move. I have got a whole room though. So it's just ridiculous. I'll do that many. I think that's about the width of the thing. Okay, so then you arrange your pieces. Okay. Uh, alternating. And because we have um, pressed our seams just to the one core, it doesn't matter which way you turn it. So what you want to do, right sides together, and because you've pressed it so well with your fancy new mm -hmm. iron, those seams will butt up together really, really nicely. And then you sew that together with a quarter inch seam. And then you should get perfect points. We will. We will. Well, you've pressed them and, they're all, and then they're subcut. So you're winning already. So I haven't pinned anything. Yeah, all I do is just stop at each seam, just make sure they're there. Okay. So do you not pin at each seam? You I just stop. The only time I pin is when I'm pinning the, the, the all the sections together. That's when I'll pin. Okay. You can pin. I'm just... No, but that's quite interesting because I, I pin mine. But if you're like you say, if you stop and then adjust it just before you get there, that's quite a good idea. I'm going to try that. There you go. And then... Perfect. Look at that. Seam. Uh, there's no seam. I'm not going to pin now. So, what we'll do, we'll just chain piece those next two pieces together. And then you've, that's your first section already done. And then the other, this, that's a, the, the chessboard ones like this take the longest. And then the others come together really, really quick. So, match as you go because you can feel it if, if it's nice and flat you know it's going to be a perfect match yeah if you have that little bump okay you just give it a little wiggle wiggle and I guess by and I guess by doing it each stage like that then you're you can just get it right yeah because you're not dealing with long lengths it's funny isn't it this sort of checkerboard effect it's a simple pattern but it is so effective mm. And particularly when you use two very similar colours, you could just make a whole quilt in that pattern, it would look amazing. Yeah. Even though it's a really simple one. Yeah, and like I said, it's, I quite like, um, as you know, throwing the book, the wall book out really and doing my own designs with the plique and being quite mm. free and loose and stuff. But I really do like the, the discipline the of, of, the, of, of the accuracy matching. of sewing, yeah. Well, that's why I think this quilt works, because you've mixed the two together and just keeping it so it's really accurate. Right, so in the bundle, just so you know what we get. Now, you get full instructions. There are no templates in the instructions because you don't need them. They're on the panel. So these are all the instructions of how to make it. So it tells you exactly what um, Delphine's doing now. So <clears throat> no templates. It's telling you how to make the patchwork sections. Now, the chakras are on this panel only, and the only way you can get this panel <coughs> is in this kit. Now, on the website on pre-order, right, right, there are the instructions on their own, but we're not going to play them through. There's something, I don't know what's happened, I think it's because <coughs> we've sold quite a few of Delphine's kits with just instructions. So somehow they've automatically gone on. But we won't be selling the instructions on their own because you can't make this quilt without this panel because these are the chakra. Um, and normally Delphine's instructions have the templates but it wouldn't work with them. These are too complicated. So if you've seen the instructions on the website and thought, I'll just buy them, we're not there. That's just a, a problem with the system because we can't sell them on their own because you need the panel and the panel is only available in the kit. So you get the panel and then you obviously, in the same kit, 
you get all of these seven meters in total of the 14 diff half a meter 14 different rainbow fabrics I'm just going to press these open and then we'll have a look at the panel and I'll cut one out. Oh, so now these you press open? These I press open so they're nice and flat. So you should open the little, little four patch. And then if you start at the top and work your way down, you're not going to knock the other ones. Right. So it's important, get this section accurate, and yeah. then when you put your shack on, that's where you've got all the curves and everything. Yeah. Maybe that's why it goes together so well. Yeah, it's a nice balance, isn't it? Yes. There we go. And you'll just keep going and going with, it, going with that for as however big you want it to be. And there you've got your nicely accurate perfect little points there so I'll pop that to one side for now and you'll get your panel with your bond web and put that onto the back so you'll iron your bond web to the back of your okay so balls. all over the whole thing yeah and then you're going to cut it out now you can uh, use uh, scissors I recommend using a rotary cutter if you've got one of these Oh, a baby one. A baby one. I recommend using that because it's just a lot easier. So I'll go ahead and... So I'm not using the ruler or anything. I'm just going by... So the one we've got there is the 18 mil, the same size as the one that um, Delphine's using, but ours is a clover one other than that. The same. Just a little baby one. Because it allows you to get really... In, in fact, let, okay. me just, let me just cut this section off so it's out of the way. So if you're going to use the rotary cutter for it, you can use scissors or rotary cutter, but do you use the little one? It's just a lot easier to... There we go. So we'll cut around all these sections. So you can cut away the red if you want to, or you just go on the line. And if you wanted to as well, what I have seen on chakra quilts, you don't, if you wanted to and you don't want to cut out all these bits, you could just cut out the main symbol and applique it on that way if you wanted okay. to. You don't need to cut out all these extra bits. It's an option. So if you think, oh, I don't oh, want so to just cut around the outer edge of it. Yeah. And it will, st it will still look amazing. Are you having a read there, lovely? Yes, I am. I'm reading about meditation, actually, in this booklet. Where you need to take five to ten minutes for yourself every day. Ugh. And don't think of anything but just breathe. It's called Healing Gemstones, and it explains exactly what all the different gemstones are for and how you use them and the whole principle of the chakra. And it has all those symbols on that's on the, on the thing. And what all the different chakras are for. I was just considering where I was going to find the five to ten minutes to do the meditation. When's that? That's yes, well, it has to be when you've got some time to yourself and you have to think of nothing. Gabby's <laughs> 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 actually laughing at that. Think of nothing. Think of nothing. That's not possible. Yeah. When you're asleep. See, my problem with that is that I think my mind would wander. Yeah, I'm not very good at... But what you have to do is concentrate on your breathing and close your eyes. Fall asleep. That will be me in the bath. I could do that in the bath. Yeah, it does say in the bath. It says you can do it in the bath. Oh, I could do it, I could do it in there with a glass I of gin. I thought maybe I could do it while I'm driving. <laughs> I spend a lot of time in the car and I thought maybe that would be yeah. It I doesn't mention the word... No, I don't think you should meditate in the car. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, when have I got time? You know, um, it doesn't mention the word gin in here, though, I have to say. Does it not? Well... It doesn't say in the bath with a gin with and a, tonic. With a gin and tonic. It does say bath, though. 
large gin and tonic on gin. a Friday night. Okay, but it's very important to do that. Then it goes on to um, the healing gemstones, which all have their own vibrational frequency. Uh, you can buy the booklet. It's really good, actually. Really good, because I was reading it um, last night. And then you use different chakra for different parts of the body as well. And for different um, well-being things. Motivation. What do you fancy? Motivation. Prosperity. Happiness. If you believe, if you believe in these things. All sorts. Abuse, addiction, courage, anxiety. And we have all got this. And we do have the um, seven chakra stones as well. So once you've got the book and you've got the stones, all you need to do is hang the mat up. And then that's where you meditate, isn't it? Five, ten minutes. Yeah, you've got your, you've got your own mat. You've got your stones. Mm. Maybe you carry it in the bathroom. With your gin tonic. No, it doesn't mention that. <laughs> I'm not sure that gin and chakra go together. It will together, help you meditate, they, though, doesn't yeah, it? Maybe they hey? do. <laughs> that will help you close your eyes and calm down and take a few breathings. <laughs> <laughs> Is it obvious I've had a long week? <laughs> yeah, poor Delphi. She had such a long I've had a busy week. <laughs> I, I, I hope to be a better parent next week. You were there? I were there. There I, you yeah. go. And there, yeah. It's only one broken bone. I mean, it could have been more. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did I say that Charlie broke his wrist? That's not good, oh. is it? So, yeah. sole parent. So, he, he was, we were at the park on Louis's birthday, and Charlie was just running. It was some uneven ground, and he stacked it on the, on the field. Oh. But he's a really resilient boy, is my Charlie. Um, he's got hypermobility as well, so his joints are very bendy. And he bent it right back, and he's got a buckle fracture, so... Oh no! So he's so got in plaster. It's a shame. It's his. Uh, no, he's in a splint. But he's got to be. It's his sports day next week. Oh, yeah. I'd be so relieved if that was me. I think. Thank goodness for oh, that. Not to you do boys. Sports day. Yeah. I know. Anything to get out of sports day. And because we've not had sports day for. You, yeah, you. true. But he already is like, it's fine, mum. I just want to take it off. I'm fine now. I'm like, oh mate. Oh no. Right. Go. So you've cut it all out, and I guess it doesn't matter. That you've got the red bits you don't have to cut the red bits no because it sort of blends it blends in then yeah see i think yes trying to draw this with templates would be really hard exactly so the panel makes it really easy to do yeah there we are and then you'll just sew around the edge in a white thread okay what with a um, whatever zigzag whatever you wanted to yeah zigzag blanket whatever so that's one section lovely we've got time to do another bit oh we've got a little bit yeah a couple of minutes could you do another bit in a couple of minutes yeah i'll tell you what i will do i will just shorten these a little bit. Yeah, and remember that you've got low. This fabric is bundles amazing value for money because you're going to get quite a lot left over. So you could make one twice the size. Oh, easily. Or just have loads of fabric in your stash. Don't forget, you get fourteen half meters of all of these rainbow colours. And what's lovely is like with the yellow one section, you get two shades of yellow, but they're really close in shade so it's a really nice mixture it's the only way really to get because you've got like two oranges two reds you've got two of everything but they're really nice and close so you get that lovely subtle rainbow effect so with this orange one are so you sewing together the same is it the same principle uh so yeah so you'll um so you alternate the colors so you'll make one strip like this like this strip's already done so that's one already done. So there's the lighter orange with the two darker either side, and then I'll do another one with the darker with the two light either side of it. Oh, okay. Oh, because the orange has got the wider strips yeah, so it's in just, the centre. Yeah, so it's just having a bit of a play around with it, and but making it look like they're all separate, but actually they all flow together. Ooh. 
I'm going to run a bit too fast there. Oh, I'm running out, that's why. I'm running out of me bobbin. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are you going to behave? Oh, how much of a... Oh, I'm playing bobbin roulette at the moment. <laughs> I always think if you say faster, it lasts longer. Funny enough, doesn't work like that. Yeah, it's... Can I get to the end? If we can't, it doesn't matter. We're nearly... Nearly there. We can give you a new bobbin. Probably one in the pink cushion. Right. So there's those ones. So you've got your little symbol. I'll just pop that up there. Where do they come from? Oh! <laughs> come on, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Put them back on. <laughs> They're very you. I've just found those in the um, in the trolley on the side. Where are these from? And the code for those are. Yeah, they? They're <laughs> amazing, aren't they? You could have done with those at Glastonbury. Yeah, yeah. They're quite nice. Makes the whole world pink. This is called looking at life through rose-coloured spectacles. It certainly is. <laughs> I wonder why they're in the trolley. I'm sure there's a story behind I, I this. Know. We did all have glasses for John's birthday, didn't we? Yeah, but I didn't get a pair. Oh, what a shame. Oh, <laughs> you can have those if you like. I thought maybe they were for that. Maybe he had them. No, I think you, they suit you better. Yeah, I think I'll have them. Well, because they, they're a nice rosy colour. There we go. And then cut these. Got a lot going on over here today. Got all sorts on my, t on my table. Yeah, don't worry, you've got another hour, but you are having an hour off. I am. I need an hour to go and tidy up the mess that I've left outside. I've made a right yeah, mess. You can have an hour off while we talk about brand new batiks, and they are lovely. Really nice. Oh, what batiks have I had? I haven't had a look at the trolley. And they're by morning. the half metre, and they're a really good price. You love them, actually, because they're sort batik. of quite multi multi-colory. Batiks is one of those fabrics that is my go-to for everything. Applique, mm. piecing, confetti quilting. It's does yeah. it all, doesn't it? They are really lovely, aren't they? Bright colours, easy to sew. They behave themselves with when pressing you, and stitching. And they and love a bit of bondaweb on them. <laughs> bondaweb, they're they made do. for bondaweb. Yeah, batik and bondaweb, they're oh, match made in heaven. So this is exactly, you're cutting exactly the same width strips. Yeah. But because you've got the wider bit. Oh, yeah, because I've I think that's what's quite nice is that you've chosen colours that, although it's like two oranges, they're very close in shade. Yeah, and it just, it just makes it a little bit more mm. interesting, doesn't it? And then you sew these together as well. How long have I got left? Have I got time? Yeah, you've got time. You sew really fast. Do you need some more? Got another bobbin. Actually, yeah. that pin cushion I gave you, they often have that pin pot. That's what I was looking for when I found the glasses. So you got distracted with the. I did. With got distracted glasses. with the Elton John glasses. Have we got any bobbins, Becky? Oh, she's having a look. If not, I can fill one in record. Not fill one, but put enough in. It's all sorts over there. There we go. I'll just quickly put a put a bit on. Okay, that's all right. So the code that's on the screen at the moment is the um, the ruler that Delphine's using for cutting with because it's just a bit shorter. When you're cutting smaller strips like that, it's really nice to have the really long one because you can cut across the whole width. But if you think if you're doing a lot of cutting where you're cutting strips, sub cutting, that's an ideal sub cutting ruler. Yeah, it just makes it? life really easier. Just makes it a bit simpler, doesn't it? To uh, yeah, I mean, it stops it you around. knocking it off your sewing table and breaking it like oh, I yes. did. That's why I bought one. So I, I think she's. Have you got done it now? Done. Oh, okay. Becky had just found you one as well. Never mind. It'll come in handy. So the same as before. Mm. There we go. So it's two. 
and then I'll just quickly show you how you pin so you can make sure that you get so it flows into the next one like really accurately that's where you do need a pin oh okay because you don't want any closed chakra no you want it all to flow so together all flowing. and then when you quilt this yeah how, how would you quilt it I'd keep it really light built in just a little quilt in the ditch to stitch oh, okay. in the ditch I wouldn't go to OTT with it because there's, there's quite a lot going on with it and because it is supposed to be nice and calming if you add too much detail it could, yeah. could be too busy so would you quilt round every square then? No, I'd probably just do the, uh, every other line. Oh, okay. If I quilted it, another thing you could do, I think it would just be really nice bagged out. Okay, doesn't even need quilting. No, if you you know if you press it well enough. Or tied quilting. Yeah, yeah. So anything. Yeah, it like doesn't that. need to be a quilt. Does no, it? it doesn't. Doesn't. Point. I think the thing is, whenever we do wall hangings, we think, oh, they need to be quilted, but they don't. Or even if you had it. Um, you know your yoga mats you can get the quite thin ones you yes. know the ones that just what like a, like a roll mat yeah if you just got one of those that are quite light and your machine could take it i'd stitch it on mm. top of that oh. so you've got the non-stick underneath yeah and you've got that on top have a go with your machine you would have the best yoga mat in the business oh yeah you? yeah you'd be rocking it wouldn't you i know you go oh this old thing yeah <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, and then that leftover fabric, you could have a matching yoga bag, couldn't you? You could. It would be a very big yoga bag because you'll have so much left yeah, over. Yeah, you would. Be but there's loads of patterns if you look on Pinterest and things for things like uh, yoga mats and yoga bags, and you'd have all fabric left over for that. Yeah. You could have all sorts. You could. You could. You even make a yoga teacher one. You'd be top of the class then. Uh, yeah, you'd be a bit of mm. yeah. The keen one. The keen one at the front. Mm. There's always one. <laughs> it's always one at yeah. the front. Who makes the teacher a bag? <laughs> <laughs> I was one of those school moms when I first started taking the boys to school. I, you know, I, I used to make all of Charlie's outfits for World mm. Book Day and all of that. And it was like, oh, it's one of those mums now. It's what I can get yeah. from Sainsbury's. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, and I always, I mean, I, you know, on cake sale day, I wouldn't dream of taking in a shop-bought cake. By the end, I say it's a pound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what it, we, we, the, the boys have got on uniform day at school today, actually, and it's take cakes or mm. uh, what have you. And um, it was take cake, but make cake. M make cake? This week, have I had time to make it? No, so oh, all but pound. wouldn't they? Don't do your. Mine always used to tell me at like seven o'clock that night. Oh, mum, I need cakes for tomorrow. And you think, oh. Well, we have newsletters now, but I don't. I'm not very good at remembering to read them. But luckily, one of uh, my friends is one of the TAs at school, and she's amazing. So if there's anything that I need to remember, there's a WhatsApp group called Fab Friends, <laughs> and uh, she really is. A fab and she friend. reminds you of what she you need to do. She gets me in a lot of trouble. Remember, it's swimming today. Yes, Miss. Thanks, Miss. Yeah. So you'll have your other one also okay. together like that. And so when you come to pin them, so what you'll do is your right sides together and match up your seams accurately. And then when you're happy, I pin. Everyone pins differently, but right? This is the way that I've found that works the best. Okay, for me. And what I do is I pin through one seam, and then on a diagonal come out the other. Okay. And then I that like way, that. And that way it won't move. So yeah. when so because if you just did it the other way, it could sort of move around in your machine. But by doing it like that on the diagonal, I've hit the point on. Yes, that's what you mean. So that's quite good because I pin above the seam allowance and below it. But that's um, more efficient, so I'm going to try that. So yeah, just put. Oh, that's a really good idea. So you go through both seams, yeah, and then come out diagonal yeah. like that. And it just that way, and you can you can check it as well because by having them that way, it allows yes. you to check it, and you know you're going to hit the seams in the right yes. way. So there you go. Fantastic. Well, thank you, um, Delphine. That's fab, and we will see you back here in an hour. You can go and have yes. a cup of tea now. Lovely. And um, for the beginners masterclass.
on a plica and the brand new poppy cushion poppy cushion poppy we're cushion. Be doing free motion hand sewing all yes sorts. and all and um the previous cushions from the series will also the kits are also available which you can get ahead and buy on pre-order if you go onto the website so the chakra bundle kit you get full instructions which do not include the templates because you don't need them there on the panel but all the, everything you need to know in the instructions and the only way at the moment to get the panel which have all the chakra printed on is in this kit currently all color coded all printed beautifully to scale everything you need is on there and then you get 14 half meters of fabric so you have two yellows two oh, they're out of order two oranges two reds um two greens i love the way that the fact that they're so close in shade because it gives a really nice subtle effect even though it's bright rainbow um two blues two deeper blues and then two purples so all of that and the panel which is obviously exclusive to sewing street and the quilt instructions it's all in there for 69.99 to make this beautiful quilt fab so keep on checking out for that um, we do also have the shack the seven healing chakra gemstones all here now they are 9.99 remember they have been reduced from 39.99 to 9.99 but those are the seven chakra healing gemstones the genuine ones okay so 9.99 which is an amazing price because they are genuine gemstones so um you know if you want and also we do have the booklet so if you want to learn more about it or you know about it already or you want more information the booklet because I've, I've read it it's really good explains what you use which gemstones for how to do it how the whole healing chakra process works it's all inside there oh and the charging plate now this is really important when you get your chakra when you get your chakra home they need to be cleansed because other people like me or people in the warehouse whatever have touched them they need cleansing now there are there are several ways of doing this um, which is all explained in the booklet but one of them is by using the special plate which will cleanse them and you put the stones the right gemstones on the right part and that will cleanse them you need to do that if you if you believe in the chakra system you need to do that regularly anyway to cleanse them because they do pick up other energies and um, one of the ways to do it is with the plate okay but it's all explained in the book it's all explained in the book but you know if that if you're um if this is sort of part of your life and you're interested in this you want to learn more about it you've bought the quilt made the quilt then you've got this whole wonderful calm mindfulness healing mm. process it's lovely um yes don't forget the quilt the buddha quilt behind me just instructions are the kit sold out yeah so if you want just the instructions for the buddha quilt not the kits i think they've almost sold out you might want to check on the website just to see i think nearly all of them have are in baskets but um have a look but if you want just the instructions on their own they're 9.99 that's got all the full size templates as well to make this stunning buddha quilt so i will see you back here in a couple of minutes time we have got brand new batik fabrics by the half meter they are gorgeous so don't go anywhere i'll see you back here in a couple of minutes time Hey guys, it's Sarah Davies here. I just want to say you have got to tune in on Monday because it is going to be a big day. I'm going to be in the studios and I am taking over. I'm going to be on Sewing Street Live from 8 o'clock in the morning, Jewelry Maker from 11 o'clock and then Hobby Maker from 1 o'clock. Now, when we do one of our big takeover days, trust me, it is a day you do not want to miss. We've got goodie bags, we've got some amazing special deals, I've got a ton of demonstrations, brand new product launches, I've got the team in with me. It is going to be epic, so whatever you do, 
do not miss it. Whether you're a sewer, whether you love your jewellery making, whether you love your paper craft, we've got something for everyone. So I'll see you on Monday, 8 o'clock on Sewing Street, from 11 o'clock on Jewellery Maker, and from 1 o'clock on Hobby Maker. We'll be there all day. I can't wait to see you there. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website sewingstreet.com and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street. You can shop on our website sewingstreet.com and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping.
Welcome back to Sewing Street. Um, and if you've just joined me, welcome to Sewing Street. We've had a great day so far. We've done some beautiful applique. Um, and Delphine has used a lot of batik fabrics. I mean, she said batik is her favourite. Well, we have got, if you love batik fabrics too, we have got some brand, brand new batik fabrics. Now, these are a really good price. They're $6.49 for half a metre which um, I haven't seen this price before and we don't often do the batiks by the half meter. These are beautiful though. Now, batik fabric, and this is the real batik. This isn't batik um, print, which you can buy. This is the real batik. So it's a, it's a way of resistance printing, often using wax. So what they do is put the wax um, pattern onto fabric, dye it, then heat it and the wax stops the um, dye from being absorbed into the fabric and then they do it again. They often use wax block printing as well, new salt, but it's a way of creating fabrics with many, many layers, which although it's um, like a quilting weight cotton, it makes the fabric a little bit stiffer, but it also gives it a finish where it doesn't fray as much. So it's beautiful for sewing with, whether it's patchwork and quilting, which obviously it's ideal with, but homewares, but dressmaking as well. I made a batik dress, gorgeous. Um, and it was great because actually I did, you know, I did pre-wash the batiks because I used um, about seven or eight shades of blue because I made a patchwork and then I made it into the dress. Should have worn that today. And I did pre-wash them and they didn't run, which I was really surprised about, but maybe the way that all the dyes are fixed that they don't, I'm not sure. Um, but but it, it obviously I would suggest with anything like a batik where it is you know a hand dyed thing it's always worth testing but with mine but it it is a beautiful fabric because I made patchwork with it I was really careful with all the seams but it just didn't fray and it's lovely to wear so should we have a look at all of the fabrics together there's no bundles there's no colorways it's just we want you to be able to buy them by the half meter in the colors that you want so let me see if I can get them all in the middle. There we go. On my cutting mat. There we go. Look at all of those colours. Such a range as well. I mean, look at this beautiful pastel one. And then you get ones with sort of this midnight purple. Gorgeous colours. So I'm going to go through them one by one. Because depending on what you want to do them. Or if you're just not sure and you just love it, have a half a metre. Remember, these fabrics are all cut to order. So... If you think, yeah, I'd like to make a dress, I've got an idea for a skirt, or you know the patchwork jackets that are really popular at the moment since they did them on the sewing bee, beautiful in batiks. Um, if you order more than half a metre, we sent you as a whole cut piece. So if you think, well, I need a metre and a half of green and I need two metres of blue, just put that number of units. If you want a metre and a half, put three in your basket and you will be sent it as a whole cut piece. You won't be sent three individual half metres. And that applies to all of these fabrics. So can I start where I like, Hannah? Okay, so I'm going to start with this one, which is CWYH81. I think this one's beautiful. Let me move everything. You need to... S now, the photos that are on the website just do not do these fabric justice. Uh, they just don't. But look at this one. It's like the background is pastel turquoise and then you've got these gorgeous leaf it's almost like underwater these but these leafy prints in pinks and yellows and greens but all the colors just flow together beautifully i mean whether you're going to use it <clears throat> as the lining for something or use it in its entirety it is a, it's stunning it kind of takes the hard work out for you also remember with the batik because you've got these beautiful shapes and shades they're beautiful to embroider over whether that's hand embroidery, even, you know, if you work just some running stitch around the edge of the leaves, or whether you machine embroider them, it really brings them to life. So I, that's why I think this is fantastic value for money at 6 49 You're getting a lot, lot for your money because you've got these beautiful, so many colours and prints. So this one is called Light Blue, which is, oh, doesn't really describe it adequately, does it? I think we should re do this uh, Hannah I think we'd be great I would call it underwater odyssey mm. just thought of that green what's this one called light green yes what's it called lime well okay yes so it is a lime 
but it's not solid, isn't it? So it is a beautiful, like citrusy, limey, appley green in the background. And then you've got more um, emerald green in these beautiful leaf fronds. Gorgeous. But it is the only really bright one. But you think of, um, I mean, this would be amazing for a shirt, wouldn't it? Because it has got, if you've used batiks before, you'll know, but if you haven't, it does have a bit more of a, although it is, I think it's the dyeing process, it has a little bit more stiffness than a normal cotton, which means it works really well in home wares. But also for dressmaking. It's not like canvas weight, but it just has a bit more stiffness. But you can quilt, they're beautiful for patch, beautiful for patchwork and quilting, and they press and sew beautifully. So even when you get them out, even when they're creased, you press them and they come back absolutely beautiful. I have a large collection of batiks, which I dip into all the time. Just I've got a, one of my shelves is just full of not very, but even smaller than fat quarter pieces. And I use them all the time for just little things like the insides of pockets or a little bit of a lining, or I patchwork them together, hence my patchwork dress. But love them, love the line. I don't know even now, those, those were the two that sort of jumped out to me. I'll just do it. I'm going to do this pink one next because I love this one. This it kind of feels this one goes PXYH50. Oh, does it? Looks completely different on the website, apparently. So this one is a really beautiful, bright fuchsia pink with the um, like a paisley pattern, but in lime. But look, doesn't it go really well? Let's move it over with this. See, the line really picks it up. So if you're thinking about buying two, these two go together really well. You know, this one, if you were making um, something like a, a bag with this, if you wanted to make the handles or have some borders or either way round. All right, so Hannah's got some pictures here of batik quilts. Just, just a pop. Just went onto Pinterest. I made a batik quilt back for the um, Sewing Street birthday, and you know you don't even need to try that hard. The color, the colors, and the fabrics do on the. I mean, look at that. I love that rainbow one there at the top. Do you see what I mean? So actually, they don't need what you're making. Doesn't even need to be that complicated. But the colors and the prints sort of do the job for you. So you know the simple design that, um, like Delphine's got on here, the checkerboard. It would look amazing in these two colors, wouldn't it? And they are so beautiful to work with. I think we're really lucky to have these. An amazing price. If you look elsewhere, and we have sold them by the half metre before, they have been more expensive than this. Right, let's go purple. You see, when you look at the background of this, so I need to open them all up. Oh, yeah, sorry. G-M-Y-H-48. So the background, yeah, always go with what you're seeing on air. If I gone over some do message in if you want me to show you again so look at the background of this you've got purples magentas um you've got indigo blue all a beautiful sort of whole big colorway in the background and then you've got leaves and flowers in a mustard printed all over it. i mean this one is stunning isn't it absolutely stunning oh yeah so on the website the photos are slightly blurred but you need to look on screen to see what they look like i have found as well that um when you wear them they soften up they get more flexible and softer and then when you wash them they go back again it's great but isn't that just beautiful do you know you don't even need to do much for that get half a meter you can make a cushion front and back from that and it's just it, it's like something that you would buy from a designer shop or if you're making things, if you have a store like at a fete or a church fete or a school thing and you want to, you know, have something that's really different to anyone else's, you know, a whole load of tote bags or zip purses in this would just be beautiful. If you chose, um, you know, three or four half metres, but I absolutely love that one. Even good for applique. So if you cut out um, the leaves, you could even applique these onto a darker background. So if you use this for something and you've got a little bit left over, then keep it because it's brilliant for applique um i'm just going to go down the maybe i should i'm trying to sort of go by colors but i think i'm just going to go down the pile right this one's beautiful ctyh15 i don't know how you can ever decide this look at that one so we've got shades of 
greens, emeralds, teals, and then with this bright fuchsia pink on top of it. It's amazing. And you've got, we've got little swirls, patterns and prints. So this is where the, the background is um, batik with all the different colours. And then you've got block prints on here. I mean, it is gorgeous, isn't it? Shall I hold it up so you can see? It looks, see the width. So they are all your normal um, quilting width, 44 inch, 112 centimetres. But that's what half a metre looks like. Be lovely for, um, you know, those sort of dressing robes. Wouldn't it like a kimono type thing? Because they are beautiful. And what's lovely as well is that they're almost reversible. It's actually quite hard to tell which is the back and the front. Whenever I'm using um, batiks, I'm like, so is that the back or is that the front? It's quite hard to see. The only way to sort of do it is the right side is just very slightly brighter than the wrong side, but it doesn't really matter. So it is very reversible. So if you're making something that you're not gonna line and you're gonna see the inside, it doesn't matter because it is beautiful. Um, let's go pink. So some of them are, are much simpler, just two colors. Yes, 74. So this one on the website looks red, but it isn't. And it's called red, but it definitely isn't red. It's, um, it's like, is it raspberry? Mm, raspberry fuchsia. It's a very deep pink. It's not as bright as that fuchsia. It is like a raspberry fuchsia. It's the color of a raspberry coolie with pink print on it. But even the background isn't just one color. It's all mottled as well. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I think it's really it's really hard to decide. We should have done a bundle of these. How on earth you choose how to choose which one? You have to make your own bundle. But they are gorgeous, aren't they? So that's the pink one. Oh right, so Hannah's now on batik bags. Let's have a look. Batty, no, no, I love it, I love it. I love them, Hannah's on Batty bags. But you see, look, aren't they gorgeous? I mean, look at that bag there that's Bargello in Batty. That is amazing, isn't it? I don't, it's, a, it's just beautiful how it works, that the, the colors just speak for themselves. Gorgeous. And it's lovely because you've got so many different shades of it, you're not getting that solid color, you're really getting that print. I think we'll do Batty cushions next, Hannah. Right, that pink one, that, <laughs> she's got cushions again. <laughs> this is um, the blue one. Do you want the code? Oh, nine. So this is the same print as the pink one that I just showed you. Right, so the photo on the web, I don't know what's going on with the photos on the web. Right, so this is, look at the, you can see, look, these are exactly the same prints. Same print, the print and everything is, is the same, it's just this one's pink and that one's blue, but look how beautifully they go together as well. But this is like midnight blue, you've got shades of indico and royal blue and then you've got the flowers and the leaves all over it, really lovely. This would have looked nice on my dress. But you know, if you're thinking patchwork jacket, absolutely perfect in this batik. So that's the blue one. Now I'm just going to, I'm seeing if there was, I th you see, I think we've got a whole row here of the same print but in different colours. Question Hi, I'm loving the show today. Can you show the darker teal fabrics? I'm looking to make a summer dress. Thank you from Julie. Yes. So I would say this, that's green. This is more teal. How about this one? Code is N-G-Y-H-02. Now I would, that's, that's beautiful, isn't it? So the background of that is a deep, deep, teal, tealy blue, and then all the print is shades of paler green, but summer dress, why not? 
Yes, could you get me some pictures of batik dresses, please, Hannah? Yeah, children's dress, lovely. Yeah, that would look beautiful. Yeah, if you just put in batik dress, yeah, that is beautiful, isn't it? So, um, yeah, I'd go with this one. That is summer dress, isn't it? Let's see if I can find another tealy one. Um, 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 um. Well, I've got a nice green one. This is lovely, isn't it? A bit deeper green. Should we go this one? This is um, JGYH64. Look at that. It's like the forest, isn't it? You've got emeralds and firs and pines, and then you've got a few little sprigs of mint and flowers and spots. And even the spots are, they're not regular spots. They're just swathes of spots in all different shapes and sizes. That is gorgeous. Wouldn't they look nice if you put cushions on your outdoor furniture in these batiks? Right, that's green. Um, then the same, actually this is exactly the same fabric, but this one is in blue. Same print, I mean. Um, 68, OE. 68. This reminds me of the rainbow horse fabric that um, that Delphine had, the colourways in it. So you've got the background is lovely multicoloured shades of blue and then the batik itself is in all colours. You've got pinks and oranges and yellows and greens and a little bit of rust, spots and swirls. 6.49, what's this one called? Blue. Blue. Oh, what would I call it? Um, rainbow sky. Because you've got a lot of rainbow colours on it and then it does feel very deep sky. I could spend hours thinking up names for fabrics and paints and things. Um, right, let's do another blue one. So this one is lovely because this is blue but this picks up the pin. What I'm always amazed at, oh, you need the coding, um, FX73, is with these batiks, is that they seem to be able to mix all sorts of different shades together that you wouldn't necessarily put together, and they just work. So they've like got pink and lime in this one. This one, they've got the blue and the pink. But you know, when you put another one with it, like the one I just showed you, you see those two go together beautifully. So you've got the same background, but you've got the different color prints in them. So when you use them in patchwork, if you want to go for subtle color changes, it always works really well because they're because of the multicolored nature of it. So in the this, you've got lots of shades of marbled blue, and then you've got all these pinks, but it's never just one color of pink. So even if you just take one fabric, cut it up into squares and sew it back together, you get the most amazing effect. So that's the, what's that one called? Blue pink. Oh, more, more Pinterest, more Pinterest. Show us your Pinterest. But, oh, look at those applique cushions. Wow. I'm loving the snowdrops at the top. These are gorgeous, but they're also very good for like naturalistic applique. Because there are so many different shades in them, so say you're using, where did that come from? Sorry, there was just a swirling ring on the screen. Um, so say you're doing um, some leaves or stems, did you see that snowdrops picture? If you use this green one, because you've got so many different shades and colours, they are fantastic for applique because you get a much better effect. So even if you're doing like the countryside and you want hills, they're brilliant for that. If you want to do the sky and you use one of the blue ones, you get all the different shades. Um, this one, so with a completely, we haven't done this colour. This is like autumn, isn't it? Hannah loves this one. Do you love this one? DX53. Look at that. See that equally, summer dress. Yeah, the web, sorry about the website and the name description. Yellow black. So, so the website makes it look shiny. That's odd, isn't it? That is odd. 
Right, this is what it is. It isn't yellow and black. The background of it is rust and red and green. It's like the floor just as the leaves are falling in about beginning of November. So the leaves have fallen, they've red, there's a little bit of green. And then on top of that, you've got in quite a vibrant yellow, leaves and prints all over it. It's definitely not yellow and black, all shiny. But yes, I mean, I know you see, we do Christmas, we do Christmas in July, don't we? But let's start thinking about autumn. This is, this is autumn batik in autumn but, I mean it is beautiful isn't it again good for a plique or just think of you know patterns that you've got for just simple tote bags or box bottom cosmetic bag or um or even or even if you're making like a little a travel bag or just something small like a little um, travel wallet or a passport holder absolutely stunning in this but this is very autumnal nothing to do with yellow and black Oh, photograph from Sheila. Two quilts using scraps and very small pieces of batik's colours. Always so amazing from Sheila. I mean, that's beautiful. So look at the umbrellas. You know, look at the colour changes. They, they are beautiful. Thanks for sending those through, Sheila. They are stunning. Love the umbrella one. Because if you think of the patterns that you have, you start using these fabrics, they really um, stand out. <coughs> right, here's another quite autumnal one right this one f y y h 23 yeah this is very so this is you know get started making your autumn quilts now but this what's this one called what is this one mm. well that's not black and yellow so this one has got a background of deep emerald, rose pink and sky blue, but all marbled. And then it's got a print in like a golden yellow all over it of um, like um, a block print. So sort of stylized flowers. But again, if you're thinking autumn designs, I mean, it goes, look at the, those two together. They are beautiful, aren't they? The, um, this is the graphics are for this one here. That's the one I just showed you. But aren't they beautiful together? Very difficult to choose, really. But even, um, even if you say log cabin, I mean, I, what I would do with these, I would choose some colourways, maybe three or four in a similar colourway, and then use a completely plain fabric for the lighter half. So use these as the dark, and then use a completely plain for the lighter half. It would look stunning i mean log cabin is very simple to do easy to get hold of patterns all over the place i did a curvy log cabin quilt a few months ago we've still got patterns for that but wouldn't i would use a plain fabric i mean say you wanted a purple quilt we've got i would use that one one two three you have a look on the website you can see pictures of all of them but you know you put those three together and then for the plain part of it She's laughing. I can hear laugh, really loud laughing. Quite funny, there must be a good joke. I'd have those three um, as the print, and then I would have a plain mauve fabric for the light. But can you imagine a log cabin in that? And you don't, because it's quite a simple pattern, fabrics like this really um, stand out. Let's do purple since I'm on them now. So I love this one, <coughs> ESYH83. I love the purples because they can kind of be winter or they can be spring or summer. What's this one called? Purple, light purple. So it is shades of sort of purples and mauves and, and lavenders. And then the print that you get all over it is in pinks and blues. Hopefully on your, because <coughs> when I'm looking on the screen now, this is pretty accurate. So hopefully that's working for you. But I, it's better if you have a look at what's on screen rather than what's on the website. Oh, <laughs> I know. I'm just looking at the website pictures on the on the other screen. Yeah, not very good. This is be it's beautiful, isn't it? So we have better pictures and better names. <laughs> be nice, wouldn't it, to be the person who chose colour names for things? I'd quite like that job. Although maybe it would get really, really hard after a while, and you wish you'd never done it. So, oh, you need the code, sorry. 
um, WB02. This is like fireworks, isn't it? Because it, it's like the night sky. So you've got shades of purples and deep blues. And then you, because you've got all of these spots, they look like fireworks going off. Dark purple. But we, so some of these prints you will have started to see already, but they're in different colours. So that print there is the same as this one. And it's also the same as the green one. So when you start looking through, you can now see that we've got colourways coming, but we've also got the same prints, but in different colours. But I love that one. That's like fire, firework explosion. Maybe we should have a competition, get everyone to name fabrics. <laughs> It'd just be more fun. Oh, this is beautiful. Now, who was it messaging about the dress? Was that Sue? Well, that to me is summer dress. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't. ZL89. But isn't that gorgeous? Because you've got shades of like turquoise and purples. It is like a, like a tropical swimming pool. And then you've got all of these splashes of colours and patterns. But that would make a stunning summer dress. Julie, Julie, Julia, buy this one. I love this one. Is it correct on the, the website, this one? Oh, yeah. This is what it looks like. Right. Love this one. Um, OT01. This is very, very deep and vibrant. So the background of it is formed of um, like sea green and raspberry red, but they blend very gradually into each other. And then we've got um, prints of blues all over it in nice, but again, block printing. So it's not sort of specific shapes. It's more prints of swirls and circles and spots. But some gorgeous colours in that. So it's the sort of thing where you can't, you know, you know when you don't really know what colour you want, you've got so many different colours going on in there. And they, they actually blend beautifully with lots of the other prints in the range. I love that one. Right. Oh, another autumnal one. GV27. So this is, I mean, some lovely colours in this one. Isn't that gorgeous? But I love the feathers all amongst it as well. Or they, no, they are feathers. I was going to say they leaves, but no, they're feathers. But look at the colours in there. I don't even know where to start. We've got red and oranges and yellows and blues and pale greens. And then overlaid on top of that, you've got the feathers in pinks. And it's just gorgeous, isn't it? There's so much going on in that one. And what's lovely about a print like this, it's almost like your kind of feature print, is that because it has so many colours, you can then pull in other colours with it. So you can pick up some blues and some reds and some yellows and you know that it will all go together. You know, again, get, have a look at inspiration. Go on to Pinterest, put into in um, Batik Patchwork and see what you come up with. Because often, you know, we see these fabrics, we love them, think, oh, I don't know what to do with them, but I love them. Well, it's, that's the best place to go for inspiration. 6 49 for half a metre, remember that. It's a really good price for half a metre of batik as well. Right, I'm going to go for a really pale, I've got two pale ones now. These are lovely. So this is like a pale, slaty, bluey grey. I have got some of these in my um, small stash, UL52. So it is a kind of, I would say like, um, yeah, a bluey grey and all the print is in white. But then what's interesting about Batik, here and there you've got bits of green just to sort of soften it. It's almost like everything has a finish on it to soften it. But isn't that stunning? But if you want, you know, you want the Batik look, but you want something that's not quite so strong and so vibrant. But also if you want to use it sort of to temper some others, they 
this kind of neutral look is really popular at the moment. There's another fabric. I'm just going to, I'll give you the code for it in a minute. I'm just going to lay it on top. But these two are beautiful together. So if you were just doing a monochrome look and you just want two fabrics and maybe a plain, that's gorgeous, isn't it? So that's that one that's called grey. Right. Hi, Hayley. <laughs> Can hear Hayley, my ears. Morning, Hayley. You just come in. <laughs> 84. This one's 84. This is gorgeous, isn't it? Let's see what they called this one. What's this one called? Black and white. No, this is not black and white. This is deep greys mixed with some olivey greens with a lovely pale grey print all over it. But it goes really well with the one that I just showed you, if you are after that monochrome look. Isn't it lovely? Because sometimes I've seen, actually, that's something I must have a go at making. I've seen a lot of log cabin cuts. Keep going about log cabins. But I've seen a lot of them made in neutral colours, where it's just greys and whites. It looks fantastic. And in these batiks, look amazing, wouldn't it? I have to have a go. Um, I've only got two more. Right, this one is lovely, because this is quite a vibrant, like, in imperial purple the code is 86 oh yeah on the website it looks shiny shiny but it isn't it's just batik so this is in emperor purple isn't it we've seen this pattern before on lots of them it's this um leaf pattern but the pat the print is in shades of sort of turquoisey jade but it's, that's gorgeous isn't it gorgeous we could have separated them into prints, actually. That's exactly the same print. Do you remember this gorgeous autumn one? This was Hannah's favourite. So it's the same print. But if you can see now, when you look at the two, how, how different the colours look when they're printed in the different colours. I'm, I'm going to call that an imperial leaf. And final one, I've left the darkest one till last. So this one is 04. And this has got <coughs> a black background, but again, nothing in Batik is solid. So it's not a solid black. You've got shades of midnight black moving into um, slightly purpley black. So again, it's all mottled. And then the prints are really beautiful, quite vibrant fuchsia, but against the black, they temper down a bit. But that's stunning. I think this would look beautiful as a summer dress, just because, you know, something that you'd wear maybe in the evening because it, the black and the pink really look lovely. Well, you know, for any time of year, but I, I do like black prints in the summer, and particularly with this vibrant fuchsia on top. In fact, the fuchsia in it is the same colour, pretty much, as the fuchsia that's in this one. So those two go together really well as well. Anyway, that's all the batiks. They are all 6.49 by half a metre. If you order more than half a metre, it will be sent to you as a whole cut piece. So don't worry, you know, if you need three metres for a dress, you're not going to have all half metres. It will be sent to you as a whole one. Um, if, you, if there's any that you can't remember, ask me and I will show you. They are all listed on the website, but just beware that the, some of the colours are a bit fuzzy. That's all. The bright blue one. Yeah, I think it's, um, is it that one? Or is it, no, this one? This one. O2, yes. That's amazing, isn't it? It's interesting, isn't it? Hi, Rebecca, you can show from Jan. It is gorgeous, isn't it? It's interesting, from above, you can really see all the swirls, but when I'm looking at it here, I see flowers. It's different when you see it from a distance, but that is gorgeous. I get it, get it, Jam, it's lovely. But um, what are you gonna make with it? That's what I want to know. I tell you, wouldn't it be lovely as a Roman blind in a bathroom? Amazing, wouldn't it? Oh, right, um, I have an announcement to make on the other desk. One moment. Love an announcement. Ta-da! So, the announcement on the other desk is, um, 
we had the chakra quilt in the last down and the only way you could buy the um, panel and the instructions was together so this is the bundle for everything in the bundle to make the chakra quilt you get the instructions don't have templates you get the panel that has the chakra symbols on that are for appliqueing on because uh, there are no templates and you don't get that one 14 different fabrics so set for so seven meters in total 14 different fabrics now a lot of you have asked about can i buy the instructions separately do we have templates etc so we have managed to be able to offer a limited number of these separately so we you can have we're selling the instructions on their own remember this does not have the templates so these are 9.99 but you won't get any templates because Delphine decided they were too um, fiddly and complex to be able to trace. So this is just the instructions to make the quilt. So basically how to cut out the fabrics, do the patchwork and how to applique, but not the templates. So those are $9.99. If you're buying those and you would like to have the chakra symbols, we have some of these very limited so if you want so these are 9.99 as well so if you want these if you want got the instructions you say for example you've got your own rainbow fabrics to make the back of the quilt you'll need the instructions and the panel if for example you say well actually i don't want to make the quilt i want to make a bag i want something else and i only want the panel maybe you're going to make cushions or maybe you've got the kit and you want an extra set of panels so the templates are not in the instructions, remember? So if you want the panels on their own, they're $9.99. The instructions on their own are $9.99. We have a limited number because we've had loads of you have messaged in, can they have them separately? And don't forget um, that the templates are not in the instructions. And yeah, give us some ideas what you're gonna make with them. I mean, they look lovely, you know, just in the center of the bag that you take to your yoga class. You could, or um, maybe you were making a banner to hang up that you want slightly differently or a cushion for someone, you know, someone that you know is, um, loves these symbols, uses them in their life and, want, and wants the cushion with them. So remember, the instructions there on their own, they don't have templates. It's just the instructions for making the quilt. If you want to make the quilt, you will need the panel and the instructions. But maybe you just want to make, maybe you just want to make the, the quilt without the, the panel but you know you could or you but the panel is fantastic because I think all the different things you can do with it so you know any of your and if you maybe you know if you've got a set of cushions you could just take we like say you could buy or get from your stash um, a square of each of the different colors so get a a 16 inch square of blue fabric, applique this chakra in the middle of it and do the same. So you'd have a whole rainbow set of cushions with the chakra image in these inside of each one. And in which case you don't need the instructions and the kit. On garden cushions, I mean, it, it doesn't matter, you know, not ev even if you don't, under everyone doesn't understand what the, the symbols mean. They are quite stunning, aren't they? They have a real sort of sense of peace because they're, they're all in never ending shapes. So the size of them is, shall I measure them for you? Because they all are slightly different. Um, how about one on the back of a denim jacket? So this one is nine by nine. These are all about, and then the, the, this one here is a little bit smaller. This is the one that's used second on the quilt. This one is eight and a half by five but you could use them on the on the back of a jacket wouldn't they look fab you know and like they are different shapes so the one that's at the top the um purpley one at the top is smaller than the others but all sorts of different things i mean they'd be lovely for um, an outdoor space as well or make them into individual wall hangings for a bedroom or an office space or somewhere you just wanted a bit of peace and calm and, you know, as um, Delphine was saying, you don't even need to, if you don't want to cut out the centre shapes of all of them, you could just cut round the eight of edges and applique those on. But, you know, there's, 
they are quite well they are exclusive to sewing street but i've never seen anything like this anywhere else where you can get a panel with all the symbols that are all colored so we've had a lot of you asking for them so just remember that you this is the only way that you can get hold of them on their own because we don't do templates for them so if you've got any questions about that if you're not sure because i don't want you to end up getting something that you thought you hadn't get the wrong one just just ask and we can show you again if you're not sure back to batiks can i go back over to the other one i'm going to move over here back back to you with barley pops i love a barley pop these are di a different make of batiks but still batiks now these are hoffman batiks now these are actually made in barley using the traditional Indonesian techniques of making um, batiks. Um, and I love the fact they, they're like, when you look at one of these, they're like a jelly roll. So you've got, they're two and a half inch strips which are cut across the width of the fabric. So they, there are 40 in them and they're all obviously two and a half inches wide and 44 inch wet width. So you've got two sets of two different fabrics. So that's how they work, but they are available. I've got four packs, the, the different colorways, but the pack size is the same. Which one do you want me to start with? This one. Oh, is that 49? No, that one. This is the rainbow pack. Look at the colors in here. Is that different? And I'll show you that. I've got one open here, which I'll show you in a minute. So remember, they're just like a jelly roll. You've got all the strips, so you can use them. You can make, I used, um, made back for our Sewing Street birthday, actually. I made a whole quilt using some plain, a little bit of plain fabric and one of these jelly rolls because they're really efficient. Because they were cut in the two and a half inch width. You sew them together, you've then got two inches. You can get loads out of them. So you start off, it is whole rainbow. But the good thing about batiks is they're not like um, primary. They're just bright. And the fact that all the colours then blend gradually. So where you've got like the yellows, you can see them blending very gradually into the oranges and the rust. And then the pink becomes red that goes pinky purple and blue and green. And it feels very organic and natural. And I think it's because each of the fabrics has so many different colours and prints in them. So the price for this is $39.99. You are getting 40 two and a half inch strips, which are 40 across the whole selvage to the 44 inch width. Um, Love these. I like the one on the end, the yellow as well. The pastel. So this one is exactly the same, but it's just in the pastel. So that's, let me just show you. So that's the pastel, but I'm just going to show you them next to each other so you can see this is the pastel one, that's the bright one. But the code that's on the screen at the moment is the pastel. So yet again, so if you are making something that you need um, two design rolls for, Whatever the, whatever the print is, even if it's a sub-blue. I mean, I've seen beautiful design roll quilts where it's just simply strip-pieced. That's all. Nothing more complicated, no other cut. If you wanted two, these two go together really well because we're starting on the pastel greens and yellows and peaches, moving into the rusties and the orange, and then you've got lavenders here and blues and moving into the green there. So a very pastel rainbow. They are brilliant for binding as well because they're exactly the right width. Join them all together diagonally and lovely for binding a quilt because they're, if you want to do, um, well, a quarter of inch double fold, you'll need that, or a half inch single fold. It's really lovely because it gives a really nice effect to the edge. Um, so seven, this next one, I've got a pack open here. So this one is called Lupin. Lupin. But let me show you, well, there's the pack, but I've got them all open so you can actually see what they look like in this one. So look, so even, the, so you've got the black one, but the black one, again, it's cov covered in spots of the rainbow. So I'm just gonna move this mat because it's making the colors go funny, I think. That's better. There we go, you can see better, man. Um, it's in the packs, it says you get two of each color. So there are 20 different colours. But look how close they are in shade. These have all been specially selected. They blend together. So you've got the black moving into the midnight, which is then goes into the greens. 
and everyone so if you're creating something I made a really nice beach bag from one of these and I graduated the colors at the bottom so I just sewed strips together nothing more complicated and then I graduated the strips in shades of color from the bottom all the way to the top and because I used um, blues and sand colors it looked like a beach but with this if you just sew them strips one on top of the other then you can use that and cut it out to make to the front and the back of the bag and box the corners and you get beautiful graduated tones and you can make a lot I could have made about five beach bags with mine and then look at that lovely shade of petrol and then you get greens and beautiful the foamy sea green but I love the fact these are all in spots so there's a congruity together it all holds together and turquoisey blues I think these have got a bit mixed up in my pack oh that's a lovely purpley blue but you imagine these all piled up together so there are loads and loads of different designs out there that use jelly rolls so if you're thinking well actually I would like to make a quilt from them have a look and see you probably need to make a big quilt you'll need two or three of these but one will make a lap quilt look at this now we're sort of getting into the sky so we've moved from the seas all up into the the skies and then we get these lovely pale pastel pastel colors I mean and this one here it can't even describe that one there's so many different colors of petrol and teal and mauve and then lighter these beautiful aren't they this is where this has got one got a bit creased gorgeous um, if you've used barley pops and you've made things and I've told you a couple of things that I've made what have you made with them because they, well they are your standard design roll but I think with the batik fabrics there's a lot more scope in them because each one of them has so many colors in it and you know if you've got any bits left over keep them keep them for your applique because you've got so many different colors in here they are at, they make gorgeous applique so if you love purples this is the one for you and then I have one more there you go that's nice and neat now this one is called copper so again we were, we were talking about autumn before weren't we and look at the autumns in here so you've got the pale the pale autumn at the top that's the autumn sky moving through to golds and mustards and like real pumpkin orange into lovely shades of ochre and greens and olives and browns and all the way to the bottom where you've got black but they're never solid colors are they i mean these are all of these that i've shown you here they all got spots on them that's but they're not regular spots they're more like droplets all over but even the black one has got coppery colored spots so if you're thinking about your autumn quilting you know which i know it's july isn't it today where did june go but um just went so that's gorgeous isn't it love the autumn the copper effect right which one this big one okay right so while we're thinking about if you're thinking about autumn and you're thinking about doing some um, autumn quilting then this is ideal it's called funny enough the autumn collection so it's a um, metal threads these are beautiful they are um, <clears throat> these are hundred percent cotton so I know some people prefer cotton some people prefer polyester and different things I mean people People often say that you should sew with the same type of thread as fabric. So if you're using cotton thread, you should cotton fabric. That's not a definite rule. That is entirely up to you. Some people prefer polyester thread because it's a bit stronger. But some people say that if you use cotton thread on cotton fabric, it will wear at the same time. It, it is entirely up to you. But the metal thread is extremely good quality. So if you want to buy cotton thread and you want extremely good quality thread, then the metal is, it doesn't lint and bobble as much as other threads. And um, it has quite a nice matte appearance to it. So in this one, <coughs> let me see you how many meters are in it on each reel. Unfortunately, I think the sticker is on top of that. On the, the one part of the box that tells me how many meters. So <coughs> there's 150 meters per reel and you've got all the shades of autumn here. So you've got eight shades, you've got, it's like the leaves, isn't it? You've got sort of deep, rusty red, coppers, taupe, mustard, golden, earthy brown and leafy green. Twelve ninety nine, and that's a lovely selection. So if you're thinking about doing some autumn um, design, maybe we, if you're doing quilting or just top stitching, you know, or, you know, you've bought a pack like this 
all the colours of the thread, that all goes together, doesn't it? Um, <clears throat> got exactly the same in the winter collection. Again, you've got <coughs> eight, 150 metres. I mean, it doesn't have to be winter, does it? It could be the ocean and the sea. So we've got in here um, blacks, dark grey, medium grey, light grey, white, medium blue, royal blue and dark blue. So it's, well, it says silk, but it is 100% cotton. Oh, they're listed as silk finish. Well, okay. So maybe they're a little bit, well, they're, but then they are, um, they are 100% cotton, but they're mercerized. Okay. But the reason that it's silk finish is they're mercerized, which is a special um, a treatment that the cotton has to give it that makes all of the cotton fibers lie flatter and it gives it that real sort of sheen to it so it's not that it's got it's silk or it's satin it's the mercerization which actually strengthens it as well but that looks beautiful so if you've bought that one that looks very good together and i tell you what this collection here is really good for um if you need to mend jeans and darn jeans because it's got all the different colors when i darn jeans with a zigzag i use about four different shades of blue and then it all melds together so if you're always mending jeans that's perfect Ooh, i feel like i've got something down my back these boxes these so this one again is metal silk fish finished cotton this one is has this one got a name Oh, so this is just your like multi um, assorted pack. You've got 18 different threads. Again, it's mercerized, so it has a silk finish to it, but it is pure cotton. So you've got 18, you've got all the colors of the rainbow at the bottom, including some pastels and some brights. And then at the top, you've got black, two shades of gray, ivory, white, taupe, brown. You've got three shades of blue, three greens, yellows, reds, pinks. Um, and then this one is just bigger. So this one has got 28. That's a really good price. 39.99 for 28 spools and there's 150 meters on each. And look at the colors. It's really nice to have that color selection as well because you know when you're sewing something and you need, it's green, but you, you never got the right one. Well, you've got like six different greens here. Um, I use this thread at home quite a lot when I want to do top stitching, when I want a specific color because I like using cotton thread for a top stitch because it has a slightly different finish for polyester and this does not um, bobble in my machine. But it is a it's a lovely thread to use. And actually, when I've used them, I always put them back in this box as well because I really like to keep them together. But it is a lovely selection of colours. And I haven't found yet that there isn't one that I don't need to match because they pretty much go because they've got some quite specific colours. So that's 39 99 for the 28 spools. Right, so um, we've got Delphine back with us in the next hour. And she is going to show us how... This is the fourth in her series of floral cushions um, it's the poppy cushion so in the kit you get the panel and then you can do some applique and some embroidery or to create to create this now I spoke to Delphine earlier and I said wouldn't it be lovely let's do a beginners applique class so from a lot of the perspective of some of you who have never applique but love to have a go at designs or those of you who do but would like to learn you know the techniques from scratch she's going to go through it right from the beginning if you've never used bonder web you've never done applique you are going to love the next hour right right so we've put the graphics in already for the poppy cushion we know it's going to be a really busy hour the three cushions previously have been so if you um if you want to watch the demo because you know delphine is an absolute master of what she does so her master class is going to be brilliant so if you want to watch the demo properly get the cushion checked out now i will be back with you with you in a couple of minutes time um you are going to love the next one and i will see you here very very soon Hello, I'm Catherine Wright from Leicestershire Craft Centre based in Market Harborough. I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street family. I've been sewing since the age of seven when my mum taught me to sew. I particularly enjoy dressmaking and all through my childhood I made my own clothes uh, including dancing costumes and my prom dresses. 
but I also enjoy patchwork and bag making and hand stitching and embroidery and really anything textile based. The thing I particularly love about fabric and textiles and stitching is that there is always something new to try, there's always a new technique or a new skill to learn uh, and I really enjoy doing that. My top tip for new sewers is to uh, be friends with your iron. Your sewing also always looks better when it's been pressed and it's not like ironing your own clothes. It's much more, much better than that. And also to uh, build your skills up step by step. Don't launch in with the, with the wedding dress first off. You know, start with a simple dress and build your skills up and then you'll see good results right from the start and feel enthusiastic and carry on sewing. So really, just have a go, have fun. It's all about having fun and enjoying it. Um, so happy sewing. Hey guys, it's Sarah Davies here. I just want to say you have got to tune in on Monday because it is going to be a big day. I'm going to be in the studios and I am taking over. I'm going to be on Sewing Street Live from 8 o'clock in the morning, Jewelry Maker from 11 o'clock and then Hobby Maker from 1 o'clock. Now, when we do one of our big takeover days, trust me, it is a day you do not want to miss. We've got goodie bags, we've got some amazing special deals, I've got a ton of demonstrations, brand new product launches, I've got the team in with me. It is going to be epic, so whatever you do, do not miss it. Whether you're a sewer, whether you love your jewellery making, whether you love your paper craft, we've got something for everyone. So I'll see you on Monday, 8 o'clock on Sewing Street, from 11 o'clock on Jewellery Maker, and from 1 o'clock on Hobby Maker. We'll be there all day. I can't wait to see you there. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Welcome back to Sewing Street, or welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've only just arrived, remember this is um, Delphine's third hour of the day. She's doing ever so well, ever so well. But we're almost like going backwards because we're going to do a beginner's guide, beginner's workshop to applique. Um, well done if you've already got the poppy panel, massively popular. So this is the fourth in um, Delphine's series of flowers. How many will be in the series? Well, I don't have many flowers there are. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to keep going. Who knows? So, look, here's the panel. I'm going to hold it up like so you can see. So, there's the front of the cushion. Is this the back? It could be whatever you want it, it to be. It could be whatever you want it to be. Creative panel. And then there's the poppies. So, it doesn't come with instructions because Delphine's going to explain what to do, but it's more of your inspirational panel. Now, you can copy exactly what she does and do it the same, or you can just make it up yourself. So, um, Delphine, could you show us the cushion? I certainly can. There we go. How do you want it? That way, overhead or? Overhead. Overhead. There we go. So, with the front, you've used the front panel that I've just shown. 
the front bit, but you've, ple you've cut out some of the poppies I've and sewed them on top. I've added extra poppies and uh, I've done lots of different ways of how to sew it down. So I've done a bit of free motion, I've done a bit of hand embroidery, just showing you lots of different ways that you can work with it. Okay, so you can make this your own. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be a cushion. You, there's, there's, um, yeah, depending on how, how we do for time, I can show you other ways of how to use it on other projects, but you could be a bag, it doesn't have to be a cushion, it could be so much more than okay. a cushion. So $14.99, you get this beautiful panel by Delphine. Look, so you've got three different squares, basically, so it could be three different cushions. It could be one cushion. It could be all different sorts of things. $14.99, isn't it gorgeous? Now, this is the fourth one, as I said, so I'm going to show you the others, and then we can go into detail on the whole how to do that. Tulips. This was on last time. This was massive. I remember cutting these out. You do. You, oh, I think you we, do all my cutting. You must have been on doing a show and I was on the same day. Yeah. Because I remember sitting cutting tulips out. I think that was on we were in the other studio. Yeah, you, you've done all sorts for me. Yeah. <laughs> I just remember sitting there. I'll cut your tulips out. So again, you've got the, um, the tulips open design there. You've got like the tulips more condensed. Yeah. Oh, is that when it was? I can't remember. And then there's the there's the um, panel with tulip stems and tulip heads. Okay, so that's the tulips. Then we've got sunflowers. So once Delphine shows you how this works and how you can adapt it and make other things, it'll give you loads of ideas. So there's the, the sunflowers. So each of them are the same in that if you wanted to make a matching set of cushions, you've got the sort of the flowers arranged around a central space. You've got then the condensed, lo I love that, the condensed sunflowers. And then on this pan, this section, you've got sunflowers and leaves and then a sunflower strip at the bottom. So that's sunflowers. And then the final one is daisies. That was the very first one. Was I this think. your first one? Yeah. I think this one's Inspired gorgeous. Inspired by a biscuit tin. Was it? Yeah, I saw a really nice biscuit tin. You've got thought. posh biscuit tin. I've never seen a biscuit tin like this. <laughs> I think I was one. I don't think I bought the biscuit tin. Oh. I just saw it and liked it. You just it. saw it. That is a lovely biscuit tin. So again, it all starts. So you've got the, um, the central section. Then you've got lots of daisies and then you've got big daisies so if you've missed any of them and you want to buy the whole set there they are and um, then the last thing oh is the stranded cotton so if you want to do some embroidery on them we've got three different bundles of stranded cotton that are in the right colors the first one is that's this one because it's got gold thread in it so this one is good because you've got um, stranded cotton it is all DMC which means it's a really good brand um, you get eight meters on each it's six strands of stranded cotton you get four normal stranded cotton but then you get one that is I'm just going to check if it's um, make sure it's the right oh it's the um, the metallic divisible so again, it's in eight, there's eight different strands in here, but it's the metallic one. So you can use this to mix with normal. You can stitch with it the same as stranded cotton. You can mix like one strand of the cotton with one strand of the metallic as well. And that sews together really nicely. So you've got a little bit of a shimmer. So any of these bundles of stranded cotton will go with any of the designs. You just need to choose. So that's, that's that one. Next one. That's more sunflowers, I think. Possibly. So this one, again, you've got five skeins of stranded cotton. You've got emerald, pumpkin, pink, yellow, and you've got a variegated brown. I well, I love the variegated thread because the brown, it changes colour as it goes along, but very subtly. It's all DMC, so it's a, love, a really good brand of stranded cotton. And I, you get eight metres, just, yeah, eight metres per skein. So just if you want to do some hand embroidery and you want the right kind of colours, just choose which one you want. And then finally, this is more of a pastel bundle. You've got like um, 
an olive green, a lime green, a buttercup yellow, a taupe and a very, very pale pink. So that's all of those colours. But if you want to do some embroidery, well, when you see what Delphine's going to do, if you think, oh yeah, I'd like to have a go at some embroidery, then this is the pack you need to get. Um, and the last thing is you will need Bonderweb to do any of the applique. And we've got, today is the special offer day. Our early bird was applique. It was Bonderweb even. Our early bird was generally applique. It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Blew. I'll just rewind. Our early bird was Bonderweb on the roll. Now it's 30 centimetres wide. And it's five whole metres long. And it's under £20. So this is normally £23.99 for the roll. But as a special early bird, as a special celebration of Delphine being kind enough to spend three hours with us, we have got a special offer, which basically cover, more than covers your P&P. So £19.99. Now that price will go back up again at midnight. So you need to get it today if you want to do some Bonder Web applique. Mm -hmm. Right, Delphine. Right, my lovely. Right. So let's start at the very beginning. Like yes. we've never done this before. Because okay. I've been promising people all day okay the master is going to speak <laughs> teach the master class i'm not though i know delphine said to me i'm not but i'm like you are oh bless you very you kind. are you are very sweet so we buy this panel yes right then what you stick some stuff on cut it out and stick it on okay. and sew it <laughs> there you go that's it that's a great master class <laughs> right well we'll see you then. okay so <laughs> for the panel like i said it can be used for so many different things so say for say we're going to do the cushion mm. so we'll go through about how we just build up a very basic applique because this project is beginner 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 right you can take it to that advanced level depending on your different skills so mm. today we've done you know piecing we've done you know the straight line stitching a little mm. bit of applique but also you could take it to that next level by adding in the hand embroidery etc. right so but you don't so need you can to cover so it can cover no. you can learn with it yes yeah it's what the that's what i love about these creative mm. panels because that's the whole point this doesn't have to be don't put it in that bracket it has to be a cushion it doesn't it can mm. be so many more things and you know we can we'll go through a few different uh, steps if we can change it as we go along okay so you'll get your panel Right, yeah, you have the panel. So you have your panel, your lovely big panel. And uh, so if you want to do your cushion, or first of all, all you do is you'll cut out that section. If you are completely new to sewing and you just wanted to create something, a nice easy project, something really pretty for a friend, or whatever, you could just leave it at this. But I like to use applique to build up more texture and layers right. into the fabric. So it's all about when you look at something yes it needs to be nice and pretty and something that you like enjoy looking at but by adding extra applique mm. it takes it to that another level and yeah without it being too difficult really easy but really it easy. gives it that other dimension that you wouldn't be able to buy exactly but you also need to make sure you have the correct tools to do it okay so if you were to cut round these uh, poppies uh, as they are and then to try and sew them on they might wrinkle a little bit they it won't sew as it won't sew as well yeah even cutting them out can be really fiddly so the best thing about bonder we're going to talk about in a minute is by adding on that little useful tool because that's what it is isn't it yes, um, yes. to it's basically going to hold your hand to make sure that the applique stage is really really easy believe it or not up, up to a few years ago i didn't use bonder web i struggled oh. a lot and now yeah, when i discovered bonder web it, it was, was a game like changer magic yeah it, it really is so um by using that uh tool just to uh to put it onto the back it doesn't just help with uh, your cutting but also the sewing stage as well right. so if we start with just bond web in a few flowers yeah, so what so bond web is um it's like interface it's like double-sided sticky tape but it has paper on one side and it has um interfacing on the other and it's so it's double-sided sticky tape really yeah. and it's not cheating no not at all no. no it's not cheating and also it's you need easier but it's easy also for like when you're doing the templates and things so a lot i don't use bond web the way most people use it so i don't just draw on the non-glue side the paper side i also use the non-glue side because reversing patterns is sometimes quite tricky and again right, if you're okay. new just the simple thing oh you're like oh you're, just a simple thing of just Playing around with that tool in a different way just makes your life a lot easier. So by drawing on the um, non-glue side and then sticking, yes. you don't need to reverse okay. any patterns. 
So it just comes, it, it comes in rolls, it comes apart. I mean, it's generic, it's proper title is Fusible Web. Bonder Web is the trade name, a bit like vacuum cleaner and Hoover. Yeah. So you could, there are others available, and some people prefer one type or another. All different manufacturers make their own Fusible Web. We just have Bonder Web, which is probably the most commonly known, but it is just a brand of Fusible Web. But it also, even though you have got that glue, so you know where, where we base quilts with 505 spray or mm. other brands, uh, not so much 505, but some of the other brands of uh, using glue in fabrics that can also put people off. Yeah. So, you know, if you go sewing through multi layers of fabric with that underneath it, is it going to stick to my needle? Is it going to clog up my machine? Mm. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. So really and over and over again, I it have will not have lots of different brands of fusible web. And this is my favourite. Yeah, it's the easiest to work with. Well, um, some of them also separate from the paper, which this one doesn't tend to. No, it doesn't. Although, don't leave it in direct sunlight. No. Um, if you are going to uh, cut out your pieces, say the day before, if you were doing lots of applique and you were cutting them all out the day before, get your big cookery books out and put them in there, keep them nice okay. and flat uh, to stop them curling up. So I often put all my pieces in a cookbook right. to stop them curling. I mean, I yeah. find that, that some, there's some of them you can buy and it comes folded. If you mm. buy it by the meter, that does tend to separate. It, it will roll. separate. The roll is good. Yeah, yeah. the roll is a lot easier. Like you say, if you But if, if it does separate, when we say separate, we mean that because you've got a backing paper and it comes away from the interfacing. If that happens, um, I put a... Um, you know those baking sheets, plastic yeah. baking sheets on top and iron yeah. it and it sticks all back together. And if again. it's a warm day and you don't want it to separate, put it in the fridge. I've done that before. Oh, have you? I haven't I've tried that. Yeah, it was sometime last year. I can't remember what I was making, but it was I was doing lots. I think it might have been something like a tree of life or something. Mm. And I had so many bits out and it was so hot and I couldn't cool down. I ended up putting it in the fridge and it worked a dream. Really? Oh, yeah. not tried that. So, yeah. Okay, so now that's covered no one will have any questions now what is bonder web no hopefully. we're covered so we'll take the bonder web and when i i always use just to just a biro to draw okay so draw obviously i'm not going to do any drawing on this because it's just um yeah so this is different this is a yeah. different form of applique what i'm um, delphine is talking about is where you actually trace a shape you press it onto fabric and then you cut around the shape with what delphine is doing is she's making her poppy sticky really so the shape is already there yeah so oh I've damaged it now <laughs> Had you not already cut that one? Yeah. <laughs> I just made it look tidy by trimming off the edge. <laughs> She's already walked off with the barley pops. I have, yeah. No, she came and said, I'll be bringing those them Those are back. mine. Mm. So, you'll choose a puppy, whichever one you like, because they're all different shapes. There's the iron on. Uh, I might have turned it off because I felt like it was, yeah. But it's a really good iron, Delphine, so it doesn't take long to warm up. Oh. <laughs> look at it. Look Beautiful. At it. Okay, so you, as uh, uh, Bex has already said, you'll have your paper side and your glue side. So you pop it on, and then you're just going to press it with a nice warm iron. And what that instantly does is that you've already got that adhesive to the back of the poppy. Just make sure you do the paper side up because it's quite hard to get off your iron, isn't it? That's where you need and to I get your paracetamol out. Loads of times. Yeah, although we did get a bit of plastic on this iron, didn't we, earlier on? And it just came off. Oh, we've off. got an applique mat, actually. So this is the set. This works in the same way that when I use my... Um, oh, we did have the applique mat. It works in the same way as my plastic baking mat, doesn't it, the applique mat? Yes. So you can put that on top. You can do. Yeah. If you so if you um I use it sometimes if I'm like pressing something onto like interfacing that's bigger. Yeah. And then it doesn't stick. There you go. Oh so thank you. So this is the applique map. It's really hard bond web to get off your iron though, isn't it? It do, it does work. Yeah, I've I've gone through I've done loads of times where I've not been paying attention, I've yeah. stuck it to the iron. So I have already, considered getting... Um, it's made it nice and stiff, nice and easy to work with already. All right, let me just show the applique mat so you can see. So it's kind of plasticky, so what you can do is you can place this on top of the bonder web. You can iron straight on it, it won't melt, but the bonder web will also peel off it. So this is absolutely brilliant for when you're when you need to be pressing with the sticky side up, which you do sometimes, particularly with things like fusible wadding or interfacing, this is great because you can iron on it, but it won't stick to it, it'll just peel off. Okay, so cut out already. Nice and neat, that's how easy it is to cut using So you just pressed it on, 
and it's ready to go. Special so scissors, and, anything so amazing? No. Just scissors? No, just scissors. And if, you, if you've recently had your nails done and you can't get in and get it off, what you can do, it's not going to affect your fabric, so you just give it a scratch with some scissors or a pin and it peels off. Um, how long do you press it for? Just enough to get it on. Okay. It's not like a set no, time. No, no, no. I mean, like this morning, I was really, I was really rushing doing that. I barely <laughs> touched it with a nine and it did it. So it's, it's. So fine. the paper's now off, and what have we got now? So now you've just got. It feels um, almost like a plastic. Right. So it's quite nice and smooth. And then you'll take your one that I cut out earlier. Okay. So it is like it's double-sided. Yeah, but it's, it's not tacky. Yeah, okay. So yet. that won't just stick to anything. That you need to add heat for it to stick right. down. So I guess it's like um, spraying a glue on or something, isn't it? Yeah, but like it's, you say, you just really, don't have that tackiness to it. So I'm putting this on because I might do a bit of some more sewing in a bit. So I'm just going to press this open. and then with this panel all you want to do is just choose where you want to put it like I said you don't have to add more but so you could put it on top of some or overlap others the one good thing about um, the, all the different sizes of the poppies is if you put the bigger ones at the front it's going to make the other ones look like they're being pushed back which is going to create um, more depth into your picture oh, okay. into your piece. So just think about your placement a little bit, but you don't have to be an artist to work it out. So you could cut out a few and... Yeah, so I've just, and then, there you go, I've just added it on, and then you can't even tell now that that's separate No, not from, at all. Can you? you can, you can't no, if you tell. look close, you can see, but then it, but it can be, give it like that 3D look. That's what I love it? about it, it gives it that, it gives it more texture. Mm. That's the one I've already cut out. And it gives it more depth. That's what I love about a plique because you can really mess around with the different um, heights of it. You know, you could even have a bit of chapunto underneath it. Or so I guess if yeah, if you cut out a loan, then you can just decide where you're going to put them. Yeah. So we'll just do a couple so we can just show well, you. Well, there's how plenty to on the panel, isn't there? To oh, there's to loads. From. The one thing that I would I would love to have done today, but I didn't have time to 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 do, is that you get so many poppies. I don't use them all. But what I was thinking of is if you got one of the poppies and you got a little bit of wadding and say a matching back backing fabric, like a red backing fabric, if you sewn your um, poppy right sides together against the wadding yeah. and backing fabric, just the one, turned it out, just hand sew the end, put a little pin on the back, you've got your own quilted poppy. Fantastic. Isn't That's you? a good idea. Yeah, exactly. But then make sure you put some t money in the British Legion tin when you go past. Yeah, it. yeah. But it's quite a nice thing <laughs> to. Well, what you could do doing for a craft fair and people can put donations. Yes, in. that's true. Yes, that's true. You know, with just a couple of stitches. You know the way you just make a. Well, I've got crochet poppies. Yeah. So the way. Yeah. yeah. So why not? Why Love not have crochet a crochet poppy? One? Exactly. Put them on a t-shirt. Yeah. So just like yeah, or just put one on a, on a bag or something. But yeah, lovely, that would look really pretty. It? You know, if you just quilted it, yes, and then really just nice. put a couple of stitches, a couple of French knots. You've got your own and your very own poppy. Yeah. So we'll have but a. But nice for craft fairs, like you say. Yeah. We'll have a whole poppy stand. There you go. Well, I think also poppies are for remembrance, aren't they? they so are. if you wanted to create a cushion to remember someone or a favourite pet or something. You could embroider their name yeah. on there. Yeah. This would be quite a nice one for uh, a Remembrance Day, even if you didn't use it as a cushion, as a quilt. You know, and you can get the um, the black silhouette of the soldier. Yeah, you could do nice. that and put that in the middle. Mm. That would and, and, do, and you know when I said about doing the quilted poppy to do the to wear as a brooch? Yes. You, if you did those and then added them to a piece, you'd wow. have even more so. Or you could sew them onto like a piece of felt. Yeah, and then put them on to that, and, and you get more depth look. to it. Yeah. The only limit is your imagination, girlfriend. 
<laughs> I, I, and your imagination's too big. Is it? There's no <laughs> I just, limits. I just, I, I, sometimes I, I get a bit carried away with ideas. No, I, I think you can never get too carried away. So now we've stuck them down, will they stay there? They Forever. will stay there. They won't stay there permanently if you're using it for something like this, like a cushion or something like okay. that. It won't. Eventually, they might end up peeling off or fraying a little bit. So it does help if you do sew them down. But you can sew them down in so many different ways. So you don't have to um, go all the way around the edge. You can just sew on top of them. So some of these ones, I haven't actually sewn around the edges. I've actually just sewn directly on the top. So I'm right, so just enough to attach it. So is it the same that I've always wondered? Remember Wonderweb that people use to hem their trousers? Yeah, is it yeah. the same thing? No, because that, that does come undone, no, that, doesn't they it? They want to be back on the overhead. Oh. There we go. Because um, that does, but is it the same thing? Because I, I remember, remember my mum would be like going on a night out in her yeah. velvet cat suit in the 70s. And you're taking up the... Um, and she would like press them together, the hems, but yeah. they always came down. The, but that's yeah. one. That's the that's same thing. Web, yeah, but is it? that the same as Wonderweb? Because it must have been double sided. It's wasn't double sided, it? but you can't peel it off, can you? Because once it's on, it's on. Oh isn't yeah, that's it? true actually. Yeah. Although I say that, I actually Wonderwebbed a pair of shorts. You know, like the denim shorts that fold up. Yeah. And they started coming down a little bit, and then so I Wonderwebbed them. And I was walking along the other day, probably again because it was quite a hot, hot weather. And I just, there was just a little thing like dangling on between my legs. Like I, was, I pulled it and it was a big long piece of wonder. <laughs> so it isn't so permanent. Should have bonded them. Should yeah. have bonded them. So the sewing is to, because they will peel off eventually. It's to, it's to just to attach it down, yeah, just to um, peel it down. So I'm just going to do. Oh, you're allowed to move the cushion now. Oh, lovely. So when you get to the centre part, so like I said, you can have as many of the big ones there as mm. you like. And then we're going to start, I'm not going to stick these down yet because we're going to arrange them in a way that's a little trick to how to get a bit, oh I didn't even cut that, I should have you cutting out, Do you want me to I? cut, I have, do have my own scissors. She's very good at cutting out. Yeah, but well quite were, often I, if I'm here, I'm just waiting, sitting around for now, a bit cutting There out. you go, just right. the, the smaller ones please. Just the smaller ones, yes, madam. please. I and like also the panel you've also got this back panel with all the smaller ones on this is just a piece that i've already oh, okay. cut off you could make that a completely separate cushion already you know as it is or how i use it is i want to use the poppies for even more applique so oh wow we're just going to cut out for a couple of minutes so it's not your um poppy makeup bag then no but it could be could be a makeup it bag could be. Yeah. You could even make it into little aprons, couldn't you, for kids? I tell you, you've got amazing imagination. You can use it for all sorts of things. You should write a book called Ideas by Delphine. Uh, You'd never finish it, though. No, I'm too, too busy. No, <laughs> because you've got too many ideas. Too busy. Yeah. yeah, you can never oh. have too many ideas, can you? I've got lots banked away, and then I suddenly, if I, you know, and you come to a thing like, oh, what shall I make for, for that show? Or, and then you suddenly just, I just, go into this little bank that, that's locked away in my, in my head and I'll pull out all these different ideas. They don't all work, believe oh, me. I don't know, when I need to come up with an idea, that little bank just shuts and I go, I can't do anything. Do you, um, I often, if I've got an idea, I Google it and I, and I screenshot it and I put it in a folder and so I've got like a folder of lots of different... Um, I have several projects. Pinterest boards like that. I get inspired by all sorts of things though, mainly I get inspired a lot by the outdoors, so I'm just being out and about, and you know, a lot of scenery I get inspired yeah, by. Yeah, I guess so. What do I get inspired by? I don't know. Just like sometimes things come You've to me. You've got an amazing imagination. Oh, all no, those, but then it all goes all blank. those Amber Makes things you come out with, I don't know how you do it, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> then I go, I've got no ideas, no ideas at all, and then something comes and to me. And then you come in, and it's like Mary Poppins when you come in when Bex is done, <laughs> and she's pulling out all these different things. I'm like, have you got uh, like your own like gnomes at home just yeah. making them all for you? No, I just never sleep. That's a lie. Sleep, it's overrated. Watch a lot of telly. Overrated. Only in the evening, though. Uh, see, I, I'm, I probably listen to more audio books than I watch TV. Really? Yeah. Oh, I, I love, love the telly. I love an audio book. <laughs> oh, I can't. Yeah. Don't you just love the telly? <laughs> They're just brilliant. <laughs> oh, cake, coffee, telly. But yeah, bath, audio book, gin. 
No? Mm. See? She's Sorry, <laughs> Hannah's... What, she's going on about biscuits or something? <laughs> so, yeah, carry on. But, no, it's... Um, I think it's because when the, the boys sit and, and watch the... the t me, yeah. So we watch the Grand Prix. So, oh, it's Grand Prix weekend this weekend, isn't it? Um, so I don't know watching the day and watching the evening except for Neighbours. Did you know that Neighbours is finishing on August heard, the first? Yeah. I'm absolutely gutted. I have been watching it since the beginning, which is 37 years ago. I watched it when I was little. And yeah. uh, there was a big gap in the middle where I sort of had a job and children, you know. But other than that, probably five years ago, <laughs> maybe ten. I've watched all the time and it finished on August 1st. I'm like beside myself. Thank you very much. Thank me. goodness I've started watching Home and Away is all I can say. You've only just started. Oh, see, that was my program. I used to watch it. I haven't watched it for years and years. And then about a year ago, I started watching it again. So just peel the back of the Oh, so leaf. those... Oh, I wasn't watching what you were doing. Those are all the little ones from that. Yeah. The other panel. This is... It's what I mean. There's so many different ways you can use, use them. There we go. These peel off really easily, look. I don't think I'd be very good at this because I'm not very good at less is more. For me, more is always more and more. And I wouldn't really know where I, to stop. I must admit, I could have carried on going on that cushion. The only thing that stopped me was time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There'd be no sky. <laughs> no, you need the ombre <laughs> sky. It would just be a sea, a of, sea of poppies. poppies. <laughs> I'm not very good at that. There we go. Oh okay. no. So that's fairly simple. So so far we've pressed the bondware bomb. And we've just been chatting away chatting and chatting it out. Yeah. This will be a really nice project to do is if you've got your own little filters group or uh, craft yes. fair or you know what I mean, like a mm. little or even just a bunch of friends. Just have a panel each. Yeah. A bit of bondware, some scissors and little bits and bobs, like you could all bring like a sewing kit or oh, embellishments true. and put them all together and just do it together. You don't need instructions. It's all just about being creative with friends and you well, know, and also there are four. There's a choice of four, so you could all make a poppy cushion, or you could make one of yeah. them. I think it would be a really nice get together with mm. your friends and just have a nice little afternoon yeah. of a craftoon. Yeah, I like a craftoon. I did teach my a group of um, the mums from school. Um, need, we had a needle felting uh, evening. Did you? And you know, there were all different jobs. You know, there was HR directors to sales managers mm. to working in schools yeah. and you know they we're all just uh, uh, flight attendants you know they're all just a, a group mm. of us and um they were all like oh i'm gonna be rubbish at this i'm not gonna be able to do this and they loved it more than going out having cocktails because we had obviously there was prosecco flowing yeah but but just being together and being then. something together and in, in do you know what and just encouraging each other to try something a bit different i think it's well and you get them people all at kind of different levels and i think they surprise themselves i taught yeah. a load of friends my book crew once bead embroidery no beading when you sew with beads not sew with beads but you do special stitches to make beads like a bracelet or something they loved it yeah they loved it let's pull that bit off what After they been? finished all the prosecco and all the crisps, <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to lay now the the bigger okay. ones around the front, and then if you start tucking the other ones, this is why you don't stick these ones down. You see, and then you start tucking the other mm. ones behind. Oh, okay. And then do you get all the arrangement as you want it before? Pretty much, yeah. And the then iron comes in. If you tuck them in behind, it, it's making these smaller ones look like they're further away. Um, See, if I just buy. Yeah. So have them just peeking their little heads out like that. Look, we'll have one up there. There we go. And I've kept some of these smaller ones, so they're even more further <laughs> away. Look. Yeah. So while you're sticking and peeling, I'm yeah. going to do the chakra bundle. Okay, do. While you're sticking and peeling, so we're not missing anything. Don't worry, because she's just cutting and sticking down there. No new techniques are being used at the moment. So <laughs> earlier, when Delphine was on at who knows what time, ten. Yep. Is that 10? Yeah. We did the um, chakra quilt. 
and in the quilt kit are the instructions the panel of the chakra and all the fabrics that's the one that's on screen at the moment so that's everything you need except for the bond web for the quilt so you've got seven meters of fabric in total so 14 half meters of all those bright colored um, rainbow fabrics and you've got the panel that has the chakra template well not templates designs and you've got the instructions however since we did that we have been able to get a small number of instructions only and panels only so let me start with instructions now you can't um this doesn't have templates because the templates are quite um intricate that's the word thank you hannah intricate it wouldn't really work with templates so we've created a special panel for them but if you want to just make the quilt that explains how to do it without the chakras on but this explains all the patchwork section and it explains about all the applique as well but it doesn't have the templates if you want just the instructions there they are at 9.99 okay if you want just the panel so no instructions no rainbow fabrics but just the chakra so maybe you're thinking well I'd like to make a set of cushions um, I want to put one on the back of my jacket um, maybe you want to make several little wall hangings maybe you want to make different things for different people or maybe like um, Delphine said in the actual kit there's enough there's a lot of fabric in there so if you wanted to make a bigger quilt and you wanted more panels and you've bought the quilt you could buy this on t as well as that because or there's enough fabric because in the um, bundle there's enough fabric to make two of those quilts because you've got half meat you only really need fat quarter so if you bought another panel you could make two quilts or maybe you just want to use them for um, a set of cushions of a smaller you don't have to even use all of them you know you could do a set of four and make a smaller wall hanging or you want to make a small um a wall hanging for a you know a special area in your house a specific place or you'd put them on a tote bag you know you could make seven tote bags with this but in applique them on you can get make it as complicated or as easy as like you can just um in the same way that delphine's just explained press bond web onto the back you could just cut round the outside i mean she's cut round all of the inner sections to make them open press them onto the fabric you want them to be on so maybe you've already got a yoga mat or you've already got a yoga bag or a blanket and you just want to put these on um, and then just work a zigzag stitch around them so those are 9.99 remember there were no instructions with that no extra fabrics just 9.99 for the panel itself right so delphi what are we going to do now oh. now she's done lots of cutting and sticking while i've been talking well no just sticking well so you pressed it all. You're happy with your arrangement. I'm happy with the arrangement. Sorry, I was just pulling my trousers up. <laughs> I had that problem all the time. I did it once, and Hannah goes, "You know, you're pulling your trousers up." No, I didn't even. You didn't do it. Um, <laughs> you just do it by habit, don't and you? And you bend down yeah. like that. Yeah, I always do that. That's how I put the trousers on. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of jump into them a little bit of a wriggle. <laughs> yeah. So with that, I've just built up a little okay. layer. So you can add add more, and then you can add as many as you little as you like, really. So. Again, you can just add on a tiny little bit of sewing and that could be it. That could be a cushion cover, that could be a little mini quilt, wall hanging, yeah, whatever so you want. Yeah, so you could just sew the, and that looks lovely in itself. Yeah, that's the whole, that's what I love mm. about these panels because you can go to town on them or you could just be as simple as you like for a nice quick project. Okay, but you have really got to sew them on though. Yeah, 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 you have to add Or they might them. fall off. Yeah. Like poppies do though. Yeah, they're Don't very they? delicate. You'll come into your lounge one day and there'll be all these poppy heads all over the floor. So, you do, so how? So I'm going to do a little bit of free motion. Ooh. Well, I know that's like a scary word, though, isn't it? It is, but you don't have to. No, no. So, but so I'm going to do some hand sewing as well and show you some little steps of okay. hand sewing as well. So where should we start? So free motion. So what do we need to do? So you need to drop your feed dogs. You need to make sure you've got a darning foot um, slash free motion foot. Make sure you use one that's correct for your machine. So read the manual. Yeah. How to drop the feed dogs. Yeah. And so by dropping the feed dogs, it gives you the, um, you're able to move the fabric where you want it to move to. Okay. So you're going to draw with thread. Right. Tensions. Yeah. Leave it as it is. Yeah. So I, oh, the, my machine knows. Oh. My machine knows, you see. It knows. It knows what I'm doing. <laughs> but otherwise, you want it it's quite a short stitch. You okay. want to go at consistent speed, fast speed. Don't go too slow. Okay. You make sure you're fast. quite fast. 
and uh, you just want to keep making sure the speed is nice and consistent. Right. If you if your hands slippy, you can wear some gloves if you like. But I've, okay. I've always got sweaty hands anyway. So, so I just if your fabric. machine doesn't work it out for you, go for like one. Go for a one zero. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then you put a darning foot on. Darning foot on. Drop your feed dogs and have a play first. Um, definitely you have a bit of a scrap fabric I recommend also with free motion if you have something underneath it so uh, this one I've got a bit of bond, uh, mm. wadding but um, if you don't want to have a backing on it then maybe interface it so it's just okay. stabilizes the fabric right so okay um, because some machines if when you're doing the free motion it could become bunch it up a little bit so it's handy to make sure you stabilize the fabric right first. okay and that's it I think yeah yeah and then you just and then you just sew okay but I haven't tested today so we shall see <laughs> So what do you just go round the edge of each poppy? You can do, you can do a bit of, let me just get rid of that thread that's right in my way. So you can go round each poppy or you can give it a bit of detail. So let me find one that's a bit bigger, here we go. So do the poppies, the bonder web poppies fray at all? No, no. And that's what I love about these panels because the, the, the cotton, it doesn't fray like normal. So it's, right. so it does, it does help, it, it helps it to stop it. From okay. So it's quite tightly woven. Yeah. Cotton. So I'm just adding a little. I'm using a variegated thread, which is why it's coming out all different colours. Oh no! So is that from the um, John Scott Orbit yeah. collection? Well, this is where those lovely threads come into play, isn't there? Where you think, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do with those, but I want to have a look now. So if you go on oh, the so you're one. doing like the. Um, the lines. Yeah, so you, but you've got you can just follow the picture. Like that, see? So you're using what's already in front of you to sort of help guide you almost. Yeah. I mean this is just a very quick It's one of those things that it becomes a little bit addictive, isn't it? You think, oh, I'll just put another Do you line. want to go? No. No, I'm just watching. <laughs> because so, you, you, but you're good I know, it. but then yours will be more arty than mine. Mine will be a bit... No, it won't. You should have a go. Okay, I'll have a go, go then. On. Right. Does it, oh, yeah, just to prove... That's it. Pedal to the metal. Go for it. There you go. Oh, I'm going to go around there. Oh, I'm never, you're never going to get this back again, then. I'm just not, I never really know what lines to do though, does it not it doesn't matter? doesn't matter, because you've got the shades of the, of the uh, flower already there, haven't yeah. you? The, the shape, so you just follow the shape, you do really well. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm all around the edge now. Look, you look at this you go. and go, what has she done? No, it's my... lovely. Oh look, look, we're not there. There's no mistakes, just happy accidents. Yeah, but look, it went off the edge. Oh, wow. Oh, that's put so a French knot on it. So nice. <laughs> so nice. I'll let you out. I'll let you back now. Have a little play. There you go. It's a little play. joint effort. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So you just That was so easy, though. It is. You see, when I do that on my machine, the thread will have broken by now. Yeah, so, but, yeah. It's having the correct I need one tools. Of those. So, yeah, we just went around <laughs> the centre. It's all right. That's called echo. It's an echo. <laughs> that could be like a bee buzzing in. <laughs> and it could, do you know? So, yeah, it's, that's really okay. pretty. And then you just do that round all of them? Round all of them, yeah. And then another thing you can do is just go round each one with, it, you know, a, norm, a basic mm. uh, applique stitch, which is with applique, if you're going to use, um, especially with raw edge applique, I recommend there's three stitches really that we mm. use, a blanket stitch, zigzag stitch and satin stitch. Okay. I always, probably 90% of the time, use a blanket stitch, shortened. Mm. Uh, only because it gives it that nice um, home handmade look. Yes, yeah, I know what you mean. If you were working with a fabric that frayed a lot, then I recommend you use a satin stitch. Okay. If you were a bit more of a picture, but majority of our machines have zigzag stitches on, so that's yeah. fine. Just use that. It doesn't. Okay. So you could go round in that. Yes. Yeah, so if you don't want to do free motion, you could. You could go round it in other ways, or okay. even a straight stitch if you wanted to. If it wasn't going to be mm. used like a cushion, if you were going to use it for like a wall hanging or something like that, straight stitch is fine because it won't really. All you're doing there is sewing it down to stop it from falling off. 
Yes. Rather than it being decorative. But use a matching thread, a variegated thread, always mm -hmm. looks really, really pretty. Okay. Um, so yeah, there's lots of different ways of sewing them down. And then that also brings us to a bit of hand. Love a bit of hand sewing. I'm so entirely optional, I'm with but the, nice. I am with the master of hand sewing here. <laughs> no, no. So I've got to do a bit of hand You've sewing. done loads of lovely hand sewing on this. Big fat French knots. Look, look at this. I did a couple of bullion stitches, but I ran out of time. Look at that. So that's all French I knots. I love a bullion. So I've done some bullion, but yeah, I had the wrong needle at the time, so they didn't, they didn't go. <laughs> I had, you know, the fat hole. The fat hole? You know what I mean? You know it's supposed to <laughs> I be straight. Know, ladies really oh. enjoying the show. Do you use bobbin <laughs> thread in the bobbin when machine embroidering or normal thread? Normal thread. That's what all I use. Okay. Yeah. I use normal thread. Because if I'm using the variegated, I want the variegated to come through on both. Yeah, what is bobbin thread? I don't know. Just oh, Hannah's going to tell us. But no, she, I don't. What? I just use it on thread. Right. So, embroidery thread machines that are dedicated just to embroidery have a special bobbin oh, thread. Oh, yes, that. Yeah, no. no I don't, don't have an embroidery machine either. So. No, so this is just normal thread. So, just normal. So, yeah, I've done. So, you know, the. Oh, Do you mean a tapestry needle? Yes. Did, did it have a sharp point? It did. But it didn't have a. And my, had a big my, eye? My needles are all over the place. So, mm. like my threads. <laughs> like your threads. I'm, I'm not tidy at Maybe all. it was just had a, did you have a big eye but a sharp point. I think so, yes. A chenille. Yeah. Yes, it was a, yes, it was a chenille. You need to use, bullion knots are best using straw or milliners, the same thing. So, I just had, just use whatever I had. Okay. So I'll, um, what So, we? this is where afterwards you can... You can add even more embellishments, yeah. So, as you can see on here, I used some of the... Um, you can see, I think that looks lovely. So, I just... I don't even know what the word is. They're just straight stitches, they but I've just fanned them round. Sort of a stem stitch. Yeah, so I just... But I like the way that you've just put a bit... Yeah. Not gone all the way round it, you've just highlighted. Just a nice little nod. It just gives it that little bit more interest and texture. So, well, should we, should we do a bit of that then? Should we... Shall I show you how I did that? Yes, how long have we got, Hannah? Like, okay, so um, can Delphine show us a couple of stitches? Yeah, while you get ready, okay. I need to recap the panel. Okay. Um, so the panel um, is the one that Delphine's cut up, I think. Um, so we haven't got a panel. Uh, that's because what's left. Yeah, the poppy panel. Have I still got it? No, I have still got it. I, there's lied. a hole in the middle There's of it. just a hole in it. Yours will, your poppy panel will come without the hole. Um, so fourteen ninety nine. obviously you get like the front bit that um, Delphine's doing at the moment. You get this sort of intense poppy bit in the middle and you get the individual poppies on the side. It looks like this. That I've got here. It looks like this, except... Delphine seems to have cut some of the poppies off it, but yours won't come like that. Yours will be whole. So fourteen ninety nine, and you don't need instructions because everything um, is, is is entirely up to you how you do it. Um, tulips, exactly the same idea process that you've got. Um, the, hot, the sort of the the central one. You've got lots of tulips. You've got individual tulips and stems as well, and coordinating fabric at the bottom then we have sunflowers second most popular today after the poppies well do you know what poppies and sunflowers go together really well and tulips and daisies go together oh there you are then <laughs> yeah because sunflowers and poppies go all the way through to autumn don't they from now do they sunflowers yeah autumn oh okay. yeah, yeah i suppose i always Early think autumn. Like think harvest yeah yeah that's what i think of it yeah there we go, sunflowers. And I hope you've got masses of inspiration from all of um, Delphine's ideas now as well, of what we can do with these. And finally, daisies. Oh, yeah, new baby. Wouldn't that be lovely for a nursery? Oh, yeah, pretty. Really pretty. See, you could even embroider their name on, couldn't you? I don't know why, it just sort of feels daisy, spring, fresh, new life. Don't know. Feels baby, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> So pretty. So those are the four panels. 
So we're going to just do some French knots quickly. So French knot, really, really simple. I cover them in it. I cover all sorts of projects, French knot. So you'll have your embroidery thread. So you're going to come up from the back, put it all the way through. And then I always wrap, sorry, there you go. Always go one, two, three, hold it quite tight and you go back in, not where you came out, but close to. And there's your French knots. Lovely. That's like a baby poppy. Yeah. No, it's a poppy in the distance. Yeah, or a petal. A very long, away. far away bit yeah. poppy. So there you go. So just it. add. Just adds loads. Of, just adds your texture. So I'd add, I've added those in a white as well. So I thought maybe like a, a cow parsley. Oh yeah. Type and then just and then I've added a few little yellow ones to the centres for. Oh, that's nice. But you could add yeah. beads. You could use glass beads. You could do. Or mm. buttons, all sorts. Oh, true. Yeah, there's loads of different ways you can embellish it. It doesn't have to be like this, but yeah, just have fun with it. And okay, that's fun. Enjoy. Well, yeah. thank you, um, Delphine. No, it's been thank lov you. lovely. It's been a lovely, lovely day. Iron. Yes. We need to talk about the iron. Yes, this. Yes, mine. Um, <laughs> so I'm hoping I've ordered mine. Mine. Um, I ordered mine yesterday because mine went. Pssst. Mine so. is on order yeah. it is on order mm. this is it's brilliant isn't it so it lifts on its own how does that work <laughs> this is clever it's just so clever so you don't ever have to do that up and down up and down no. business oh, it's, it's just so i just like the little noise it makes i know it's great isn't it and the fact that you can fill the tank yeah. horiz whilst it's horizontal and it gets hot which is what you want there's nothing worse when you're sewing and quilting and prepping mm. that your iron doesn't get hot enough this no, not really gets does. hot so all your applique it's not going to be coming off with this and this it has get a 3.7 meter cord which is, which is quite handy long. if you are sewing rooms and it's a nice color and it has a 360 degree thing yeah. here we go and lots Very of steam clever. turn it off turn it on vertical steam yeah. and even that plate was stood the test of a <laughs> half a plastic bag <laughs> and all it did was I it brushed off I if know. that was my iron at home no it wouldn't have done it wouldn't have done it I guess is it because yeah. it's ceramic I'm not sure I don't know that it's was quite got funny. some fancy that was our diamond word. ceramic flow our unplanned test it was as the plastic bag with the, was the melted the plastic iron. bag on the iron I wouldn't have been very popular if it didn't come off but no, this You'd about to have it then. the iron's gone. Yeah, I'll just let it fall off me. Well, thank you so much no, for coming in. You. We will see you back here. Uh, 15th, um, I think. The what? The 15th. 15th. 15th, yeah. Okay. So that's two weeks today. That's two it? weeks today. I better get it? sewing. You better, better get sewing. She's got more yeah. stuff to make. Yeah. <laughs> um, thank you for joining us today. Coming up tomorrow. Oh, I'm here tomorrow. Saturday, isn't it? I'm here tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> It's me. Yes, yeah, sometimes I forget that. But I am here tomorrow. At 8 o'clock, we have got the Moda Nova Star Quilt and Moda Fabrics. Oh, that's a lovely quilt. It's a whole quilt kit. Really nice. And special guest tomorrow, Mark Francis. Oh, should we have a little... I'll be having a little chat with him about the sewing bee. Oh, yeah. Mm. See what he thinks about the winner and everything. So we'll be having sewing bee chats. Um, 9 o'clock, he's using um, So Different, the layer up. I've seen his pictures of that, really nice. 10 o'clock is all about the sewing room tools. And at um, 11 o'clock, Mark is back with Sussex Seamstress Dress and Skirts, my favourite, so I'm looking forward to that one as well. And at 12 o'clock, it's all about the dressmaking fabrics and supplies as well. <coughs> so that's going to be a good day tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, oh, Hobby Makers, sorry, sorry, Hobby, hey, Hobby Makers doing Christmas. Hobby maker menu. So coming up in like four minutes time, one o'clock, new Christmas moonstone dies from Hunky Dory. At two o'clock, it's Hunky Dory's 2022 Christmas blockbuster back in stock with Natalie. Three o'clock, let's do Christmas, the Sam Tangle Christmas with Sandra. At four o'clock, Christmas gift special with Bert and Gertz. At five o'clock, Sandra is back with more Christmas Sam Tangle. Yeah, they're clearly having Christmas today. Or oh, I'm in the wrong time of year. Who knows? Yeah. Delphine's just putting her shoes back on. <laughs> her I shoes on. No, I do. I actually got to put my shoes back on. She's putting put her shoes, shoes back on. I'll put the back on. Yeah. <laughs> um, have a lovely rest of the Friday and I will see you back here bright and early at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. <laughs>